Hey, yo, bada boom, how's it going? <laughs> hey, yo, oh. bada boom, how's it going? <laughs> hey, yo, shut up, Twitch. <laughs> Fucking had, uh, had my Twitch thing unmuted, apparently. Um, so, uh, I <laughs> had a bit of a, uh, false start there, uh, at the beginning. My, um, uh, my, uh, <laughs> what is it? My, my fucking, um, uh, I just, I just hit the wrong button on, uh, on my, on my streaming machine. Um, And so for like a minute there, I was just talking to no one, but recording it. And then I'm all like, oh, well, don't I, don't I appear to be quite the fool. Um, but yeah, so, uh, first and foremost, uh, <laughs> sorry, we're, uh, we're a little, uh, a little late here getting into the, uh, getting into the game, getting into the party as it were. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I decided like, the last second to, um, uh, to, uh, what's the, what's the word? I decided at the last second to, uh, to grab, uh, a sandwich from, uh, from the gas station, um, morning Azul, and, uh, it took, took a second, uh, second or two longer than I thought, um, but we are here, and we have a lot, a lot to talk about. Um, give me a second or two here. One, we're gonna wait until, uh, people start filing on in. But two, um, I am sending a text message and I am, uh, responding to one or two other things. Um, it's been, for, so for, for me on a, uh, on a personal level, uh, it's been kind of a, uh, a wild, uh, last couple of days. Um, I had two, uh, I had two Twitter posts, um, go, at, talking about the, the Fallout series go absolutely hog wild. Um, didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't fully expect them to go as hard as they ended up doing, but, uh, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they, they, they fucking got some numbies. Um, one of them, uh, I think has, uh, what it, it got like 500, 500 likes, which in the grand scheme of things isn't, you know, a whole lot, but, uh, uh, the, the last one I posted, that one really blew up. That one's sitting at like 6,000 likes, uh, which I think is the best performing, uh, tweet on my channel, um, thus far. Uh, or on my my account thus far, which I mean, you know, it's Twitter. I don't care about the numbers and stuff. Uh, I was just surprised that it was going as crazy as it actually was. Um, so let me oh, uh, let's see, Riz, real. I got that big YouTuber Riz. Um, the tweet specifically was uh, it was basically well, <laughs> it was two. Uh, one of them, like I think I posted right after the, uh, like the day, like the next day after the, uh, after, come on, uh, after the Amazon series went live. So you know the eleventh when it was originally. Uh, I I basically said like because. Like, you know, the show dropped and then everybody was all like, maybe not everybody, but uh, like uh, the vast majority of people were saying like, oh, it's a great show. It's fantastic and everything. But then there was that, you know, <laughs> that, there's always that that minor group, that tiny uh, minority of the fan base who is just like never happy. And they're just all like, oh, it fucking destroys the timeline. It's garbage. It's bad. It's this. It's that. It's the other thing, you know. And I did, and if I remember correctly, as part of a, uh, geez, hold on a sec, I gotta tweak with this a little bit. I don't know why this keeps, let me switch over to that too. I don't know why this keeps goofing up on me. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, New Vegas dance. Yeah, basically. But the point is, a lot of people were complaining 
uh, for various reasons. I don't want to lump everybody in in the same bracket, but there was a specific you know segment of the fan base that was just like next level toxic, and it got to the point where even uh, Tim Kaine, uh, the original one of I should say, uh, one of the original creators uh, of the Fallout series, even said in a video where he was talking about how uh, how he feels about the uh, about the Amazon series, which he says he, he really likes it. Um, but even in that video, cause he has a YouTube channel and he makes like update videos every once in a while. Even he, in that video was basically like, man, people need to stop attacking creators for being creative. You know, like maybe it's not the exact thing that you were wanting, but it's a whole hell of a lot better than you, like, you know, just let people create, you know, let them be, unique and let them do something that they actually uh maybe not actually enjoy well i mean yes enjoy but let them you know let them take risks let them take chances and stuff like that let them create and he was more so overall just disappointed at that um but like i saw that and i sent out a tweet and it was all like man even tim tim kane is uh is telling people to calm down why are you people so fucking negative all the time? And that got a lot of view, uh, a lot of attention, a lot of likes and stuff. And then uh, after that, the other tweet was like, "Oh, I'm talking about like this one specific scene in uh, <coughs> in um, what was it? Uh, this one specific scene in episode six of the season, I think, um, where like Lucy, the main character, unfur- unfurls the uh, the NCR flag." Uh, and like the you know, the music swells, and it's like, man, that scene was like so fucking good. And I I said so much uh, to that effect. And then also like you know, a lot of people got pissed off by the chalkboard scene, but like this whole scene was just like cinema, just like mm, chef's kiss, just like miraculous uh, in general. And that got way more attention than I was uh, than I was originally anticipating. Um, but uh, yeah, so like all that happened, and then just like the last you know almost weak in general at this point the show dropping the reception uh uh uh, and then uh there was also the announcement of the uh the fallout 4 next gen update and then fallout london shortly after that so (laughs) there's there's been a there's been a lot going on uh in the uh in the fallout sphere as it were uh over the last couple of days let me go ahead and switch back to here um, so the first thing, what add a streamer reaction to any video on YouTube? <laughs> okay, that actually sounds kind of funny. I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, so there we go. The first thing <coughs> I want to talk about, um, those are spitting facts. I'm spitting, I'm out here spitting. Um, I had people who don't interact with the Fallout fan base talk about how toxic some fans were. I mean, like, to be fair, like, to be absolutely fair, to give everybody the benefit of the doubt here, it's not specifically Fallout fans, you know? Every fan base has a toxic part. Star Wars. Star Wars. Um, <laughs> but you know, every, every fan base has has a has a toxic side. They have, they have people who are just like, you know, like, Nah, these, this this part of the fan base is, you know, fucked up. Um, like, every fan base has that. It's not something that's unique to Fallout. It's just, like, how things go. Um, but for us who are, like, you know, in the weeds about that stuff, uh, like, an actual part of it, members of the fan base, we more so just sit in, like, a different, um, you know, corner of the internet where we just see that because that's, you know, what we engage with. Uh, and... Let's see. This didn't launch. That's weird. Um, bu- 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 bu. let me go ahead and real quickly snag this up and send that out. Um, sorry, a notification just didn't go didn't go off in my Discord. Um, yes. Weird. Okay. Anyway, um, so, so like we're we're just in a unique position because it's like you know we're a more we're a bigger part of the community 
um, we're a more active part uh, with as far as the community goes. And so, you know, we just see that more often. But uh, in the grand scheme of things, um, it's, it's like some people are just, you know, they they just have like everybody has different personalities, every, you know, different preferences and stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've seen around the Amazon series is just people would have preferred it gone in a different direction. And I get that. But then there are the other people who are just like more so like just overtly pessimistic or overtly negative about the direction that that, uh, that Bethesda went in. And on the one hand, I also kind of see that. But on the other hand, on the other hand, it's just, you know, it's 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 unhealthy to engage in such uh, negative dialect, um, at least in my opinion, anyway. Um, different fan base, the Yaku, Yakuza fan base has even started to develop a toxic side. I would imagine that the Yaku, Yakuza fan base has always had a toxic side. It's just, you know, grown and swollen in the, uh, in the last couple of, uh, you know, months and years and such. Um, I would even go so far as to say that, uh, as, as a result of just, you know, changing, you know, situations across the world, politics and such, and, uh, and such, um, it's just affected like every video game medium. Um, probably more so since like, you know, people started getting like all pissy about Star Wars and talking about like, oh, wokeism and now like DEI and stuff like that in, uh, in media. Like there was that whole kerfuffle about Sweet Baby Inc. a couple of weeks ago. Um, it like, it's just become like, <laughs> funnily enough, the very same group of people who want video games to be less political are making video games more political. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's fucking wild. Um, Fallout and Star Wars fans tend to have, uh, toxic factions of their fan base instead of just bad apples. That's true. And to, admittedly, I think kind of every faction does that, uh, or every, <coughs> every fan base has that. It's just kind of more easily recognizable in fall on star Wars because like, you know, faction identity is kind of a, uh, a, a bigger, uh, deal in those, uh, in those, uh, fan bases. Um, but as far as, uh, the actual news, the first big thing, I mean, no, obviously there's the, there's the show, um, because the three things I want to talk about is the show, uh, the Amazon, uh, TV series, the fallout Amazon TV series, which I, uh, refer to as Fallout Prime because it's uh, Fallout uh, Amazon TV series on Prime because it's on fall on Amazon Prime. But I like shortening it to Fallout Prime because it it gets straight to the point and it's catchy. Um, so uh, I want to talk about uh, Fallout Prime. Uh, I want to talk about Fallout London and uh, first and foremost here I want to talk about the Fallout Four next gen update, which we finally got confirmation on. Um, when did I, I made a video talking about that, uh, a while ago. When, when was it? I think it, it fucking almost feels like it was like two years ago at this point. Um, let me go here and then bah, 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 views. It was, wow, actually, yeah, fuck. November 5th, 2022 is when I first put out that update. So yeah, it's been almost two years at this point. Um, a year and a half, but point is it's it's been a it's been a while since uh uh since you know rumblings of the uh the fallout tv series or not the fallout tv series um the fallout 4 next gen update first hit the uh hit the hit the uh larger uh ecosystem of the fallout uh, fallout community and originally from what i remember basically what i mean it's we're 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 going to you know, go over what the update actually is here. But uh, initially, the big concern about the Fallout 4 update um, was that it was going to, just like it did with the uh, with the Skyrim community, the update was going to basically render pretty much every single mod uh, on the Nexus as, you know, obsolete because it didn't work with that version of the game effectively. Um, there were people who were concerned that that might, you know, mean that every mod on the Nexus would be broken and they'd have to start from scratch. Same, uh, similar to uh, what happened again with the Elder Scrolls community, uh, or the uh, the Skyrim fan base specifically, where now there's like two different versions of the game. Um, people were concerned that that was going to happen, and 
Uh, from what I understand, that kind of still is what's going to happen, but not to the same degree to where it's like going to be like catastrophically broken. Um, it's just going to kind of just be an update. <coughs> Todd Howard, is, uh, Todd Howard is a producer on the show. Yes, he is. He was, uh, I think, one of the uh, uh, create. Well, obviously, one of the creative consultants because you know it's his kind of, it's kind of his kit and caboodle. Um, but yes, he was one of the uh, executive producers on the uh, uh, on the Amazon Prime or the Fallout Prime TV show, um, which makes sense because again, he's <laughs> been carrying the franchise ever since Fallout Three. So you know, obviously, he would have a vested interest in making sure that they did the show justice um but we'll get to the show in a little bit here let's talk first about uh the fallout 4 update first of all it's going to be a free update people were wondering if it was going to be uh i maybe not they were wondering but they were more so like wondering how the update is going to be rolled out and one of the things that i was speculating on was that it was going to be rolled out in a uh, as 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 just a free update thing, uh, very similar to the uh, the high res update that we got back when the game was still like dropping. Actually, no, it was after the game was. I think it was after Nuka World. I think I could be wrong, but point is, uh, you know, it's a free thing. Um, you know, uh, it's getting applied to uh, all the games. But from what I've been hearing, it's possible that it's also going to be. Uh, not something that's going to specifically edit the original game files, but instead is going to be uh, in e what's what's known as an ESP file, which is basically like a plugin. So it's more or less. I think I could actually probably best show this with a visual aid. Um, that's Starfield. Let me switch over to. Fallout 4. Here we go. So, I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, here it is. So, I'm not 100% sure why it's crossed out, but as you can see here, there's... Uh, oh, ESM. I was mistaken there. Um, there's ESMs for everything. If I go down here, for example, and click Nuka World... Well, I can't on that one. Well, anyway, point is, um, I am more or less certain that this is basically going to be it's going to be rolled out as an update, or sorry, as more of like a DLC kind of thing where uh, you plug it in, but then it can be, you know, turned on and off. Uh, the next gen update can be turned on and off. So, you know, if you have, you know, as I have a bunch of mods uh, and you want to continue using the mods uh, without the game, you know, breaking, you can just turn the, uh, turn the update off. I believe that's how it's going to work. Again, we're going to get into the article that they, uh, that they have back here, right there. Um, but as far as I know, and from what I've been hearing, that's how it's going to be rolled out. And it's something that somebody can turn on and off going forward. Obviously, you know, modders are going to want to take that into consideration because they don't want to be working with only like, you know, part of or half the game they want to assume that anybody who is downloading their mods has the full package uh that way they can create for the game and if they don't have the full package then uh you know hopefully it won't affect a whole lot um but if they if they create something and they create it in the in the mindset that they don't have the full package and then they do have the full package then it's going to break and like you know it's 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 going to be a failed mod attempt um so let's go over this uh, this article on uh, Bethesda's website talking specifically about the Fallout 4 update. <coughs> uh, Fallout 4 upgrades are coming to next-gen console, console. Bethesda Game Studios is releasing a free Fallout 4 update for download on the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. <laughs> Um, the free update includes native applications for PlayStation 5 and Xbox S, X and S, performance mod, uh, performance mode, sorry, and quality mode settings, as well as stability improvements and fixes. Experience up to 60 FPS and increased resolution. So they're getting a, uh, an FPS boost on console, uh, and, you know, other performance and quality of life settings, which is super awesome. Um... Uh, Fallout 4 players on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will also receive a free update with stability improvements, login, uh, and quest fixes. 
and then that's for console specifically. Um, updates for PC players. We are releasing a free Fallout 4 update for PC players. Experience Fallout 4 on your next uh, generation PC with widescreen and ultra widescreen support. I think that's more so specifically referring to like settings so that you can adjust it to the width of uh, whatever PC screen you have because specifically ultra widescreens, that would be like, you know, the wide, as it says, widescreen. Uh, those like big singular um, uh, PC monitors, um, that are just, like, <laughs> fucking, like, two feet long, you know, um, <laughs> or two feet wide, I should say, um, but that's, I, and that's, that's what I'm assuming that this says, and it seems like that is what they're saying, um, as well as fixes to creation kit and a ver variety of quest updates, uh, players with the PC version of Fallout 4 on Steam, Microsoft Store, and GOG will receive stability, uh, mod and bug fixes for Japanese and Chinese players on PC, Bethesda net login issues have been resolved, fixing access for uh, access to mods. Nice. Uh, alongside with exciting updates, Fallout 4 will be available to purchase on the Epic Game Store. Oh, they're also they're they're, they're finally they're actually releasing that on Epic. Oh, that's cool. Fallout 4 will also be Steam Deck verified. Oh, okay, cool. Let me. What is this? One, two, de. <gasps> Enclave. Um, more content. <laughs> uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. They need to increase the mod limit uh, from 2 gigabytes to like 10 on console. They do, but I don't think that they actually can do that. Um, I know that when Fallout 76 first rolled out, um, they... Uh, they So, with Fallout 76, what they originally wanted to do is they originally wanted to make it cross-platform. Um, but there was, like, from what I remember, they ended up not being able to do that. Specifically because of a decision that, um, uh, specifically a decision that, uh, Sony made. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I read a funny tweet. Um, specifically a decision that Sony made. That Sony was all like, no, we don't want that because we have all, like, integrated stuff and we don't want to, like, share codes or whatever. Um, which resulted in uh, Fallout 76 not being cross-platform, which was incredibly disappointing. Um, but I think that that might be a similar issue uh, with, uh, like mod limit on consoles because again fallout 4 is for both uh playstation and xbox and while especially now since bethesda is owned by microsoft they probably could do that for xbox but they most likely couldn't do it for playstation and even if they did do want to do it for, or even if they did want to do it for playstation which they probably do um sony probably has some uh some rules or some scruples with uh with doing that um even more content there's even more content in the fallout 4 updates including the following free creation club items <laughs> they're just giving us creation club items now um <laughs> we don't want them I'm like well they're free uh enclave remnants enclave remnants bring a pre-war cabal the enclave into the fallout 4 storyline in this new quest echoes of the past you can stop the enclave from spreading their dangerous ideology and gaining a foothold Oh, can you stop the Enclave from spreading their dangerous ideology and gaining a foothold in the Commonwealth? Yes, because I have a nuke. <laughs> um, along with workshop items in the Enclave Colonel outfit, this one, uh, we included the following previous release, previously released Creation Club content. Wow, good job, Toji. Uh, Enclave weapon skins, Enclave armor skins, Tesla cannon, Hellfire power armor, XO2 power armor, and the heavy incinerator. Uh, which one's that? The oh, that's the that's the Tesla cannon. The that's the outfit, and then that's the incinerator. I think maybe, which is actually kind of well, actually. So that's previously released content creation club. Okay, so the heavy incinerator is most likely referring to this guy right there, which. Funnily enough, uh, probably not uh, coincidentally, um, this item is also has also just uh, come out, 
well, not just, but like since w- this item is a uh, an item that you can get in Fallout 76's uh, current season that they're doing. Um, I believe in the game it's called the Cremator. Because, you know, it's fire. Um, it, it just like shoots, you know, molten fireballs. <coughs> Why didn't Fallout Prime have mod support? Fucking real. Now we're asking the real questions. Why can't I mod the TV show? What the fuck? <laughs> um, wake, makeshift weapon pack. Even though a piggy bank would make a great... Oh, ever thought a piggy bank would make a great weapon in a pinch? This weapon pack includes a variety of unconventional objects that have been transformed into deadly weapons, such as base, such as a baseball launcher, a nail gun, and a piggy bank. So, which one is it? Nail gun and a piggy bank. So, I think the, yeah, the piggy bank is the, uh, <laughs> the nuke replacer. Um, that's probably the nail gun. This actually looks like the... Um, uh, the harpoon gun, like that uh, that data mined uh, harpoon gun from back when Fallout 4 was still not like mostly brand new, um, but were uh, what is it? They were um, oh jeez, what is it? They they were they like the, the Fallout 4 had come out, and I don't I don't think it was when I think it was before the first DLC. Um, but there, like, there were speculations like, oh, we're going to, they, they were able to data mine, uh, this guy. Um, the, the, again, this looks very much like the, like the harpoon launcher. They were able to data mine that and it had a bubble effect when it was actually shot, which made people think that it was an underwater weapon and that we were going to be going underwater in some later DLC. Um, unfortunately that never happened, but we do know that it was, um, planned that uh, we would be going to an underwater vault for a DLC that unfortunately never happened. Uh, at this point, we know like almost everything about the uh, about that planned project. Uh, I think the vault was oh geez, I can't remember what the vault was, um, but it was a it was an underwater vault. It was pretty much all destroyed, and then it uh, had like the final boss was this uh, this giant squid, which we have. Um, the, what is it? What's the word? Um, we have the, like, textures for, the, uh, the textures that would have been put together to get, um, uh, to turn the, uh, you know, to, like, to put it all together and it's a giant squid. Um, and I think it was actually psychic and could talk to the player, um, which was <laughs> absolutely crazy. Vault 120, that's it. Maybe. Unless you're lying to me, just to make me look like a fool. Um, <laughs> uh, but it, it's, it, it was something like that. I wanted to say it was like a hundred something, but I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yes, uh, we ended up not getting that, uh, that game or that DLC rather. Um, but it looks like they're adding the, uh, the harpoon gun back in some capacity. You know, this could very well be a different weapon. Uh, I don't know. 20 leagues under the sea. You know what? If I, I remembered that it, I remembered that the quest specifically was something along those lines, and making it Vault 120 actually does make a make some sense um, because it's like Vault 120, 20 leagues under the sea. Haha, <laughs> get it? Joke. Hilarious. Fallout fanboys are hilarious. Real. <laughs> I heard Toshi gets a penny from Todd each time he talks good about Starfield. Man, fucking, I wish. Fucking, can you imagine if I, every time I said something good about Starfield, Todd Howard personally hand delivers me a penny? That would be the best way to meet Todd Howard in, in real life, in my opinion, in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, okay, let me double check this. I got a message. Oh, it did finally happen. Okay, cool. Wow. Fucking a whole half. An, I, I have a I have a bot set up in my uh, in my Discord server uh, for uh, sending out notifications of when I go live, and this one just so conveniently uh, waited thirty minutes until I went live, uh, or until after I went live to fucking message uh, my server. So cool. Thanks, thanks, Botrix. Very cool. 
Uh, Halloween workshop, left over from an ill-fated Halloween party thrown by a New England technocrat society. Okay, interesting. Unless they're talking about, like, um, you know, the Institute. Um, these 38 new Halloween decorations include witches, cauldrons, ghouls, and more. Decorate Halloween and make your settlement spooky all year round. That's cool. I like that TV thing. Um, okay, so there's, like, pretty much, like, half of this article is basically just, like, Actually, not even half this article. Most of this article is just like, there's new shit that you can get. Um, that, you know, we're, I guess they're more so just giving it to them. Um, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't really say, I mean, I guess it does kind of outline the basics of what, uh, of, of what the update actually is. It says, you know, for the consoles, uh, performance mode and quality settings, and then uh, an increase to, 50 FPS, and then with PC, ultra widescreen support, and then, you know, bug fixes, stability, stuff like that. Um, maybe we'll actually be able to go to downtown Boston <laughs> and not have the game fucking run like ass uh, in an unmodded uh, an unmodded state. Um, that would actually probably be a good, uh, a good thing to test because... There are a lot of mods that specifically were created with the intention of uh, working on uh, making <laughs> go walking around downtown Boston a bit more stable. Um, <coughs> oh God, excuse me. Um, so maybe that's uh, maybe that's a possibility. I'm gonna have to remember to test that. Um, anyway, so that was like the first big thing that happened with regards to, well, not the first big thing, but that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about the update, um, because that sort of lays the groundwork for all the, not all of, but the, the next thing I want to talk about, which is Fallout London. There's no K in London. Fucking bingus. Um, God, I don't want, I want IGN. Ugh, fine, I'll pull up the IGN article, whatever. Um, so, uh, pretty much, let's see, they, so they dropped the video on Saturday, which I guess would have been a little over 42 hours, 42, 72 hours after, um, the Fallout Amazon series went live. Uh, Fallout London, Fallout Project London, however you want to classify it, it's the same thing either way. Um, they put out a video talking about how, uh, because the next gen update, which is going to drop, what does it drop? It drops the 24th, I think. It's in my phone. Hold on. Let me double check here. Um, drops on the 25th. My mistake. Uh, the Fallout 4 next gen update drops on the 25th and they were originally going to drop on the 23rd. Uh, from what they said in their, their, uh, video talking about the, uh, the news and the, uh, the changes that they would have to make, um, first and foremost, they basically said that the mod would be shelved indefinitely, um, because beside, beside this, the fact that they would have to themselves go in and, you know, probably update some stuff, uh, you know, tighten up a couple bolts, tweak some stuff so that it would work with the new update, um, they would also have to wait on other mods that, while I don't think are required in order to download the mod, uh, they do utilize in their mods framework. So, for example, um, they talk about this one mod which specifically changes up uh, the dialogue system uh, and in order for them to be able to use... Uh, well, so they went from what I understand anyway, they went to the creator of that mod, which I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I apologize, but they went to the creator of that mod, uh, and basically asked him like, Hey, uh, can we utilize your mod, um, in order to, you know, work on our own mod? He agreed. They agreed. Uh, and so it became part of the, uh, the framework of fallout London. Again, I believe it's separate. I, I don't believe that it relies on, uh, having the mod already download. <coughs> um, but one of the things that, uh, because, because especially, uh, uh, Prilodog, um, the, the lead, uh, uh, the lead designer, uh, the, you know, the team lead, um, one, the, one of the things that he said in that video was that, 
uh, the next because their mod is like massive. It's it's a big world space. There's a lot going on in it, and in general, it was just too big to put on the Nexus. I think it totaled up to about what is it? Um, like th I think he said it was like thirty something plus gigabytes, which is huge. That's a that's a massive game for context. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, if I remember correctly, uh, is like 80, 90 gigabytes. So like it's it, a third uh, of that game's um, uh, like total size, uh, and it was just way too big to release on the Nexus. Um, they had you know I think they're still trying to figure out how to actually uh, release it uh, to the to the you know the greater modding community, um, but. Be, so I'm again. I'm pretty sure that uh, you are not going to be required to have other mods um, installed in order to play uh, the Frontier. However, again, because uh, Fallout London utilizes different mod projects to uh, or as a or in the framework of their mod, they are going to have to rely on uh, all of these other mods that they use. Maybe not. I don't want to say all of as if they're depending, <clears throat> as if they're relying on like a bunch of other mods to update. I'm just saying that there are a few key mods that they utilize in their game's uh, framework that will need to themselves uh, update their files and stuff so that it coincides with the Fallout 4 next gen update so that it works with it. So, you know, they have to do that and they basically are facing, let's see probably like three or four primary issues right now um one they need to wait on uh other modders that they utilize on other mods that they used in their uh in their mods framework to update their stuff they have to update their own stuff because they want their mod in general to work with the fallout 4 next gen update and then they want or and then they need to figure out how they're actually going to uh, release the mod uh, to you know the modding public because again uh, the front or the Nexus is just not capable of uh, <coughs> they're not capable of uh, housing a game or a mod project that big it's enormous um, so uh, it could very well be a situation where it has to release on a third party website um, they mentioned uh, Prilladog in the video mentioned uh, trying to reach out to Bethesda to uh, get some help with distributing the game as a, or distributing the mod as like a standalone thing. Um, they specifically said that they would not be able to release it on Xbox because Xbox is just like, uh, or they wouldn't be able to release it on consoles because it's it's just way too big. Somebody uh, somebody in the chat earlier said that uh, they need to increase the mod limit from two gigabytes to at least like ten gigabytes, um, which again I agree with. But even if they did that, they would still not be able to play uh, Fallout London, which is unfortunate. Um, maybe they would if they released the game, uh, you know, through Bethesda as like, you know, a standalone thing that you can download or like, you know, maybe like a big DLC or something that's free to download. Um, I'm personally I, I i don't know i i don't know that side of mine i don't know any side of modding specifically other than uh like personal game modification um but it just sounds like there's a lot of uh issues or there's a lot of things that fallout london has to uh overcome and adjust to especially with the next gen update in order to you know get fucking get the get the mod out um so Again, as it stands, Fallout London is on uh, indefinite hiatus. Um, from what I've been hearing and seeing, the mod is pretty much, you know, <laughs> ready to ship. Uh, they just need to figure out how to actually ship it. And at this point, they need to do a little bit more uh, maintenance and work to make sure that the game will work with their or work with the next gen update that's coming out. Uh, there were a lot of people who kind of speculated that. Uh, you know, the next gen update was going to either uh, coincide with or, uh, you know, in some way uh, just clash with Fallout London's update. 
especially since, as I said, a lot of people were consider or a lot of people were assuming that the update was going to, in general, um, break the mod. Um, and it's likely, but at the same time, uh, it seems like for mods in general, it'll just have to be like, oh, we just got to update the, uh, um, it'll just be, we got to just update our files and, uh, and stuff. Again, I don't know anything about mods, so it might be a little bit more complicated than that, but there's, 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 there's some things that, uh, Fallout, uh, London needs to, uh, tighten up and, and, and figure out as far as the, uh, logistics of actually delivering their game. <coughs> um, let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Sorry, one second. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so yeah, that's the uh that's the that's the whole shtick with Fallout London. Um let me double check something real quick here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um I have uh, I have uh, I have somebody watching in the uh, in the stream right now, um, somebody I know in personally in real life, and they they said that they can't. Let's see, it says that they're not showing because they're not paying for a channel, and then it says that it says I have to pay for a channel in order to participate in the chat. Oh, I see. <coughs> Sorry, one second. Okay, cool. Uh, anyway, so that's the situation that's going on with London. That's the situation that's going on with the up with the uh, uh, with the Fallout um, uh, Fallout Four Next Gen update. Um, the last thing I want to talk about here uh, is the Fallout Amazon Prime series, uh, and specifically, wow, like just no news in general. Uh, news. There we go. Um, it's not Prime members. Oh, that's for the Prime members specifically. Um, so, okay, so that's it. Um, I gotta get back into Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter is dope. Um, so, one of the... Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, without getting too deep into, like, spoilers or anything like that, one of the, uh one of the big changes or not changes. Well, there were a couple of big changes that happened in, um, uh, in the TV series. Um, I'm working on a script. Uh, I'm like 80, 90% done with it right now. Um, I just need to go in. I need to finish that up, go back, uh, uh, you know, make sure I got everything, all my T's dotted and I's crossed. Um, and then, you know, record, start editing and then, get everything, uh, set up and, uh, and, and, and such. Um, <laughs> um, 
So, um, so you know, still working on that. Real close to it. Um, hopefully going to have it finished. Uh, so I can you know print it and uh, and send it out to send it all to you all you guys. But um, point is, there were a lot of changes. Again, not a lot of, but there were some changes that were made, and um, uh, not everybody jived with it so well. <coughs> um, again, without getting into spoilers or anything, the primary thing that a lot of people were concerned about when the uh, when the show released and they saw the actual content and were able to speculate on it a little bit um, is that the show decanonizes uh, Fallout New Vegas, um, which again, without going into details and spoilers and stuff, um, it does not specifically because um, the key piece of information that a lot of people were referring to as decanonizing Fallout New Vegas um, was <laughs> trying to trying to be uh, fair and uh, uh, and non um, uh, judgmental and pessimistic. Um, but the key bit of information that they were looking at and assuming decanonizes the show uh, doesn't <laughs> uh, to to be just like completely frank um it does not decanonize the show um for anybody who is currently watching that has not yet watched the show um i would probably you know and you want to avoid spoilers i would probably like at the very least mute the uh uh mute the audio for the next 45 seconds um so i can give a brief explanation as to uh uh as to uh, what this information is and how it relates to the decanonization. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> spoilers, uh, three, two, one. So in episode six, there is a, uh, a chalkboard that basically said, or basically indicates that, uh, fallout or that, uh, shady, the town of shady sands was destroyed in the years, uh, 2277. It does not, however, indicate that what it says specifically is that, uh, uh, the town or it states specifically the fall of shady sands 2277, and then has an arrow pointing to a nuke, <coughs> a mushroom cloud anyway. Um, but specifically that indicates that, uh, that event specifically happened at some point after 2277. And as most people know, uh, Fallout New Vegas happened in 2281. Doing some back of the napkin calculations uh, based on Lucy's age, uh, we can more or less uh, insinuate that when the uh, when the event actually happened that did cause uh, the aforementioned event um, was at some point after the setting of the game. Um, so that is mostly the big controversy there, what everybody's getting their, uh, their knickers all, all twisted up about. Um, there is a slightly bigger, uh, not bigger, but a slightly more uh, understandable argument that a lot of other people are making, which revolves around the end of the show. Um, which at, at this point I can't imagine anybody is surprised by, um, but we're going to, uh, New Vegas in season two and, uh, the last shot of the show is a shot of New Vegas, obviously indicating that we're going there. Uh, but specifically it seems that New Vegas is in some form of ruin or disrepair or, uh, desolation of some kind. The strip is still there and everything, but there's no lights on. It looks like, uh, it's been, you know, trashed a bit and it, it doesn't look like it's in a, in a good state. Um, the argument to be made there is that it renders all of the stuff that you do in Fallout New Vegas pointless, <laughs> Um, which I disagree with because one, uh, the events of New Vegas happen a decade before the events of uh, the fall uh, before Fallout. Pr mm, excuse me, uh, a decade before the events of Fallout Prime. So you know, t more than a decade, closer to like <laughs> twenty years. Uh, so you know, plenty of time for you know something else to happen. And if you've watched the show, we know that that something else is Vault Tech. Um, one of the things that I've always said, uh, ever since, you know, chatter became, uh, more 
fever pitched around a potential fallout New Vegas 2 uh, has to do with, uh, you know, I don't think that a fallout New Vegas 2 set, you know, immediately or like a week or so uh, following the events of fallout New Vegas 1 would be very good on the one hand uh, that forces them to actually canonize an ending, which I don't think either the developers or the majority of fans uh, want. Uh, I think that if they hinted at uh, at a canon ending to New Vegas, it would make more sense. I think that's what the show is kind of doing. Um, but as far as in the games, I, I don't I don't think, especially if New Vegas two takes place immediately after or continuing shortly after uh, the second battle of Hoover Dam, they're going to have to make an ending. Uh, And they can't really leave it ambiguous because there's just not enough time there. So in my opinion, the only way Fallout New Vegas 2 could or would, I'm going to say would in this case. Um, I'm going to say could in this case. That way it's a little, I don't don't want to tie myself down to anything. Uh, The only way that I think personally Fallout New Vegas 2 could work is if it's set a long time after the events of uh, uh, Fallout New Vegas. Um... In, in my opinion, it should be like, you know, 50 to 80 years after the main game. Um, but what Bethesda has done in this case is made it closer to about 20, which, again, is a, it's a that's a really long time. Um, so, you know, anything could happen in that case. There could be a, a plague, droughts, famine, uh, as as we saw in the uh, in the show on that chalkboard. Uh, a serious attack that puts the NCR on the back foot. Um, it could insinuate that, you know, the NCR won or, uh, you know, the Legion won, but then this other thing happened or this other thing happened. So I don't feel as if the events of Fallout New Vegas are pointless in this case, especially since there's such a large gap of time between when the game start or when the game ended and when the show started. I think people have this uh, understanding, not misconception, definitely not misconception, but this expectation rather that the events that happen in um, in the games need to be uh, sequentially continuing. They need to be continuously progressing. So, uh, for example, we can look at back at uh, Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, in Fallout 1 and 2, Wasteland's pretty much, you know, still all destroyed. There's a couple of small settlements uh, trying to rebuild and everything. But uh, after your uh, participation and involvement as, uh, you know, the, the Vault Dweller, um, you help to establish Shady Sands. And then uh, in the next game, um, thank you for the follow mythic log i think i pronounced that right i'm kind of proud of myself but if i didn't i am ashamed i apologize (laughs) um uh so you know you help out uh one person uh in the town of shady sands in fallout one and then uh in fallout two uh i don't think no yes uh the new california republic is officially uh 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 canonized in a sense they are officially introduced uh and they are a much larger faction they are not uh the uh you know the massive nation that we know them to be in fallout 4 but they are a bigger group or sorry in uh, in fallout new vegas um when we get to fallout new vegas we know that they are a much bigger uh organization they're a full country in and of themselves they have a president they have congress they have votes democracy they have corruption politics uh crime bosses they have fucking water barons and and all this all this other stuff they're a full proper (laughs) fucking chaotically functioning government um and then uh fallout prime comes along and basically insinuates in in my opinion it doesn't outright say that the NCR are, you know, completely wiped out or anything. It does very heavily hint that they are uh, a fractured uh, country at this point, um, at least in the area that we see them in in the uh, in the show. Um, I personally don't think that the faction is gone entirely, but they are definitely uh, a a broken nation 
in a sense. Um, so to a lot of people, that's a big step backwards because uh, California and or the NCR was making all this progress. They had a capital, they had a nation, and then all of a sudden, you know, Amazon Prime comes in and just decimates that, like sets everything back to square one. Um, at least as far as the NCR is concerned. Again, I don't quite agree with that. I think that the NCR is still a big faction. Um, it's just now more uh, pocketed or more scattered in a sense. Um, I think that future episode or future seasons uh, are going to continue their storyline just in a different, uh, different uh, you know, format or uh, uh, context in a sense. Um, they are obviously. I mean, they kind of brought uh, the Brotherhood of Steel back on the West Coast because when we see them last in, uh, <coughs> excuse me, hold on one second. <sighs> Got to hydrate with Rockstar Energy fluid, energy gasoline. <laughs> um, so the last time we saw the Brotherhood on the West Coast was in Fallout New Vegas, and they were just back to, you know, hiding in a bunker. Um, in Fallout Prime, they seem to be, at the very least, you know, <laughs> back above ground. Um, how big and influential and powerful they are is kind of a little bit up in the air. Um, we know that they have uh, an airship, at the very least, uh, several vertebrates and the ability to, uh, as we see in the show, uh, occupy the town of Philly. Um, how easy that is, is, you know, debatable. Um, cause Philly isn't exactly, you know, diamond city or, um, um, oh shit. Uh, rivet, rivet, uh, rivet city. That's, I was trying to remember the name of the big boat from, uh, fallout three. I got to go back and play fallout three. That's what I got to do. Put it on the corkboard. Um, so it's it's debatable how powerful the Brotherhood of Steel is, whether they're like, you know, the new pit bosses in California. Debatable. Um, but they do seem to be doing better than they were in, uh, in Fallout New Vegas. So there's a lot of argument that the, <coughs> that the show, you know, Bethesda got rid of the NCR and, you know, pushed their version of the Brotherhood of Steel uh, as, like, the big power in uh, in California. Again, I don't really agree with that uh, with that take, especially since this is, you know, season one of what, at the very least, is going to be probably a two- or three-season uh, series. Probably way more. Because um, I, <laughs> I, can, I can speak for myself and probably a pretty big section of the Fallout community when I say, we want more Fallout Prime. This show was fucking awesome. Um, <laughs> but the story isn't completed, so there is still plenty of room to, you know, come back in, revisit the NCR, uh, figure out where they are in the story, uh, delve more into where um, the Brotherhood are in the story, and, you know, especially, specifically, uh, go back into, uh, into New Vegas, figure out what's going on there, and then expand, you know, just like get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I I really like that the uh, that the that Fallout Prime is properly canonizing uh, Fallout One, Fallout Two, and Fallout New Vegas into Bethesda's uh, Bethesda's timeline. Um, it was it wasn't really debated whether or not they are canon to Bethesda's timeline, but it was more so like question, like, are they proper canon? Especially since there's been like so many changes to like, you know, how jet works, um, what the current role of, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, events of like new Vegas or, uh, fallout two were compared to like when fallout four came out, um, because there's a couple of references to, you know, Mr. House in California uh, that are made in Fallout 4, but there's never really, like, a full, proper, like, oh, yeah, you know, I was with the NCR when uh, when when the oil rig got blown up. Um, there's, there's no uh, proper, like, you know, connection between uh, the East Coast games and the West Coast games, um, which 
partially makes sense because they're just, they're on the opposite sides of the continent. So like, you know, um, but it's good to see Bethesda actually properly bringing those games into their timeline, uh, you know, doing things a little bit differently than how they were presented in the first two games, but more or less um, keeping the same general story beats. I've seen a couple people say that like, oh, it was stupid that uh, they moved uh, Shady Sands from, I, I think roughly it's in like Barstow, uh, California, which is a little bit northeast of, uh, of, of LA where uh, Shady Sands is located in the Amazon show. But like, I mean, I asked somebody like who brought that point up as like a big point of contention uh, on Twitter. I'm like, well, why, why is that such a big deal? Didn't get a, uh, didn't get an answer. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there's, 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 you know, bits and pieces of the show that rub some people the wrong way. But moreover, I see it as just, I don't know, people kind of being a little bit nitpicky um, with how the, uh, with the, with the show and how it relates to uh, the game and the story's lore. Um, But yeah, (laughs) Um, I'm going to go into much, much more detail uh, about specifics and where I think the story is going to go uh, in the video I'm working on. Um, I just wanted to, uh, to talk a little bit about the ongoing, uh, conversation around, uh, Fallout Prime and where it sits in the, uh, in the canon of the, uh, of the show and how it reacts, uh, and operates within the, uh, the rest of the game's canon. Um, <laughs> my point, uh, based on everything that we see in the show, there is hardly any to, well, there's... The amount of evidence uh, that there is in Fallout Prime uh, to make the case for uh, like New Vegas or the other classics being non-canon uh, is slim to none. And even then, you got to be just like looking at like f- like the most surface of surface level details and not thinking any deeper on them. You got to you pretty much just have to see that chalkboard partially. And then just not ask any more questions ever um, to come to that conclusion. Um, in my case, <coughs> Todd should uh, just say New Vegas is as canon as CBBE. I don't know what CBBE is. Uh, oh, and let people <laughs> and let people guess what that means. Yeah, just just spit out some like random ass thing. And then we all like, well, what does that mean? What is what is this thing? What does what does he mean by that? It's just really just like start fucking with the fan base. That'd be funny, but also uh, annoying. Um, anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, we'll switch back to uh, Fallout seventy six. Um, but yeah, so that's that's again that's pretty much all. Uh, pretty much all I wanted to say on that front. Um, me personally, I really really enjoyed the um uh the fallout uh i su- i fucking loved amazon the uh, fallout prime uh the story from the story standpoint uh it was incredibly well written um it was incredibly executed it did a fantastic uh fantastic job of um uh of presenting the show in a faithful way um, I think the story just for some people either wasn't quite what they wanted out of out of the uh, the out of Fallout Prime. Mm, excuse me. <coughs> um, and it, it it wasn't what they wanted, or they had uh, misconstrued uh, scruples or issues um, with the evidence, quote unquote, um, that was being presented as, you know, potentially damaging to the, uh, to the timeline, uh, as it were. Um, let me double check this. Okay. All right. 
Um, let's see. It's either peek out or fall off. <laughs> Man, that's actually a really good way to phrase that. That's that's funny phrasing. Um, okay, so let's jump in here real quick. Um, one thing that also happened with uh, Fallout 76 specifically, um, besides like it says like you know the Vault 33 jumpsuit and stuff like that, is uh, there were a couple of uh, a couple of things specifically like this duster here, which is the same outfit that the uh, you know outfit and hat uh, that the ghoul uh, Cooper Howard wears in the uh, the Amazon series, um, which I think is still free uh, at the moment, um, and then this uh, this. <laughs> So it's so weird. It says light ally. He's like it's 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 what they call the uh, the the people that are like at your camp, um, and you can just like you know chat with them, get a little bit of lore, uh, potentially buy some stuff, and then like depending on which character it is specifically, um, they'll give you a um, uh, they'll give you a uh, you know they'll give you they'll give you items every day. Um, let me. Sorry, it's black for a second. I wanted to check something. Okay, never mind. Um, but uh, yeah, so I believe these two are still free. Um, I got the I got both of them just because. Oh wait, no, <laughs> Fallout first. Okay, so this is only free for Fallout first members. My my bad. Um, it's still dope as shit though. Um, but then uh, what's his name? De Lawson. He's uh, <coughs> he's 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 good to good to pick up. He's free. <laughs> Um, what's the free item? Oh, I thought I got that. Oh, no, it was something else because they update at 9. That's what it was. Um, but yeah. The outfit's dope, but you need Fallout first to, 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 to grab it. So, you know, don't, uh, <laughs> don't worry too much about that. It's, uh, it's, it's cool, but, you know, people don't want to get Fallout first. You don't gotta get Fallout first. I'm not gonna push that shit. Um... Do you think when the hype dies down around the series, uh, that the new Vegas stands will try to shift to the common option of wait? So that the new Vegas stands will try to shift to the common option of the show to the negative. What do you mean? What do you What do you mean by that? What What do you What are you referring to? Shift to the common option of the show to the negative. I don't quite understand. Um, let me go ahead and jump in here. Um, <laughs> I also got a fucking whole ass sandwich that I haven't even taken a single bite of because I've been fucking nerd splaining Fallout. Oh fuck, my jaw hurts because I've been talking for so long. I got that I'm fucking got a degree in Japanese. Oh, the common opinion. Um, that's my bad. I read that wrong. Um, so, like, you say common opinion. Are you are you like, what are you referring to there? Are you are you are you referring to like the the general opinion um, that the show is good or the because you you mentioned uh, New Vegas stands? Are you saying that they're gonna shift from? Uh, the show being bad uh, to the common opinion of it being good like uh, like if the if Fallout New Vegas um, gets more attention which it's going to uh, in season 2 uh, and a couple more things are explained and basically like <coughs> you know how Fallout 3 is the Antichrist of Fallout like that it's an interesting take um so like you you're saying if you're saying that uh, people are gonna shift from uh, like Fallout Three or Fallout Seventy Six being the worst thing to happen to the series um, to shifting to the Fallout Fallout Prime being the worst thing that happened to the uh, to the franchise is that is that more so what you're uh, what you're getting at there um, if if that's what you're aiming at um, it's very possible because. Uh, in a lot of research I was doing for another video that I'm still still working on, I got a but like I, I've mentioned this a couple of times in like previous streams and other places. Um, 
uh, like social medias and stuff. I got a lot of stuff on the back burner. Um, but one of the, uh, another, another project that I was doing research for, um, I was looking into, um, how older games are perceived and, uh, it kind of like Fallout 3, you know, like Bethesda got it, um, where people are trying to shift to the common opinion of peak out to fall out, to fall off. Okay. So yeah, um, you're, you're, you're like the common, common opinion being like the shit's peak, uh, shifting to, uh, like, this is absolute trash. Um, so, uh, like I said, they did some research on, like, how previous games were perceived, and there's just, like, a continual pattern, uh, when it comes to Bethesda games specifically. Um, it started with, uh, it started with Fallout 3. Everybody was all, like, I, there was there was uh, a quote specifically that I read from somebody who was posting on a forum that who said um, Fallout Three won't be relevant in like three years or like beyond like three years or something like that. Um, and then there's all this all this talk like oh like it's a dead game nobody's gonna play it it's like you know this that and the other thing and like for a while that was kind of uh, the the uh, fall off opinion as, uh, as you put it, um, for not the general, uh, audience, because when we look back at fallout three, uh, it was massively successful. It, it fucking saved the franchise. Um, but the more, uh, the more hardcore fans, specifically the classics fans, actually not even classics fans, uh, pre-existing fans, because back then that's all there was, there was fallout one, two, and then, you know, tactics and all the, all the spinoffs and stuff. Um, when it came to the, uh, when it came to Fallout 3 specifically, uh, a lot of the more hardcore fans were all like, oh, this is going to be bad. Nobody's going to even know it exists in a couple years. And I guess, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, when Fallout New Vegas came out, they were kind of proven right. But part of that was because, you know, Fallout New Vegas had came out relatively so soon after Fallout 3, um, and was basically like, you know, Fallout 3 2.0, where it was like the, you know, the cool cousin of, uh, of Fallout 3, um, but, you know, like, Fallout 3 is still, like, semi-relevant, but because Fallout New Vegas came in and was such a massive success, uh, and so well-received by the fan base, Fallout 3 kind of fell by the wayside, so, uh, in 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 that moment in time, uh, yeah, they were they were kind of proven right, but for a reason that they couldn't really have uh, anticipated. Uh, maybe anticipated is the wrong word, um, but something that um, was potentially likely, but not incredibly likely. And then it happened, and then, like I said, it just confirmed their expectations. Not their expectations, uh, their assumptions. <coughs> and then Skyrim outsold Fallout all by itself. Yeah, Skyrim came out uh, and just, like, dominated. Just, like, completely wiped the field uh, with j not just Bethesda games. Like, anything and everything. Every other video game was just, like, second fiddle to Skyrim. <laughs> um, but after that... Um, Fallout 4 came out, there was a lot of very similar rhetoric. Everybody was saying, like, oh, the game is bad, it's bland, it's boring, there's nothing to do, nobody's going to be playing this in, like, a couple years. Um, you know, just continuous, this, that, and the other thing. Um, Fallout 4 was where, wasn't where I came, I came into the series in Fallout 3. Um, and... Fallout 4 was where I came into the modding scene, so I don't quite know how, um, the modding, what the modding, uh, you know, the modding scene was when Fallout 4 first came out. Um, my perspective currently is that, uh, or my opinion currently is that, uh, it, I, I would assume anyway, I would guesstimate that it's very similar to what we're seeing from uh, the Starfield modding community, where mods are being made, but they're not be with Starfield specifically because it's a new 
uh, it's a new series and, you know, doesn't have a fan base and stuff like that. Or doesn't have a, it has a fan base, but it's a lot smaller than, uh, you know, uh, the Elder Scrolls or the Fallout fan base. What's up? What up? Welcome to the stream. We're geeking about Fallout history, <laughs> both in game and out of game. Um, but as I was saying, uh, with uh, with Starfield, this again, this is what I think uh, the Fallout Four modding community or the Fallout Four reception was um, based on what we've seen with Starfield. Um, Starfield modding exists, but it's limited, and a big part of that is because, you know, it's a brand new IP uh, with a still building fan base. Um, but my assumption from that reference point is that when Fallout 4 came out, and even though a lot of people were saying, again, not a lot of people, as in like the majority, but enough people were saying, like, oh, the game's bad, it's not going to be around for so long. Um, I think that. Uh, the modding community definitely helped to elevate that game. And then just because uh, of a lot more uh, media and PR work, uh, the game was able to receive just so much more attention from an entirely new fan base. Uh, and they were able to not rebound, but they were able to just continue, uh, continue the growth and continue... Uh, just becoming a bigger and bigger game. Um, and then when... Uh, we, <laughs> Funnily enough, we didn't see that for Fallout Shelter because Fallout Shelter dropped, and probably most likely because it was a free-to-play mobile game, uh, it just, like, fucking dominated. Um, Fallout 4 outsold Fallout by itself. Yeah, so Fallout 4 dominated, uh, you know, Fallout in general. Again, to be fair, Fallout 5 is probably going to do the exact same thing. Um, but it's funny, uh, with Fallout, uh, Fallout Shelter because the game was free and it was a mobile game and stuff like that. I'm, I could be, I could be, we could, it could be incorrect information at this point in time specifically, but last I checked, Fallout Shelter was literally actually the best selling, uh, and best performing Fallout game just period. Again, most likely because it was free to play, but as far as like units sold, which, <laughs> frustratingly enough in a, uh, uh, a market capitalist, uh, economy is like the be all end all of, uh, of support for a product. Um, but <laughs> just based on, uh, you know, units sold and like gameplay, uh, fallout shelter, as far as I know, is still literally the best fallout game, uh, which I think is just so funny. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for the follow, Alice Parkour. Parkour. I apologize. I, I'm not. I'm not great with pronouncing names sometimes. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, Starfield would be bigger if it had mods earlier. Uh, console mods and mods tool. I mean. I mean, yeah. But like there, like I said, there are mods being made for the game. Uh, there. One. They're just PC specific. Um, but that's primarily because people are just you know. People are and were excited to get in and just mod the game. Um, granted, it's limited right now, but the reason for that is because the mod kit isn't out yet. It's coming out at some point this year uh, and is most likely going to coincide with the um, uh, with uh, uh, with the, the Shattered Space DLC, which, to be transparent, uh, we have absolutely no information about it. we don't have a story we don't have a pricing we don't even have a, we don't have a release we don't have anything about shattered space all we have is the name but if i were to make a educated guess i would assume that the uh that the mod is going to because i think the mod is also going or the uh, the update dlc sorry <laughs> Uh, I think the DLC is going to drop sometime this year, and it is most likely going to coincide with uh, the mod kit being released. And just based on what I've seen from the Fallout, uh, from the Starfield modding community, uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. I predict that modding for Starfield is going to actually, absolutely explode. It's going to be huge. And the reason I think that is because the game has been out. The so the game is a new IP, uh, and it's been out for what's it been at this point? Um, 
oh gosh, what is it? Uh, it's been out for, let's see, it came out in September, so six months at this point? Six months? Maybe? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but, uh, point is, it's been out for a while, um, and, uh, it has, well, hasn't been out for a while. It's been out for a good, decent amount of time, and it has, uh, already gotten to the point where the mod it's or the, the game itself has, uh, as far as, like, mods, it's the, last time I checked, 11th most modded game on the Nexus, and that's a pretty huge accomplishment for a six-month-old game, six, eight-month-old game, um, especially it being, like, a brand-new IP. So people are super stoked to mod the game, but they aren't... It's, 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 it's not as big uh, as it is right now because the mod kit isn't out. I don't think that Starfield will ever be as huge in the modding scene as, like, you know... Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, um, but I do, my prediction, uh, is it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be a big deal. <coughs> um, getting back into my, my tangent, um, that, that was my, my point with, uh, with Starfield. I would imagine that, uh, the modding scene definitely helped, uh, to propel Fallout 4 into a more, uh, you know, uh, 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 a, a, a faster upward proje- uh, trajectory, especially when you consider in, again, PR, stuff like that. Um, when it, and then, so like, all that happened uh, with Fallout 4. Fallout 4 all of a sudden became like the worst thing to ever happen to Fallout. And then uh, the next, <laughs> after that was Fallout 76. Um, and it had the, had the same, you know, the same song and dance, the same pattern. Oh, it's the worst thing to ever happen to, to fall out. Uh, it destroys the, the canon. It destroys the lore, wrecks the timeline, this, that, and the other thing. Um, admittedly, uh, (laughs) there was a lot more, uh, reason for that being a valid argument and a, uh, uh, a, a, uh, a valid statement, um, specifically because of the way that, uh, <laughs> that Fallout 76 launched in. Um, but, uh, I mean, over the years, it's definitely gotten way, way better. Um, I don't think it, on a technical level, I think it's better than Fallout 4. Um, but on like an overall gameplay level, eh, there's debate to be had of, over, uh, whether it's, uh, more enjoyable, uh, than Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 76 or, or Fallout 4. Uh, slow moving Karuba, I think that, I think that said, I apologize. I missed most of that, um, or the, the last bit of that, but, uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Chad move, absolute, absolute menace. Um, oh my God, (laughs) I'm getting a bunch of, uh, of, uh, fucking, uh, spam today. What the hell? Um, let me go ahead and do that, and, uh, there we go, good, what, no, jeez, alright, uh, no, (laughs) there we go, alright. Um, so, let me, I do this, no, I can't, thank you, Twitch, very cool, (laughs) gee whiz, um, alright, so, uh, where was I, oh yeah, Fallout 76, um, so yeah, that came out, uh, just all of a sudden the worst thing to ever happen to Fallout, which, again, the, with with seventy six specifically, uh, there was definitely a uh, a much stronger argument to be had, um, but it just continued along the same uh, the same process uh, the same uh, general response time after time again. And now again, like this again, <laughs> God, I take so long to get to my point. Um, to your uh, to your question there, 
uh, is uh, the Fallout Amazon series going to have like the same response? Is Fallout Prime all of a sudden going to be the worst thing to ever happen to Fallout? Um, I think probably it's definitely um, a much bigger question seen as how uh, this is a uh, standalone uh, linear story uh, TV show compared to every other instance, uh, which was an actual game. Um, so like if we just go back and just look at the history of fallout game, uh, releases, um, as far as have come out from Bethesda, it's possible, but we just don't know that for sure because we don't have, uh, we don't, we don't know how, uh, the more, uh, uh, critical part of the fallout community is going to react to a, uh, a linear story, uh, TV show. Um, it's possible. I would probably hedge my bet on uh, it being more likely than not. But at the same time, we're just in uncharted uh, territory with this. So, you know, again, maybe, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, hi, Toshi. How are you doing these days? I am doing fan-fucking-tastic. I just spent <laughs> last fucking hour and a half... Uh, losing my mind fucking gamer stimming over uh fallout uh fallout 4's next gen update fallout london the fallout amazon series uh and we were just talking about how because somebody asked uh is is fallout prime uh the amazon series um is fallout prime going to be like the next worst thing to happen to fallout um which my, my like my to, to to summarize um Maybe, but because it's such a different medium uh, than you know everything else that came that has come before it, uh, we we just don't know, unfortunately, um, at the moment anyway. Uh, it could, could not. We don't know. I think it might. I keep trolling Toshi streams. He does. He's an absolute menace to society, but. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, when you have more uh, people who <laughs> more so uh, casually troll, as, uh, as, as he says, um, it's actually better for the channel um, because it's just more people uh, engaging and interacting, um, which the algorithm sees as a good thing. Even if it's like, hey, yo, dude, uh, you should go uh, walk off a bridge and see what happens. <laughs> YouTube's algorithm is literally, and probably Twitch's algorithm as well, streaming algorithm in general, is all about quantity over quality, um, at least as far as I've seen. Um, all right, so an hour and a half into the, uh, into, into the, into the stream, uh, admittedly, we've talked about a lot of stuff uh, as it relates to, uh, to other mediums, um, but the other reason... Uh, well, not the other reason, uh, but a big part of uh, what I want the stream to be, uh, which, again, it doesn't have to be the only thing, but uh, we talked a lot about everything else that's going on in the Fallout ecosystem, which I am absolutely, <laughs> as you can tell, geeked to talk about more of. Uh, but I also want to get back in and f tr at least try to uh, finish up the uh, the uh, Fallout 76 Atlantic City quests uh that were added with the last big update um last time uh we got in and did this oh god um we let's see what did we do uh we went to a uh a house on a hill uh that was like hey we're a new casino we're a new showroom uh and we went in there and there was like a stage and every stuff uh <laughs> every stuff uh there's a stage and everything there's music playing uh, it's a bar. There was a lady who got up and did like a little tuba solo. Um, and then these guys just started shooting and everything. We took them down. And from what I remember, um, the people who are uh, the, the, the family uh, that was being accosted by those people with guns uh, are most likely at, at one point uh, big names in Atlantic City but are now on the run. Uh, the daughter has an addiction to something called Devil's Blood, if I remember, um, which seems to be a 
highly addictive drug. <coughs> and, uh, you know, they're also like, can you fix our problems? And I'm all like, okay. Um, so we're going to head back to Atlantic City and uh, finish up those quests and see where that all takes us. Uh, it's a shame about Fallout London. Any idea how long they're going to wait? So they're not really like wait. I guess they technically are waiting. But the big thing that they're mostly waiting on is, as I said before, um, way earlier in the stream, uh, is that there's a lot of other mods, maybe not a lot of other mods, but there are a couple of key mods uh, that they use in their mods framework. Um, and those other mods, so they're not like, as far as I know, they're not dependent on you having those other mods um, in your load order in order to play the game, but because they took those mods and have incorporated into their framework, the original mod developers for, again, I, I forget the name of it, um, but there's a, uh, a, um, a UI overhaul mod that they use for their, their mod. And that mod needs to be updated so that they can then take that same information and update it on Fallout London side. Uh, so they need to wait for uh, a couple of the developers to do that. Obviously, that can't happen until after the uh, the next gen update <coughs> releases, uh, which is next Wednesday. Next Thursday. My mistake. Um, but so they got to wait until the next gen update drops, and then they got to wait for uh, a lot of mod authors to update their mod so that it coincides with the new with the uh, with the new update um, and then after that they pretty much just need to figure out how they're actually going to get the mod into people's hands because the mod is like 30 gigabytes or something it's it's a beefy mod it's huge um, and that is just too big uh, for Nexus mods to actually hold on their <laughs> on their server um, server servers um so they have to figure out how they're actually going to get the mod out into people's hands um they've tried a couple of times uh to connect with um with bethesda to try to get a little bit of logistical assistance with that but as far from what Prilodog said in their uh uh in in the update video that he made for the game um it, they've, they've just been radio silent so at this point one, they got to update all the uh, all the information and stuff, uh, so that it works with the new update, the next the next gen update, and then two, uh, they just need to figure out how to ship it, because um, it's big. I did get Fallout seventy six three th free through Prime, so I can't knock it yet. I would I would wager that you're going to enjoy it. Um, I don't know how it works through Prime, um, whether you're still able to. Uh, connect with people uh, who play it on Steam uh, or on Epic. Um, I think it's on Epic. I can't remember off the top of my head. But if you're able to play it with other PC players um, and you have some friends that also play it, I would very strongly recommend playing it with other friends. Um, I personally think that on your own, it's an enjoyable experience. Um, but <laughs> gaming with friends is always just better and that's literally what the whole sell of fallout 76 is it's fallout with buddies so me personally again i recommend uh if you can play it with uh play it with a couple friends um but uh if you can't i would still i would still say that you're probably going to enjoy it um that would be my bet um of course you know there's <laughs> i i had a uh uh, a conversation on Twitter with um, uh, with uh, uh, with an individual who we we just had disagreements about a specific point of where the Fallout TV show could go, and like that's okay. Some people just have very specific things where it's like, oh, I would have liked it if it did this, and because it didn't, I'm not as I'm not as into it, um, which is fair. You know, there could very well be something in this game that just in general rubs you the wrong way that makes it so you don't enjoy it as much. Uh, as an individual player. Um, but overall, I think you're going to enjoy it. <coughs> Drew, it's on PC Game Pass in Windows. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you should be able to... Uh, uh, you should be able to play it with other PC players then. Um, me and uh, the Wanderer uh, 227. Um, 2277? I forget it. I forget his... 
the numbers all the time. I think it's 2277. Um, me and him play uh, or have played uh, together on PC before. And he, at one point, I believe, had it on Game Pass. Um, so it should work. You should be able to play it with other PC players. Um, that being said, uh, let me see. So how do we... Oh, yes, we have to do that. And then the next city. Okay, that's it. So we need to go to the casino quarters for that. Um, let's just do travel to district. This actually gives us a good opportunity to uh, see if the game or see if we can actually just go in and just you know goof around and uh, and be ridiculous um in the game it's okay yes it looks like we can actually just travel to this location and we don't have to worry about uh doing the expedition stuff uh that's pretty dope um let me go ahead and turn off my avatar here excellent Okay, so, um, which one is this drawing us towards? Shane Elshman, thank you for subscribing. What an epic Chad gamer moment. And I know I sound, <laughs> I know I sound sarcastic when I'm saying that, but that's literally just how I talk. I got that Skibbity Ohio white boy Riz. Thank you for the subscription, Quinn. I'm burning these rats to the ground just for you. Whoa, hello. I hope you're happy, Quinn. I have committed murder aside on your behalf. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna grill them into some sandwiches later. Hey, yo, what up, Moho Mitts? You missed it. I was just fucking spilling my guts about uh, Fallout and such for the past hour and a half. Which isn't a surprise, to be perfectly honest. Um, let me double check. So, I get <laughs> primarily because I have a whole lot of people watching on YouTube. Uh, what is the stream quality uh, like? Is it a little? Uh, is it choppy? Is it laggy? Uh, what's going on with? Uh, what's going on with that? Because from what I've kind of been peeking at, it seems like it might be a little bit wobbly on. Um, uh, on, 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 on Twitch. Um, so I mostly just want to figure out if this is a, uh, uh, a Twitch issue or a streaming issue in general. Um, because it's showing that my KBs are running kind of high on my OBS. Um, oh my god, wow, this place is actually populated now. <laughs> Fuck. Hell yeah. Fuck yes! Aw, oh, this is dope. Last time we came through here, it was all empty because we were doing a fucking thing. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted them to do with fucking, um, with the, with the fucking, um, uh, with the location. Um, at first, like, this is exactly what I wanted them to do with this, uh, this place, uh, as far as the, as, as far as the expedition goes. Cause like, there's people here. I mean, granted, a lot of them seem like they're just regular NPCs, but it's not just like an empty building where it's like, oh yeah, people used to be here. And or like yeah, this is this is like a frequent frequent place that people come to. Um, are you named? Do you have a name? Ah, oh, you don't have a name. Boo, mob collector. That's fair enough though. Um, but yeah, this is dope. It's an actual fucking. Uh, it's an actual location. Um, with with people and and such. Um, granted, that was to be expected. That's what we saw in the trailer. So it would have been kind of silly for it never to be. Um, but that's cool. I like that. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's pretty choppy for me. Audio is solid. It's okay on YouTube. Definitely chopping up a bit. Okay. I will, uh, I, I, so <laughs> I've had this issue, uh, before I know exactly what the, uh, I know exactly what the problem is. Um, the, the, I can change it, but it's not going to affect, uh, this stream. Uh, unfortunately, I just need to adjust my, uh, my, my KB limit in OBS. Um, which is a bummer because the KB limit is what determines uh, the actual stream quality and I don't want it to be too low because then it's going to just look gross. Um, but I can't have it too high because then we have this choppy effect. So uh, I will 
uh, adjust it. <gasps> Hello, small cat. Walter. Hello, little gentleman. Look at you. What a gamer. What an actual Chad. What a dude. Until she got revealed at 15k. Sterno, shut up. <laughs> Stop fucking making promises I have no intention of keeping. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll 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 try to try to fix that and make sure it doesn't happen again for a future stream. Um, in the meantime, I'll try not to flail around too much. You know, just blah, 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 go fucking crazy like that, so that the so that it lags even more than it probably ought to be. What up, dudes? This seems like it's a like it's a pretty tense meeting. What? Hello, Fabio Mandador. I don't know whatever. Welcome, welcome, my friend. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of speaking yet. No, sir. Fabio Mandador. Mandadori. Uh, how's you going, actually? Who are you? Who am I? Well, some call me consigliere. Others, a diplomat. I represent the Lombardi family, but also myself. To my friends, I'm just Fabio. Perhaps you and I can be friends. Maybe. I'm here for a job posting, though. So you are. Let's, uh, let's get a good look at you. You look sturdy. Weather, if I may. You may be exactly what I'm looking for. Excellent. Now I'm, uh, I wonder if that line is different depending on what your special stats are. Ask anyone, they'll tell you. But I, uh, I want to start you off small. See if I can trust you. You prove yourself to me. Show me you can handle a bit of uh, challenge, and then the real work can begin. How does that sound? Okay. Toshi, do you have that Riz? Make a make a video rizzing people up in Fallout 76. So you're like, are you talking about like NPCs or just like going up to random people and fucking dropping a fucking uh, pickup line on them? <laughs> Loki, that actually sounds kind of funny, but I would have to do it in such a way. Well, one, it would be it would be uh, kind of a departure from uh, uh, the content I'm leaning more so into making for my channel. Um, but that sounds absolutely hilarious but it would only work if it's like the worst pickup lines delivered in like the most confident way fucking <laughs> fucking pull a uh uh pull a frontier out of at a pull a fall out the frontier card out of my back pocket and be like hey yo girl i got a question <laughs> you know how many bags of ice oh shit no you know how many bags of salt it takes to break the ice Fuck, I screwed up the joke. <laughs> what was it? It was, it was, what was the, what was the line? Oh, yeah, it was like, do you know how much salt it takes to see the ground? Enough to break the ice. Hey, all right. And then I just fucking like walk away. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, that'd be funny. God, part of me wants to do more stuff like that, but like, I, like, it would just be so, few, there'd be so few and far between. Uh, videos because like that's just not how my brain works. My brain doesn't think funny in uh, in that way. Um, but like fuck, that would be hilarious. Um, are you doing this on behalf of the family? What is he doing? Uh, you proved to me. Just, oh yeah, he wants me to work for him. On behalf of the family. Toast Drew Taint. <laughs> Hell yeah, Andrew Taint ain't got nothing on my riz. My own interest. And when I act in my own interest. It benefits the family. The two are one and the same. Perhaps that answers your question. Not really. What do you need me to do? Simple as, my friend. There's some uh, ne'er-do-wells hanging around the casino quarter trying to rub up the family's patrons for a few caps. Rude. Pathetic, isn't it? Regardless, I need you to deal with them. How you do so is up to your discretion. My In God. fact... I would be curious to learn your methodology. You deal with them, and I promise you, you will be well paid. We, uh, take care of our own here. Now, do we have a deal? I'm going to go out and set them on fire. Hmm. Uh. 
That's all you want? Just you just need me to take care of some goons? You're sharp as a tack, aren't you? Thank you. Well, let's just say this little gang problem is not the only thing I need help with. If you can prove yourself with a trivial task such as this, perhaps I can trust you with greater responsibility. Ones like, with larger rewards. Such as a kiss. I'm sure, we can come to an understanding. A kissing understanding? What do you want me to do with them? I mean, I'm going to set them on fire, but I just want to know what you want me to do with them. I don't care. I mean, kill them, talk to them, marry them. Ah, oh, fuck yes! Yes! Get them to go yes. I'm going to ask people to marry me. Alright, we're going to find him. Where's my future spouse? They like to hang around this area waiting for our patrons to come out of the casinos. You might want to try looking around the old storefronts. Could be hiding out in there. Okie dokie. I'll do it. Your words are reassuring. Let's hope your actions mirror them. Come back when our friends outside are dealt with. Wait, there's friends outside? Oh shit, fuck yeah, let's go! I got the buddies. Get the fuck out of my way. Where are the buds? Where are the homies at? Let's fucking go. I'm gonna bite a sandwich. I changed some of the mic settings, so I don't know if you guys have just been fucking listening to me chomp on a fucking sandwich or not. <laughs> How dare you make fun of my slop. You, I was going to say you're a little man, but no, you're just leaning. My bad. All right. <clears throat> Let's set people on fire. Hello? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I knew you were around here somewhere. I could hear you fucking groaning and blowing over here. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? It's okay, I'm eating steak. Hell yeah. Hey, yo, what up, dudes? We got gang member. We got Jordy. Right there. I don't think you belong here. I'm an American. I belong anywhere. Mind telling you what you're doing walking in here like you own the place? No. I heard you've been shaking casino patrons up for their caps. Maybe. Maybe not. You don't look like a muni to me. Don't know why it matters to you. Sounds what can I say? I feel like you got steered in the wrong direction. We've been shaking some people up for caps, as you put it. But not patrons. The fact that you use that word tells me that the family sent you. We've been shaking up Clintino's louts for their caps. Who's going to miss a few mobsters? I'm not an Probably a mobster. How about you just turn around and walk away? And I'll forget this ever happened. No, that's okay. Ooh. Charisma, lie. Why rob monsters when the showmen are just feeble entertainers? Ripe for the picking. Hilarious. Intelligence minus two. Why don't you just rob me instead? I'm way richer than those mobsters. Oh, fuck yeah. They entered in fucking stupid. <laughs> they brought back low intelligence speech checks. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> intelligence minus two. The fucking play here is like, oh yeah? Why don't you rob me? Huh? Why don't you rob somebody bigger than you? And it's like, Wait, hold on. I don't think that <laughs> I don't think that leads to the outcome you want. Um unless this is just a, 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 a the unless this specifically is the dialogue that shows up uh when you don't have uh the necessary No, because it's on, on this one uh it says plus eight and on this one it says minus two. So it has to be like you you would have you, you the only way you could uh do this one is if you had minus two intelligence. Um, fuck, that's awesome. God, I hope they hold that over until Fallout 5, or into Fallout 5. Um, pack it up and move out or I'll skip rope with your spine. Hell yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to leave. The FBI is coming. Oh, no. 
Not the FBI. Get out of here or I'll skip rope with your spine. Hey, well now, there's no need for that. Uh, really? You want us gone? Fine, we're gone. Uh, you can tell your little family that we won't be causing problems around here anymore. In Thank fact, you. I've uh, heard the boardwalk is quite nice this time of year. Oh yeah. I bet it is. You guys didn't want me to set you on fire. Cowards. Alright. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was supposed to talk to Orlando. Forgot about that. Alright, well, we'll do this. Jump back to Appalachia, talk to Orlando, and then we'll continue along that one. Because I think this quest is slightly different. I think it's along the same lines, but I don't think it's a continuation of the story uh, they're telling with that uh, with that family whose names I can't remember. It starts with an O, I think. What up, Fabio? You're taking your time, aren't you? I'm sure you have your reasons. <laughs> I just left. I wanted to ask you about this gang. Of course, I'm sure you have many questions. I will endeavor to answer them. Thank you. Who are they exactly? Oh, nobody of importance that I can assure you of. They're just a bunch of street rats looking for quick caps. I hear they're led by a woman who calls herself Jordy. I want to try looking for her. I don't know why you struggle with pronouncing that. Nameless lackeys who can do not but follow. Funny because they actually didn't have names. Plain and simple. I mean, don't we all, bro? Any particular reason they need money that bad? I, I'm, I'm not sure what you're getting at here. Crime is crime, as I'm sure you know. We can't no. very well have cutthroats running around <laughs> mugging people on our streets now, can we? I don't know any of these near to wells personally. I don't know why they do what they do. Only that it's wrong. Mm, seems like a little bit of pot calling kettle here. Good old buddy Fabio. Where can I find them? Well, they should be outside in the casino quarter. They like to hang around this area, waiting for our patrons to come out of the casinos. You might want to try looking around the old storefronts. Could be hiding out in there. What do you want me to do with them? I don't care. You kill them, talk to them, marry them. Whatever it'll take to get them to go away. I just don't want them scaring off our patrons. The execution of my purpose doesn't matter to me, so long as the goal is made. Okay, you said that before. How are the questions? Uh, I've taken care of Jordy and her gang. I've done it. I'm a hero. So you did, so you did. And in your own way as well. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Words can only tell you so much about a person, but actions? Well, actions tell you everything. Thank you. That gang of lowlifes I sent you to track down was just a test. A trial run. <gasps> see if you can handle the real work that needs to get done. You see, my organization, the Lombardi family, we've been uh, disorganized for some time now. Rudderless, filled with questions. Mm -hmm. It's not good for a cult of personality to lack one, you understand? Now, as I'm sure you can see, I'm not Quentino Lombardi. I'm not the Don. Yet. Quentino himself has been uh, absent for some time. Silent. It's not in his character. We've been told he's just been ill from old age. At the very least, that's what his kid sister Concerta has been saying. She's been strutting around, giving orders, claiming they're from Quintino. Not all of us are foolish enough to take such things at face value. I need you to play detective for me. Dig up dirt on her. Find the truth. If Quintino is, for whatever reason, gone, then the position of Dawn is open. And I would be very interested in that position. Oh my god. Quite handsomely, do you? Think you could do some digging for me? I love digging. I dig all the time. Dig that tie you got on. Give me the tie. I'll do it. Where should I start? <laughs> yeah. 
I didn't think you'd turn an opportunity like this down. As to where you should start, look to the Neapolitan Casino. Concerta lives in the largest suite within its hotel wing. I need you to search her room and find whatever evidence you can. That woman is hiding something, I know she is. When you learn the truth, whatever that may be, return to me. Don't come back until you do. Wow, rude. What if I need, like, a hug or want to just check in with you? What a stroke of luck that is. Thank you. Let's talk about the job. I want to double check this. Uh, anything you can tell me about con uh, anything you can tell me about con oh, about Concerta that might help? Uh, it's hard to Concerta. describe a viper like Concerta Lombardi and me. I had it right. Concerta. My bad. Difficult to pin down and even harder to trap. She's the Don's little sister, as you know. That position has afforded her a great deal of power that she didn't earn. Oh. Unlike me, she doesn't have much of a silver tongue, more of a lead one. It's ruthless, cutting, and doesn't mince words. Though, I've heard she has a bit of a soft side, philosophical even. I have yet to see that. <gasps> She's been calling the shots around here lately, says Quentino's been sick. As you can imagine, I don't buy it. I know something's happened. It's just a matter of what and how much involvement she had in it. My pa was a made man, and his pa before him, and his pa before him. Wait, what did the pa before that pa do? <laughs> Fucking dude in the background. What did my paws, 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 pa do before the other ones? They were all made men. What did he do? That fucking asshole. <laughs> like it just accelerates. He just goes off the handle. Uh, where should I look for evidence? Your best bet's the Neapolitan Casino. Concerta lives in the high roller suite there. Come on, house. Gorging there on luxury. Between you and me, there's an underground tunnel that goes between Quentino's and the Neapolitan. Mm -hmm. So you can detour through there. Nice. Of course, it won't be cut and dry to break into a room. She's probably got it locked up tight. You'll have to be uh, a bit crafty. Lock picking. Got it. I can do that, no problem, maybe. What happens after I find the evidence? That's an easy one. You bring it back to me, and I will act accordingly depending on what you've found. However, if you find it necessary to expedite the process for me, let's just say, uh, I would be very pleased. Murder her. My god. Are you gonna kill Concertia? Oh, Arbiter, why do you ask questions you don't want the answers to? But I do. Kill is a very decisive action. Let's just say that depending on what evidence you acquire, <laughs> will measure up my actions to meet it. <gasps> Pretty sure that sounds like you're in killer. I wanted to ask you something else. I don't think there is anything else. Yep, yeah, no news. All right, later. Yeah, come on, mouse, turn on. Sorry, I knocked over your drinking glass. It wasn't full anyway, so, you know, I don't feel too bad about it. I'm sorry, with air quotes. Bam! All righty then. Now, let's see where this party takes us. Where does the road go? Where does this mission of death and destruction take us? Right over there. <gasps> We're going around the block. <coughs> Is there another dude over here I set on fire? Or am planning on doing? No. Just trucks and cars, what did need exploderizing. And look at that. My wish was fulfilled. Doubly so. I didn't even notice that other guy was there. Oh, invisible wall. Wait, what's over there? Ah, just the end of the road. Fair enough, I guess. Alright. Where is this telling me to be? Ah, the Neapolitan. Yes, yes, of course. They make wonderful ice cream. Except the fucking strawberry part. <laughs> oh, God. Only two-thirds of Neapolitan ice cream is good. The other is strawberry. Fucking strawberry ice cream. 
Bro, I can't even. I can't even uh, with this nonsense. Oh, excuse me. All right. Are the people in here too? Gonna make a necklace out of those caps, or are you gonna invest wisely at the Neapolitan? I don't know. Necklace sounds like a pretty good investment. Take some caps, string it, run a string through them, sell it for 15 caps, make five cap profit. Sounds like a pretty good investment to me. I smell a rat. Oh. Hey. That's fucking rude, yeah? What the fuck? I just kind of like walked up here. I didn't even do anything. Scatterbrained. Concerta, I did everything you asked of me and left the caps exactly where you told me to put them. The room's locked up tight. Don't worry. There's only there's one slight problem, though. I may have left the key behind. They might be downstairs in my office, but the overgrowns are sulking by the door. Uh, you don't need to get in your room anytime soon, right? Billy belt balls. Alright, uh... Let's switch. No, what was it? Uh, perks. And then it was... I think it's perception. Yeah, there it is. So, expert. Hiding, huh? No, not really. In AC. Okay. Thank you. I will keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Where is it? That's that, then. This is the I most happy place in AC. Why those munis want to stay in that gross little hovel? Down me. Pick lock. And where's the other one? Oh, I guess I'll just notice it's pick lock, not lock pick. Interesting. Master pick lock. Boom. Let's go. Okay. How come the munis need so much money? What? You gotta pay the electricity a cut the or something? So much money. Ye Y what? Yes? Maybe? Hey yo, what up? <laughs> Got him. Give me this trash. And the monies. Alright, uh, so. So there's a room for evidence. Will do. Let's see here. What we got in here? Mm, a whole lot of jack shit, nothing. I'm gonna take these coat hangers though. I am going to steal everything in this room. Everything that is not nailed down shall be mine. Take the hairbrush. Ooh! A canister of a dick doll lies in the shower floor, covered in blood. It's entirely used up. Someone took this in a desperate bid for your cure. Desperate bid for a cure. But given all the blood, it doesn't look like it worked. Oh, interesting. What a fascinating development. Somebody was addicted to something and tried to cure themselves, but were unsuccessful. Huh. Okay. All right. What's in the bedroom? Letter to Charlotte. Uh, paranoia has been eating away at me lately. Quintino's confidence has left. Wait. Has. That looks like it's L E F T S. Oh, let's. Uh, Quintino's confidence has. Let's just say it's worsened. Uh, it goes without saying that I am entirely grateful for your discretion regarding this. Uh, most here are unaware of anything being awry. But some of the caps have been, some of the capos have started to suspect me, namely Fabio. He used to be happy just waggling his tongue at anyone who would listen. But since Antonio's departure, he's changed. I believe he never thought it possible for him to be God, for him to be Godfather, but now sees uh, a weak point to exploit. Charlotte, I know he is your friend, but here is where I'm. Excuse me. Uh, here's where I must implore uh, you for a favor. Do not tell Fabio anything. He will ask you. He will pry. 
but you know as well as I do that he's a fool that just discovers what ambition is. just discovered what ambition is. The family will crumble if he takes over. Please, take what I said into consideration. You are one of the wisest people I know. Best regards, Concertia. Okay, so Charlotte. All right, that's interesting. <gasps> Handcuffs. <gasps> Ceramic bowl. <gasps> Couch. Nah. Okay, so that's interesting. So, uh, Concertia doesn't think that uh, Fabio is quite up for the task of being Don. She thinks he's stupid. <gasps> gift box. A meticulously wrapped box, a uh, gift box, sits inside the fridge. This instantly strikes you as bizarre. After all, most people don't keep wrapped presents inside of their freezers. Upon opening the box, you discover a vial of macabre design containing a blood red liquid. Ooh, that's the devil's blood. Somebody got addicted to devil's blood and then tried to cure themselves of said addiction. These plastic plates and telephones belong to me now. Long. I was going to say along with that thing, but I couldn't pick it up. I was able to pick up the flower vase, though. <gasps> no, can't play that. Can't play that either. Can't steal that. Can't steal that either. Ooh, this one-eyed freak. Probably going to have to hack into that thing. <gasps> stack of books. Your eye is drawn to a stack of books lying on the table beside you. At first glance... They would seem entirely innocuous. However, you notice the bindings of the book at the bottom of the stack has no title or author written on it. Ooh, I am quite perceptive. Um, you pull out the bottom book and notice it's entirely hollow. It has brass openings in it where uh, the pages should be, almost like it's some sort of key. Strange book added. All right, hell yeah. Showman approved axe. Joey Bello, comedian, blacklisted. <laughs> uh, Joey Bellows is a, um, um, what is it? Uh, he's a companion that we, uh, that was introduced, was introduced last season. I don't remember if he was part of the season or if he was just a standalone thing that was released. I think he was part of the season. Um, Kit Ryder, lounge singer, blacklisted. Poppy Seid, uh, Seidel, Seidel, the extraordinary human bagel. I, whatever the fuck that means. Um, the Three Mustard Eaters. Hell yeah. The Crab Orchestra featuring Captain Judy Whalebone Xylophone. Hell yeah. That sounds fucking dope. Uh, is it blood or just ketchup? Comedian extraordinaire. Well, it, <laughs> was, that his, was that his name or is that the was that the act? I think that's the act. Um, Peacock Pam's Yodeling Hour. And they ate how many pancakes? Game show. Hell yeah. I want to watch how they ate how many pancakes? Caged candle. A wax candle burns inside of the cage. It's an odd design choice, but not totally outlandish. Upon further examination, the candle appears to be made... Uh, the candle appears to be of some make as the... Betovi candles commonly lit at funerals. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that's interestante. So it seems like there's one more clue, and I'm pretty sure it's on this computer. So let's get rid of these and then add that perk back. And then for the computer, where are you? You are... Get rid of that one and then add Master Hacker. All right. I should probably just leave that one there in general since I need a hacking. Since I have plus one and I don't think there's any other perks in intelligence I need um, or can use that are just plus one. <coughs> I will revisit that in the very near future. Let's get you, and we're good, we're good, we're good. I think that's everything. Sensed. Hell yeah. Personal logs. Deleted. Fuck yeah. Inbox. Neapolitan mailing list. All. 
Notice to the Neapolitan employees, it is friendly reminded that any unauthorized access from the Lombardi family property, including the casino's operating systems, is strictly prohibited. If you witness any unauthorized tampering of family property, report it to your supervisor immediately. We cannot have any would-be charlatans slandering the Lombardi family name. Anyone who, disagree, uh, anyone who disregards this notice and tampers with family property will be terminated in a literal sense. Make of that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, she said the quiet part out loud. Um, Fabio, replacing Billy. Don't replace Billy belt buckles. He's fucking dope. Uh, I've been meaning to speak about speak to Q about this. Um, it's probably Quintino. Um, but I'm sure you know as well as well as I do how private he's been lately. I figured you would be the best person to deliver this message to him. I have a I the. I have my concerns about Billy being uh, the new accountant. Well-founded concerns. This feels purely like Neapolitan, ne- sorry, nepotism on behalf of his pop, don't you think? Either that, or someone much more cunning than him just needs him in a position as easily molded, uh, as easily molded clay. Wonder who that'd be. My point here is to tell Quintino, Quintino, to think carefully about what he is doing god <laughs> fucking who i fucking who is this sorry hold on fabio yeah <laughs> fabio is just not even not even buying the ruse um to think carefully about what he is doing billy is incompetent not only will he be the laughing stock of the city uh but his mistakes will drive a rift between the family the munis and the showman we can't afford a rift um I can do my best best to smooth things over diplomatically with the others. You know me. But there's only so much I can do here. Think carefully. Is what you're doing really what's best for the family? Sincerely, Fabio. Uh, Regime supplies. I'll have the latest batches ready by the end of the week. Uh, You've got to give me more time. The demand for blood... Uh, just continues to skyrocket, and it doesn't help that I have to juggle our little side ventures along with this. I've told you hundred time, hundreds of times uh, that he won't be able to get over this without a strong antidote. The meds you've been asking for are just delaying the inevitable. You need to trust me more. Blame Antonio all you want, but there's no one... Uh, th- oh, sorry, there's no use f- focusing uh, on the past when we've got our hands full with the present. Gene, original message. Uh, Gene, I appreciate you sending me the chems over in such a timely manner, but we need more. Quickly, name your price, and I'll find a way to pay. The situation is degener- uh, de- de- oh, deteriorating. Sorry, <laughs> uh, deteriorating rapidly. No one, and I mean no one, can know. Please use the utmost discretion with this. Furthermore, we need another shipment of Devil's Blood as soon as possible. The demand is higher than ever, and with Antonio gone, it's becoming harder and harder to distribute it. Best regards, Concertia. Okay, so that definitely makes it sound like uh, Quintino got addicted to Devil's Blood, and it, they're they're trying to uh, they're trying to save face with the family by not showing him in that condition, uh, but also letting him continue. Or well, Concertia anyway uh, is running in his stead while they figure out how to get him not addicted to devil's blood. Uh, secondary count Q Lombardi. Oh my God. Um, okay. Unknown user missing auditors. Okay. Uh, I can't tell what runs deeper. You're up shit. I can't tell what runs deeper, your lies or your wrinkles. I sent a group of three auditors to the uh, to the Neapolitan five days ago. They haven't returned. What does that tell you, Quintino? Uh, I know what it tells me. It tells me that unless I receive the rest of your dues in the next day, 800 caps, I'll be sending one of my best men over. Uh, you better hope my auditors show their faces in City Hall before then. B. Deactivated. This is goodbye. It's the end of the line for me, Q. I know I'll never get to say my goodbyes to your face. For many reasons. Many stupid, cowardly reasons. I know you're not ready for, uh, I know you're not reading these anymore. But damn, it's only, it's the only way I can think of to even get close to the the actual feeling of closure. This dance wasn't going to last forever. Our number was going to come up eventually. I just didn't expect it to be like this. For either of us. 
Thank you for taking a chance on me. I told you back then you wouldn't regret it. I'd never lie to you. But it feels like I did. Goodbye, my friend. Tony. Not Tony. Fabio, where you been? Q, it's been ages since I've heard from you. Since anyone has heard from you. You're supposed to be the godfather, not the ghost father. Oh. <laughs> um, pardon the bad humor. Dude, that was fucking peak humor. Uh, but seriously, this is... Uh, this... Uh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, brain stopped working. <coughs> Um, but seriously, this is beginning to look bad. The average Joe hasn't picked up on it yet, but some of the smarter ones are starting to notice. Concerto has been running the show. Tony's gone and looks like, uh, you are too. What's going on? Come see me at the club. Uh, whatever this is, we'll keep it between us. This can't be I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? This can't be I'm dead. Okay, there we go. Uh, more goods. Quintino, are you sure about this? I've doubled and triple checked everything. I've been sending you uh, the requested amount of devil's blood in every single shipment. Not a single drop less. If you want more, then say so. It'll cost you more. This stuff isn't cheap to make. And no, I don't know why uh, there's some missing from every shipment. I don't mean to offend, but are you sure no one is stealing a bit of uh, a bit off the top? It's highly addictive, as I'm sure you're aware, but addiction changes people. As for now, I'll keep making uh, the requested amount. If you want more, or less, but I doubt that, just let me know and we'll work uh, We'll work out a payment. Okay, so the other message encrypted. Okay, so this is definitely, this definitely seems like they were, uh, the family was receiving devil's blood from uh, this outside source, Gene, uh, and... Uh, uh, Quintino uh, started stealing some, uh, either by way of uh, you know intentional, or you know somebody else was stealing them for him, uh, and as an end result, he got addicted, and now they're trying to figure out how to make him uh, not addicted so he can continue his duties as the Godfather. Um, but we seem to be missing a bit of evidence. Which I was under the assumption would have been on that computer. But it doesn't seem to be. Did I get everything on the computer? Personal log. Let's check the deleted stuff. That doesn't exist. Okay, so... Pretty sure we went through all this. You can just double check. Okay. Okay. Quintino Lombardi. Hey, yo, Gabagoo, it's me. I'm Quintino. I'm addicted to drugs, but I'm also the Godfather. Okay, yeah, so we got all that. Um, so what's the other bit of evidence here? Maybe it's something out here? Okay, it might be something out here. This telephone's mine, Gabagoo. Oh, no, it's definitely something in here. Okay, not that. Let's close these. Um, hmm over there, nothing over there. Got a safe. Nothing inside. Out here. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Take that. Soap. Take that. Good. Anything back here. No. Well, what's this extra bit of thingamajig I'm looking for then, huh? Where's the gabagoo? Ah, I don't think these guys got the gabagoo. Maybe it's in the bedroom and I missed it. <laughs> Bedroom's pretty big. Um. Ooh, yeah, miss, broken mirror. 
Uh, upon examining the broken mirror, you notice there's some uh, there's some dried blood on it. Uh, its presence is, f- is faint, as if there was an attempt made to clean it up. The mirror's appearance, uh, the mirror appears to have been intentionally broken, as if someone smashed it in a fit of rage. You made some headway, but still feel as though most of the pieces of the puzzle elude you. You can't help but notice the upright piano that seems to dominate the main living room. It's worth a look. I did definitely notice that piano. Okay, this definitely, with the mirror especially, that definitely leads into the uh, uh, the conspiracy theory I'm rattling around in my brain here. Oh, you run your finger over the keys, pressing each one. Strangely, one of the keys won't press down. Uh, seems like there's something stuck underneath it. Oh. Oh, there was, it was a note. Change of plans. Uh... Change of plans. Here we go. C. Moved Q into the old guest house behind his office. I'm sure, uh, I sure hope you know what you're doing. Billy. <gasps> Billy Belt Balls? Fuck yeah. Locate the Don's office. Don't you worry, Billy Belt Buckles. I'm a coming. <laughs> oh, gosh, oh God, God, fucking shut up. <laughs> All right. I gotta go, gotta go hang out with Billy Belt Buckles. First, I gotta do this big slot. 100 caps. Let it ride. Let's go. Oh, big money, big money, no whammy. Uh, I don't think this is big money. Okay, so I dropped 100 and. The house always wins. I got 50. Lost money. Hell yeah. Gotta play the horses. Hold on. Uh, wait. There we go. Uh, we'll go with lane four. Continue. Go. Go lane four. Go lane four. 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 Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, you son of a bitch. Just fucking losing money here. Okay, no more. <laughs> oh, is that a, is that a perk? Is it an effect? Nah, I am hungry though. Do I have any schnackums? Probably not. Yeah, not really. Okay. What up, gamer? A little bit. <laughs> All right. Close this up. Okay, the Don's office. Search room for anything suspicious. Got a bunch of TVs hanging up there. Okay, good here. Once again, taking everything that ain't nailed down. Reminder. God, I hate math. It's just, it's just five digits, Billy. You can do this. First letter of each line of this stupid poem. Then match him up with the tax record. This is the worst job ever. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Take all the drugs. In the details. The devil is in the details. This much is true. The story of it begins here. The key lies in the very beginning. The blood that is spilt tickles up, trickles upward. Payment is inevitable even from those who have it all. Health is the only commodity of the rich and the comfortable. Death follows the clarity after the rush. Sins of the son follow the godfather. Uh, so the devil, the payment, health, death, sins. Okay. I'll take that. And... <gasps> A safe. Nothing. High roller key lounge, knuckles... Take the phone, take the cigar box, take that. Take all the pre-war monies. Take the screwdriver out of the trash. Hello, buttons on the wall. Strange bookcase. This bookcase seems to be attached to the wall. You attempt to slide uh, the odd book you picked up earlier into the shelf, and it fits with a perfect, with an oddly perfect click. However, nothing seems to happen. Maybe the keypad isn't. Uh, maybe the keypad to the side of the bus- bookcase has something to do with it. Yes, indeed, it does. All right, let's see. So, supply request. Billy, I have good news and bad news. The good news uh, is that you'll have less implement. You have less. In in inclement, 
inclement expenses to account for going forward. The bad news is that things got a bit messy last night, and I'm going to need a truck. Not the elephant kind. Oh, need a trunk, not the elephant kind. Uh, I've learned to be more direct after the last time. <coughs> oh, Billy Belt Boys. What a ridiculous man. Uh, you doing the main story or just exploring? I'm doing, I think I'm doing the main story. So uh, as you can see up in the top right hand corner, uh, we got um, All the World's a Stage, which I believe is the one that we're supposed to be doing to uh, to follow up with that, uh, with that family, um, which I believe is the quote unquote main quest. Um, but we are currently doing the one right below that, uh, Regent of the Dead, which I think is also a main quest one. Um because we also got that from uh, the, the the family back in Appalachia, which maybe maybe you remember. I don't remember their name. It's something with an O. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that is also a main quest for that. Um, but I know for sure that all the world's a stage is uh, the like main quest we're maybe not supposed to be doing, uh, but uh, that uh, we uh, probably ought to be doing for the main story. Um, oh, zero. Okay. Uh, all right. Button time. Fuck. I need to actually, <laughs> need to actually know the thing. Um, let me cheat and just look it up because I, uh, don't know <laughs> the thing. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. yes. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Fallout 76 of the dead code okay so it should be six eight four nine two hey let's fucking go let's close that okay and now here we are the secret bathroom uh oh oh yeah he died Aw, oh, shit, son. My bad. I'm gonna take your shit and bucket. Physician's note. Death note. <laughs> fucking hell yeah. Anime is fucking real in the Fallout universe. Death note. Let's go. <laughs> uh, patient's name, Lombardi Quintino. Uh, time of death, 2254. So that's... Eight, 10... 10 p.m. Uh, 10, almost 11. Um, uh, CMO, I don't know what CMO means. Uh, autopsy request. It was not an autopsy request. Autopsy. <laughs> autopsy. Uh, physical exam. Patient was in incoherent mental state upon arriving. Body temperature uh, exerted, exceeded 38 degrees uh, Celsius. 38 degrees Celsius is, fuck, I don't remember. Hey, Google. What is 38 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, sorry, 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so he had a fever. Um, sweated excessively and was unable to lift uh, extremities without aid. So his limbs and such. Uh, preliminary examination denotes a demural or skeleton uh, skeletal injuries. Ooh. Patient was suffering from nonstop tremors. Okay. Denotes, oh, there was no, uh, denotes no uh, dermal or skeletal injury. So he didn't have any uh, broken bones and didn't have any surface level skin damage. I believe, I believe that's what dermal is referring to specifically. Um, attendees, one attendee present, uh, concerta, concerta Lombardi. Uh, family notified the patient's sister was present for uh, for his death. Patient expired within 24 hours of admission. Yes. Medical examiner contacted. No. See notes. Notes. Upon request of family. Uh, description. Patient was suffering from severe withdrawal symptoms in what appears to have been an unsuccessful attempt to wean off devil's blood. Okay. That was right. We called it. Good job, chat. We did it. We are super mastermind detectives fucking Sherlock Holmes ain't got jack shit on us. <coughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba, attempting to wean off devil's blood. Uh, the patient's sister called for medical attention, but nothing uh, could be done 
short of making the patient more comfortable. The patient went into cardiac arrest after three hours of surveillance and passed away. Advanced age likely worsened his condition. Patient's sister admitted to having administered a Dictol prior to my arrival, but the chem had no effect on the patient's condition. Signed, Dr. Frank Vietti, M.D. <laughs> I like how the, it's it. They most likely just ran out of uh, ran out of space on these two, but I just love how there's just this. Like, the last page is just the doctor's signature. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. All right, let me pick up your trash here. Just because you're dead doesn't mean you gotta be a fucking litter bug, Quintino, to Tony. Tony, you're probably never gonna read this, are you? It's the most hopeless feeling in the world, I tell you. Just scribbling into the void while I can practically feel my body giving in from the inside. Uh, inside out, knowing that you'll never even lay eyes on this piece of paper. I know you feel like you let me down, but the truth is, I let you down. I was supposed to watch your back, keep an eye out for you. I lost track of things, and it all started spiraling out of control. If I could turn back time, I would have burned that first shipment of blood, but we both know I can't do that. It's poisonous, the damn th it, It's poisonous, the damn thing. It's like the sweetness of sugar coursing through your blood. But just like how sugar rots teeth, there's something about this chem that decays your blood. Makes it ache. Everything that flows through me aches. I should have been alive to hand you the reins of uh, of La, Costa, La, bleh, La Casa Nostra to you personally. I should have been well enough to stand up and declare your authority. But I wasn't. And it's my fault. I'm sorry, kid. I really am. I saw dollar signs at the end of screwed up. Uh, I saw dollar signs. I saw dollar signs, and in the end, I screwed us both. Lombardi, Quintino, my guy. He died with regrets. Very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, hello. So. You're the catalyst that will bring down my brother's empire? You, and you alone? Isn't it great? Uh, uh, oh, you have bloodshot eyes. Uh, catalyst, Arbiter, you and Fabio sure like your melodramatics. Uh, you're a monster and I'm here to put you down. Well, that's not quite true. <laughs> that's me, Agent of Chaos. Uh, I think you know exactly what I'm here for. That's a me. Agent of Chaos. A jokester? <laughs> Who would have thought I'd be bested by a clown? It's the most hilarious outcome, isn't it? Although, I do hope you can muster up enough sincerity to listen to reason. Yes, ma'am. I don't expect you to pity me. The mad queen of Atlantic City. <laughs> Whose subjects could and never would respect her if she stepped out of the shadows. I've been standing in the shadow of my brother my entire life. The machinations of the family emanating from my whispers in his ear. Ooh. Until he found the peace. He died. As I started to lose my foothold. He was my shield, the visor that obscured my visibility in the public eye. <laughs> but now, he's gone. Not by my hand, mind you. <laughs> But by the very substance that made him rich. Sprite. The other contenders for the Godfather's chair are fools. They will run the empire for which I bled my entire life into the ground. I Damn. didn't take the family from Quintino. I made it for you know, him. One thing I don't miss. Right. One too many jerseys flies gone. Mm, mm, excuse me. Sorry. Um, why didn't, uh, so you didn't kill Quintino? No. Contrary to popular belief, I am not some witch. I loved my brother. Hot headed and stubborn as he was. He got too big for his breeches one day, as he often <laughs> did, and sampled some of his product. Uh oh. He became addicted to blood. There is no weaning off blood. No cure, no ten step plan. You stop taking it, and you die. Oof. 
Rough. Uh, why didn't Quintino just name you as his successor? Your naive day makes me nostalgic for an easier time. <laughs> it's not due to some falling out or hatred. Right. No. It is simply due to my nature. The family is rooted in customs from back home. We're from a small village near Naples. There are certain traditions that are to be followed if you're the one who lives by rules. My brother was too stupid to see beyond it. I had to resort to more subversive means to take what had always been mine. So she said Naples there. That's a, uh, for anybody who's unaware, uh, that's a town in Italy. Um, and that is, well, it's definitely not the first time that uh, uh, a canonized Fallout character has referenced Europe. Um, but that's the first in a very long time. The only other character that comes to mind off the top of my head that has either referenced or uh, talked directly about a city in Europe or a location in Europe uh, was, I think, Colin Moriarty in uh, in Fallout 3. I think he talked about being from uh, somewhere in Ireland, I think. I could be... Could be 100% wrong on that one, but uh, yeah, we don't uh, we don't hear characters talking about being from outside the U.S. very often, so uh, that's cool. That's that's uh, that's a dope little little nugget of information there. Um, you've been calling the shots this whole time. I have indeed. My brother was older. <laughs> Certainly not wise. He was always an impulsive temperamental person driven by vice and whims yeah, are we all to be the level-headed one the decisive one the tactician if i didn't we'd be begging for scraps on the street i won't lie and pretend i'm some selfless do-gooder who is trying to protect him no, mm -hmm. i looked out for myself <coughs> first and foremost everything i did was with his best interest i hunger I hope you can believe that. No. Yeah, kinda. Makes sense. Uh, why should I believe you and not Fabio? Fabio is a politician who lies endlessly through his teeth. Fair enough. He's full of pretty words and bleached smiles. He's little else. My God. Competitors, he just wants power. Well, he doesn't care about preserving the legacy and glory of the family. Mm -hmm. He'll run it into the ground and sell it out to every muni taxman and boardwalk juggler in Atlantic City for a few cups. Those jugglers are pretty good, though, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I know what I want to do. And what would that be, pray tell? I want to dance. Uh, you convinced me Concerto the family should stay under your leadership, Intelligence 8. I want to see you stay in power, but I'm not going to kill Fabio to help you get your way. You'd be just as bad as him. Don't... Did she say... Did she want us to kill Fabio? I don't... I didn't... I didn't quite get that, uh, insinuation. <coughs> Sorry, had a little bit more Rockstar in there. Uh, <laughs> luck, lie, you're so verbose, so wise. You know what? Let's forget this whole thing happened. I'll just go back to Appalachia. Um, attack. I came here to do a job, and I'm going to finish that job. Uh, someone as wise as you should be able to understand when your time in the spotlight is over. It's time to go. So... I suppose, I suppose at the end of things, um, it, this, this story does all boil down to, um, Concerta or Fabio becoming the next godfather. Um, but from like everything that we've been seeing, it doesn't really seem like Concerta was the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, a mastermind in the, uh, the assassination of her brother. It seems from everything that we've uh, deduced, gathered, uh, examined here, uh, and everything that we've been told, it very likely seems 
like um uh like she was trying to help her brother especially with that that note back there where uh uh the the note written by a doctor uh said that concerta had tried to uh administer a dictol to her uh or to um uh to uh quintino uh in order to you know stop him from dying uh or in order to get him off of uh devil's blood but ended up not working um so i don't know it it just doesn't it just doesn't read that like she had a uh malicious or planned intent to you know bump him off um there's definitely an angle where it could be viewed that way uh like you know she's conniving and like set everything up so that it would just look like uh 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 uh, quintino uh was was you know an innocent victim of his own uh his own doings um and she was you know trying to be the 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 good guy in this situation um but then that note he wrote to tony didn't really you know use verbiage that would insinuate that he's being murdered by his uh by his sister it seemed more like like i don't know how i got addicted to devil's blood but like i'm here and now i'm gonna fucking die um it seemed more like he was you know aware that he fucked up um and that concerta was helping him um granted he wasn't talking about concerta but it definitely feels like he was aware that he's the one that made the mistake so it seems a lot more likely that concerta is the uh, the the <laughs> the better option in this situation between two fucking potential mob bosses. Uh, so uh, you convince me, Concerta. The family should stay under your leadership. I am humbled by your faith. It's good to see someone know the truth and still support me. This is a most unusual occurrence for me, I, I, and I... Uh, I should thank you for it. No problem, gamer. You know what must happen now, Kiss? Must die. <gasps> okay. I'm fine with that. He seemed like a goober anyway. in his back, like he has to mine. Send a bullet into his skull. See to it that the treacherous conciliary dies by my hand guiding yours. I'm just going to set him on fire. I'm not going to do any of that stabbing him in the ribs or shooting him in the head. Fabio Mondadori isn't going to kill himself, unfortunately. You never know. All right, let's see. Kill Fabio, and then the other one's pointing up there to talk to... Orlando to to go to them. All right, what the fuck is this? Hello? <gasps> Quintino's nightclub. Oh, was this that uh that fucking uh uh track that he was talking about? The secret underground splagorgle. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm not your tour guy. You don't seem like a you don't seem like a janitor either. I don't think those are OSHA approved footwear, my good man. Out here just sweeping up. Alright. <sighs> Kill Fabio. Where's Fabio? Fabio's up there. Oh, right, duh. Of course this is the this is the right place. Alright. <sighs> Hello, Fabio. Mm. Take that. Did you have something else to ask, or uh, are you just lonely? Uh, a little column A, a little column B. Change of plans, Fabio. Let's say Concertia made a better offer. She didn't. We're just doing subjectively the right thing? Maybe? I don't know. I'm going to set this dude on fire, though. <laughs> oh, you're a funny one. You're lucky I like jokes. Thank you. You're, you're serious, aren't you? You actually sided with the hag. It's rude, so but you know. Stupid. You knew that displeasing me could only end one way. Well, I don't like. Why would you throw everything away for her? Well, you're speaking very derogatorily to me. I 
am the one calling the shots here. I'm just following along with your goofy little storyline, and I'm going to set you on fire here in a second or two. First and foremost, though, calling you corrupt would be an understatement. She's the lesser of two evils. I like the cut of her jib. Corrupt? Me? Don't make me laugh. Oh, you're just full of jokes today, aren't you? Well, I'm not laughing. You won't. Why are you so mad? Joke out of me. Why are you so mad, bud? Whoop, let's a little bit kind of do this. Whoa, hey yo, hey, how's it go? Oh, you're the reason. There we go. Got a little bit crazy there for half a second, but you're all dead now. Should have kind of figured that uh, a room full of dudes strapped with fucking uh, miniguns would have been a uh, little bit more of a challenge. But that is to say, oh no, I used four stim packs. Oh no, they just are able to shoot a little bit faster than I'm able to revitalize my health. Eh, eh. Unfortunately for them, I still won. All right, fantastic. Well, that was kind of cool. We were able to uh, engage with a little uh, political family crime drama. Very cool, very epic. Now then, they clear the barrens. let's go and do the, uh, uh, the. I, I suppose it's the main quest because these, the, so like this little, yeah, so there's, there's two different kinds of indicators. There's this square one, Esme. Rat, rat. Oh, that's the that's the chef lady. Okay, that's, that's something something different. Um, uh, refugee. Um, there's the square ones, and then there's the diamond ones. I think the square ones are um, the uh, the main quest ones, because uh, from what we've seen so far, the diamond ones are uh, the um, what is it? Uh, the diamond ones are the uh, God. What is it? The diamond ones are like side quests. Um, let me check something here real quick. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, oh, God. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. <laughs> I mean, fucking switched over to, to YouTube real quick and fucking... <laughs> um, uh, Juice had dropped his uh, his video talking about the the lore of the Fallout series. And it's so funny because it says uh, uh, the title is "Did Fallout Did Fallout TV Show Just Ruin Fallout Lore?" And then on the fuck on his thumbnail it says "No, period, it didn't, period." <laughs> uh, that's funny. Juice said's funny. I hope I get a chance to bring him onto the podcast. That'd be dope. All right. Oh yeah, you can even see it in the uh, the upper right hand corner uh, with the quests. Uh, the diamond one is the miscellaneous ones, uh, or not miscellaneous, but like side quest stuff. And then the um, combat instructor at the range. Interesting. Uh, or the ranger. Um, and the square one seems like it's the the main quest line one. So <laughs> we'll do we'll look, we're going to go and do the main quest line one now. What is the Oh, that's a that's a different one. Thoughtless activity. I don't do that right now. Pretty sure it's a uh, uh, an unrelated side quest as well. We'll toggle this activity as well. I should really go back and do some of these. That that last one I did was def was a um, a repeatable one though. The facilities are Russo. That's it. That was the family. I am responding to a need to save an addict from the terrifying consequences of indulgence. Oh dear. Because your charity doesn't extend to dirty junkies. Is that it? Whoa. As it stands, I have no way to verify your story. Had you a prior relationship with us, or the victim was present for our medical staff to... Prior relationship? 
So this is a refuge ruled by nepotism, is it? Hello. How's it going, Orlando? I know we don't have exactly the best relationship, mostly because I don't fucking trust you, but you seem to require some assistance in this interaction with dear Miss Evelyn Russo. I deeply apologize for the commotion, darling. We do strive to make every visit to the White Spring a pleasant one. Thank you. Finally, you've arrived. Hello. I was resigned to having to convince this lunatic that my daughter is dying all by myself. Uh-huh. Do you know this woman? Yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. She wasn't supposed to come here, though. Yes, she recently moved into the area. We did. Unfortunately so, yes. Unfortunately? Is that your response to good hospitality? Yes. Ah, well, looking past the assertive attitude of our new acquaintance, it does behoove the refuge to help those in need. Yes, quite so, quite so. Perhaps you could provide more coherent details regarding this woman's conundrum. Hilarious. Her daughter, Abby, is suffering withdrawals. She needs a dose of chem, uh, she needs a dose of a chem called Devil's Blood. Uh, we need to ride to Atlantic City. Uh, well, it all started with an attempted hit on Evelyn's nightclub. Oh, don't tell people about that. You'll scare away the customers. But that's where it started. Here, in the rural mountains of West Virginia. Oh, it's fucking From genius, isn't it? You hippies <laughs> really use the excitement. Hippies. I don't even know where to begin with correcting you. Hilarious. Uh, her daughter Abby is suffering from withdrawal. She needs a dose of a chem called Devil's Blood. Hmm. We've heard the name. The stories paint it as something rather more dangerous than your average chem. Only slightly. It is legendary. Reserved for the upper crust of idiots who live in America's playground and still manage to get bored. It is your daughter we're talking about helping, right? <laughs> Give Abigail a break. The move has been stressful for her. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Long story short, we need a ride to Atlantic City. In that case, you will be happy to hear that the leaders of Atlantic City are sponsoring travel for visitors. Yes, I know. I speak to Mr. Jeremiah Hopkins about it, if you haven't already. He has a booth out in the common area, beside the stage. So long as you're willing to provide assistance to the locals during your travels, you may fly to Atlantic City whenever you'd like. Hell yeah. Fucking sick. Was that so difficult? For you, yes. For me, it was easy peasy. Welcome for the flight, Mrs. Russo. Now I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to. Lennox shall be happy to board you once your preparations are complete. Leno. It's French. It baffles me how you're able to deal with that person. <laughs> Where are they from? The 17th century? Uh. You didn't have to be so rude. Of course I didn't have to. We're all free people, aren't we? I you know what? That's a fair comeback. <laughs> full body Charlie horse. At a minimum. Honestly. Do you not stick up for yourself? Yes, but when I do it, I set the people on fire. You have a pretty strange way of speaking yourself, woman. Oh, please. I'm a performer. Fair I enough. learned from real-life stage experience. Not from sitting at home reading Shakespeare over and over like that Orlando character must have. Nah, they got... They got... To. They got something else going on. Pretty sure they're on clave. Uh, why are you here? I was planning on heading to Atlantic City alone. Oh, you were, were you? And what was I supposed to do? Just leave my daughter's fate in the hands of some stranger hundreds of miles away? Yes, oh, I know. that's what you asked. Throw back the blood at your first opportunity. Then you'll find yourself splayed out naked on the boardwalk two days later, choking on your own vomit. Sick. I suppose the showman would dispose of you before letting you bear your cheeks on their turf. And then where would that leave me? 
And Abigail. Thinking about my ass, apparently. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna head out. Wonderful. I'll be having a drink at the bar until our departure. I'll need it to get me through that dreadful flight. Oh, God, she's... Oh, hello. Sorry to interrupt you. I just heard you were going to Atlantic City, and I, uh... It's not safe there. There's a monster. I saw it. I saw it. I keep going missing. That's why I left. You're not mouthing off about some Jersey devil, are you? What a load of hogwash. My parents told me that story when I was a child to scare me into submission. Well, it didn't work. And no Jersey devil has snatched me from my bed. Yet? It's real, I swear. She saw it. You gotta listen to her. Missing person. Oh boy, not another case of missing persons. Yeah, that uh, missing persons, I believe, was a callback to, uh, what was it? Um, I think it was the missing persons quest. I think that was the name of the quest. Uh, from, uh, from the, the Wastelanders update. Um, I think you only get this, uh, option if you've finished that quest. Um, what's a Jersey Devil? Long ago, a woman known as Mother Leeds cursed her 13th child. Uh -huh. When she gave birth to the child one stormy night in the Pine Barrens, it transformed into a winged devil. And flew off into the night. Hell yeah. Been tormenting Jersey residents ever since. I mean, like, bro, I would too. Jersey residents are fucking whacked. Uh, oh boy, not another missing persons case. Actually, that the missing persons thing might actually be uh, that uh, that one case um, where fuck it was in the 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 uh, the water park. There's a Miss Nanny there, and she's all like, oh, the little boy uh, that's in my care is missing. Um, and you go and find her, and you find out that uh, that was actually before the war. He's super dead now, and she just thinks that he's still around somewhere because she can't find him. Um, and I guess is more so oblivious to the fact that the end of the world happened. So, yeah, I think. I don't know. I could be way wrong on any of this. Anyway, uh, not another missing person. Loud tourists, low tier entertainers, showgoers on their way home from the pier. The devil swoops down from the sky and swallows them whole. Hell yeah. The perfect cover story to deter anyone in convenience. <laughs> <laughs> that devil almost got me too. Oh, good thing I fled to the mountains. Shoes tracking mud all over our floors. Okay. Uh, thanks for the warning, but I'm still going to Atlantic City. At least I warned you. Better for my conscience. Keep your eyes on the skies. I will indeed, tinfoil-wearing woman. You get a good look at your hat here. Hell yeah. You got the bottle cap glasses and everything. Fuck yeah, you're fucking set. Uh, 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 excuse me. Orlando, where'd you go? There you are. Do you have anything else to say? Orlando. Sorry, NPC was getting up. Lovely to see you once again. Thank you. Was there something specific I can help you with? Probably not. I'm just here for the repartee. Repartee, indeed. Uh, what can you tell me about the refuge? Uh, no more about your management. I don't think any of this is new stuff. Okay, bye, Orlando. Excuse me. Ow, fucking Jesus. Uh, travel to the casino quarter in Atlantic City. Okay, so... Switch to you, Atlantic City, and Casino Quarter. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I started a new expedition. I completely forgot about that. My mistake. Okay, cool. Tax evasion. Uh, is there a... Quest landing. No. Okay. I'll just go through this real quick. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Gotta bounce out of here real quick. Uh. There we go. 
exterior. Yes, quit. I think I gotta wait for. Wait for this. <sighs> do, 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 do. Get on top of the vertebrate. I am prepared and ready for adventure! <coughs> the adventure has come to a swift and dramatic end. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, let's try that again. What? No. <laughs> All right. Let me do this. Go all the way out and go all the way back in. Hopefully it doesn't continue onward uh uh into a new into a new fucking world. <laughs> Do 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 Get a look see here. Uh okay. Uh travel to district. Alright. Well, at least I don't have to worry about uh um at least I don't have to worry about the expedition. Well, I mean right now anyway. I'll worry about that later. But it's not something that's going to prevent me from uh getting in and doing uh the other quest. Maybe? Travel to district. There we go. Okay. Not not 100% sure what that was, but we're here. Hello, Evelyn. Oh, did it always smell like this? Okay. <laughs> you would think in a city people could find a civilized place to relieve themselves. I mean, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Right? Watch out, Jersey Devil! There's more chance to see a pirate ship flying over this city than some kind of winged goat. Is that a Fallout 4 reference? I feel like that's a Fallout 4 reference. <laughs> uh, first give me lay a land. Uh, Alright, you're the loco here. Where do we get devil's blood? The best bet <clears throat> I can give you is a fellow named Stanley Soriano. <laughs> he spends all his free time at the High Rollers Lounge in the Neapolitan Casino. Uh -huh. Stan is a weak link. Make him feel important, and he'll serve up practically anything on a silver platter. Sick. Uh, will you be coming with me? Me? <laughs> oh, that would be a bad idea. You be a doll and handle the communications. I'll meet you back here once the job is done. I'm not a doll. I'm a big boy. I'm a real big boy. Uh, wait, then why did you even come here? Is this for Abby or something else? Silly. <laughs> I'm like a uh, handler. What? I have to make sure you get the job done. That doesn't mean I'm going to be the one to do it. Don't you worry about what I'm occupied with. It'll just be a distraction. Okay. Uh, how do you know this guy? He's a former friend of my husband. One of the most empty-headed coots I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. It's entertaining, really. But tell him anything, and watch the words pass through the void. Okay. I'll head to the Neapolitan and look for Stan. Don't wait up for me. Or actually, do. One should always have an escape plan. Right. Okay. I'll just, uh... Alright. Woo! Ah, oh, fuck my knees. All right. Uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. There we go. Yeet. 
Boing. Hit. Oh, get on the ramparts. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> Next time. Next time. Hit. <laughs> hey, yo, bada bing over here. How's it going? Whoops, okay. A little bit of rubber band in there. Find Stanley Storiano. Hey, yo. The High Rollers Lounge has an exclusive entry policy. You're not on the list. Okay. Attack. <laughs> uh, there must be a mistake. Can you check again? I could double and triple check and your name wouldn't magically appear. Get lost. Hmm. Fine. I guess I'll look around some more. Don't get any funny ideas. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the funniest, wackiest, goofiest idea that probably involved killing you once I get bored enough. Uh, you have to try um. No entry. Yeah, so he's definitely in there. Find a way into the High Rollers Lounge. All right, let me poke around here real quick. Uh, maybe there's a place where I can buy, like, alcohol or something? Mapster. Happy hour. Dice table. Ooh. Five. Possible payout, 250. Yeah, sure. I bet five. Roll them. Roll them bones. Damn it. Still no luck. I'm not your tool. I should get That's seven. Cool Nelson. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the uh the follow. How are you doing? Are you doing well? Uh do you sell alcohol? No. That's a beer bottle. Is there anybody here that sells alcohol? That's dirty, Wilder. How's your luck? Well, you see. Eh. You know where I could get a good hoagie? Nope. Wish I knew where to get hot dog. Um. Hello, piano man. Doesn't seem like there's any bartenders here, even though this very much seems like a bartender zone. You've been outside the city? Let me tell you, you don't want to be there. These are just the bottles. These aren't even the actual drinks themselves. <gasps> Rat poison. No Fuck yeah. Let's go. Probably not though. Uh, one more time. I should get out. Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna see if I could find some some stuff to like bring my charisma up here, but because I think, but I have a charisma of three, and I think I need a charisma of eight to to yeah. I need a charisma of eight. That's gotta be way too much. <laughs> How's it going the game today? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. We're getting a lot done with the quests and such here. Um, I'm getting in there one way or not. One way or the. I'm getting in there whether you like it or not. Sure, yeah. We ain't afraid to clean more blood <coughs> from the carpet. That's good. There you go. I'll be taking this off you. Cool. Nobody is all that concerned. Go ahead and open up this. Let's go ahead and close the door. How's it going? Flush again? You must have the angels on your side, my friend. Okay. <laughs> uh. Cool. Observe the poker game. You know what I love? Oh, that's Stanley. How much faith you put in your friends? <laughs> oh, this is ludicrous. Oh, jeez. Oh, no you, you killed him. You really think he was playing me? Come on, Stan. Three royal flushes in a row. Now you grab that cash and take care of your family. I'm headed out. What a fucking lad. Hello, Stanley. This so you play on PC or console? I'm playing on PC. You looking at some? Yeah, you and your face. I need a hookup. The strong stuff. 
<laughs> I, feel, I, I, I don't know if it actually will, but I feel like if I just said that, he'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you're Stanley Soriano? You heard of it? Well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I am Stanley Soriano. Hell yeah. Handler of official business. An avid patron of this fine establishment. How can I help you? Well, I need ham sandwich. Um, I need a hookup. The strong stuff. Actually, let me let me do this card game here. Uh, sound like an interesting card game. Always a shame when you think someone's got your back and turns out they're just playing you. But hey, quite crazy things happen all the time. Just last week. Someone was saying they had special chips worth double, but they looked exactly the same. Now, what was the deal with that, huh? At least put some gold flex on them or something. That's, that's definitely, that's true. Um, may I say something if you will allow me? I, I mean, I, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I need a hookup. The strong stuff. Whoa there. Now, I can hook you up with all kinds of cats, but as for the blood... What makes you think a nobody like you should get access to Atlantic City's most sought-after camp? Uh, you know, educated guess. <laughs> Tax evasion, 5,000 caps. Uh, whoa, Charisma 12. Uh, because I knew that Stan the Man would be able to hook me up with anything. You've got that power, right? Uh, looks like I need something... I need it for an important reason. Can you make an expect... Exclamation? Expect... <laughs> exception. Wow, geez. Uh, you tell me. Sure, there's some kind of favor I could do in return. Uh, I'm going to do the tax evasion thing. Um, let's see here. Let me go here. And... Da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. There. Sorry, I gotta check something real quick. Uh, da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Okay. Cool. Um, tax evasion. Uh, nobody. Just who do you think you're talking to? You know, you do look familiar. You don't happen to be one of those out of towners helping out around here. Well, all right. A friend of the family deserves a taste of the best our city has to offer. Thank you, Stan. But first, you'll have to prove yourself trustworthy. Provide service for the family, and you'll be rewarded. Cross the family, <laughs> and you end up on our hit list. See, a young showman known as Zade. Stole some blood from our stores a few nights back. He's got a show on tonight. Uh -huh. And those who don't respect our rules don't get to live freely. Oh dear. The blood? Then that show don't go smoothly. And Zay gets the message to never even dream about stealing from us again. Okie dokie. That sounds like something that is definitely doable. Do these thefts have to happen often? Often? Nah. The only way you get access is if we grant it. Or if you're one of us. Zade <laughs> had a friend on the inside. One who's already been dealt with. So don't you worry about that. God, I'm just getting... <laughs> spam like, I don't know what's happening, but just today on, twi on uh, Twitch specifically, I'm just getting spam account after spam account. For somebody, it's always it's always the fucking bots and and just fucking random ass people who come in uh, like I'm just going to advertise to literally anybody in every single chat. Like what the fuck? Gosh, wild today's weird. Uh, tell me more about this show. I don't know what kind of carnival mumbo jumbo they have scheduled over there. It's on the pier. Zay's the headliner. You figure it out from there. Okay. Uh, are you asking me to kill him? Broken, mutilated, utterly disgraced. 
Dad. Don't matter to me. As long as the message gets sent. Of course, Dad guarantees that. But if you want to take the risk of disappointing us, that's on you. Gotcha. Uh, hold on. Haven't I done enough already? Why do you? Why? Why do I still need to prove myself? So you can understand some real clearly. What you're about to do to young Zaid, that's what'll happen to you if you get any funny ideas about how to source more blood. You want another taste? You gotta come through the family. Officially. The family. Oh, I see. This isn't just a fetch quest. This is a don't fuck with us or we're gonna send somebody to put you in the river kind of, kind of, kind of quests. Got it. Across the show that makes sure and make sure Zane gets the message. Sounds like we have an understanding. Now listen carefully. You're gonna have to get backstage somehow. Maybe by posing as a cast member. That's Ooh, okay. You gotta get access to Zane. Once you've got an opportunity. Once you got. You how you wanna deal with? It. <laughs> I'll meet you outside after the show. Once you got an opportunity. Capish. Capish, Mr. Stan Soriano. That guy's dead. Just like that guy's fucking dead. Quite unfortunate indeed. Alrighty then. Kablam! Kick open the door. What up, gamers? I'm back. I'm skibbity back, as the children say these days. I don't know what's going on with the loading screens here. They're acting quite wonky. They're not actually popping up, and I'm just kind of sitting here. Yeah. It's got to be in there. Hey, yo, it's grass. Yeah. Hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. The boardwalk. That's cool that there's an actual path. Uh, if you if you choose to go to Atlantic City, uh, that there's an actual path from one location to the other. Because, uh, as far as I know, anyway, previously when you just go out and do an expedition, uh, you're just like you just go to one of these locations. Okay. Um, so we're going this way, I think. It seems like it. It's pointing this direction. We probably got to go all the way. Yeah, we got to go all the way over to the um, uh, to the uh, aquarium. Bada bing, bada boom over here. Hey yo, bingus, 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 bingus. Somebody with a ukulele. What's poppin'? Upward, upward, there are no limits. All right, fair enough. I like that. It's a Nuka Cola shaved ukulele. What up, ticket clerk? <coughs> yes. Oh, thanks. Sick. Wait, can you tell me about this show? Is it safe? Uh, what a funny question. We showmen put on performances of all kinds. Right. First and only priority is giving you an experience you will never forget. <laughs> so, open your mind and prepare to be amazed. That didn't really answer my question, but all right. Is this where Zade is performing? That it is. Opening night for our shining young star. Oh, good for him. Straight inside to the stage and take care not to enter restricted areas. Uh, we may be a bit late tonight, as we are still awaiting the arrival of one of our cast members. <laughs> uh, 
the show simply cannot start without our star cloud. Trust me, they are worth the wait. Oh hell yeah. I love clowns. Come on. Oh. Okay, I thought we were gonna do the other in action, but let's head on in. Showman's Pier. What up, gamers? Let's go. How's it going? <gasps> A bunch of Nuka Cola quantums that are now mine. Thank you. Uh, looks pretty good. All right. Showman's Pier. <laughs> Took a second for my brain to figure out what the hell was happening there. All right, so head over here, head backstage. Clown, clown. This way. Ha ha. All right, so fuel. We have these guys. <gasps> clown outfit. Hey, yo, a hat. I fit perfectly in this thing. <gasps> Clown hat. Hold on, where is it? Not the shoe. Hell yeah. Perfect. I fit like a finely situated glove. <laughs> Alright, come on, V. It's V. What the fuck? V, there we go. Okay. Pressing that a whole bunch. Alright, what do we got? Note to dimples. To the silliest of clowns. Okay, no, I'm not, not gonna not gonna do that for very long. Uh, to the silliest of star clowns, I prefer you show. Oh, I prepared your show. Oh, your show outfit, just the way you told me. Uh, don the hat and out. Oh, uh, wait. Don the hat and outfit at midnight. Thought about my shortcomings and cried into the sleeves, laughed hysterically for one minute to fulfill to to full diesel the bad blood what? Did not wash out did not wash the out oh didn't wash the outfit. Uh filled the pockets full of posies, placed God, this, <laughs> this this writing is terrible. This is a fucking awful font. Uh, placed it here with exactly eight balloons. Snagged... Oh, sang a song and danced around. This is certain to help you put the best... Oh, to put on the best performance you've ever done. I promise I did it exactly as you wanted, so please don't punish me. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. The the person, the like, you need to do it like this exactly, or I'm gonna beat the shit out of you again. One, two, three. Well, oh, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hilarious. Um, but that handwriting is abysmal. I fucking struggled to read that. <laughs> Gee whiz. Alright. Skeleton. Oh, I expected there to be a skeleton in there. Okay. Let's go. Hello. Dibbles? Is that finally you? Yeah. On opening night? Who hired you? Was it me? We'll be served on a plate to the ravenous masses with their vicious, quivering jaws. Oh, get to the stage already. They await your opening act. I'm not ready yet. I, I can't be seen like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, my dad told me his boss plays 76. We may have run into him already. Oh, that'd be fucking. That'd be wild. We run into your 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 dad's boss playing Fallout 76. What a fucking small world moment that would have been. <laughs> uh, jeez. That'd be awesome. Uh. Uh, you get ready then, I'll go and put a show. Uh, what, what are you talking about? Uh, hey, you're a performer. Do you happen to know someone named Evelyn Russo? Why are you asking me? Everyone knows Evelyn Russo. 
Oh, how beloved she was. How terrible her humiliation. An artist like her would never accept such a fate. Oh, but that'll be me if you don't get out there soon. Quickly now. You're ruining us. My God. I should ask what his name is on 76. You should, and then we can find him and bully him mercilessly. <laughs> uh, you're Zaid. Who else would I be? The mayor? Yes! I can make jokes too. Ha ha! Tee hee! Are you happy now? I have to get ready, and you have to get them ready for me. Okay, you you need to... You need to relax here, bud. You're, you're, you're a freak of nature. Uh, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? What are you talking about? Yes. This is your act. Your stage, your hour to sparkle and shine. You must make them laugh. Or when I go out there, they'll gut me where I stand. Gore me with their glares. Dismember me with their displeasure. It's a okay. sacred responsibility of the opening act. I I'm doomed already if you don't know it. Oh. I'm doomed. I'm dead where I stand. <laughs> God, this guy is such an actor. Such a drama queen. So, oh, my life. <laughs> Um, you get ready. You, you'll get ready then. I'll go out there and put on a show for the ages. Not just a show, a masterpiece, an indelible memory. Go now before our audience turns rabid. They must be starving. Just gonna go ahead and slowly back away and just kind of go and go and do the show. I'm a clown. I'm prepared. I got my shoes. I got my hat. Let's fucking do it. Bam! That's opened uh, outward instead of inward. Good to know. Or inward instead of outward. Hey, how's it going, ladies and gents? Please welcome to the stage the funniest, the wattiest, the most diabolical star clown! Hey, that's me. What's up? But why don't I let them show you what I mean? Hello. Oh. Uh, greetings from Dimples the Clown. Twinkle frown, ready to clown. I'm Asbestos the Clown. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fuck, all of these are just hilarious. And then fart noise. Uh, I'm Asbestos the Clown. Uh, fuck, how do I want to play this? I almost want to do... I, just, I almost want to lean full into the Dimples the Clown uh, shtick. But also, the the contrarian I'm Asbestos the Clown uh, is is also very funny. Um, fuck. Chad, how should we how should we go about this? Should we be contrarian or should we, should we play it straight as Dimples? Um, twinkle frown, ready to clown. Uh, <laughs> the fart noise. Um, hmm. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm asbestos the clown. <laughs> oh, geez, that's funny. Um, I'll do... I'll do greetings from Dimple the Clown for the, for the first one. Hello. Yay, they love it. They love it. Tell jokes to the audience. Two of two. Uh, all right. Um... Twinkle. Ah, well, ah, well. Uh, the audience looks on eagerly, awaiting the clown's unique sense of humor. All right, let's see. Uh, someone, threw, someone drew a picture of me at the fair. It was a comedy sketch. Uh, these are these are different jokes. Um, I saw a balloon today, and I couldn't buy it because of inflation. Dun 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 dun. Uh, last night I met a cannibal, but I tasted too funny for them. <laughs> I don't know any jokes. <laughs> Um, oh god, what's a what's a good one? Um, the comedy sketch one is kind of funny. Uh, the inflation one is also kind of funny, but like that's a that I think that was one uh, that uh, that that uh, that that oh gosh that that 
that Miss Nanny robot at uh, at Nuka World told. Um, last night I met a cannibal, but I tasted too funny for them. <laughs> uh, comedy sketch. All right, we'll do we'll do comedy sketch. Someone drew a picture of me at the fair. It was a comedy sketch. <laughs> Just the the silence beforehand just made it like, ah, uh, the joke didn't land. All right, another one. Uh, my favorite place to go after work is the Honky Tonk because it's a clown and his, and his nose honks. It's, uh, that's, <laughs> God, that's stupid. Uh, I wanted to buy a house, but I couldn't afford the clown payment instead of a down payment. <laughs> A can wow! Well, I can just go full cannibal with this with this routine. Uh, a cannibal tried to boil me alive, but I'm already a laughing stock. Ah! <laughs> uh, that's uh, as as a good one. <laughs> Stop looking at me! I'm not funny. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Okay, the, I, I don't like the Honky Tonk one. That one's stupid. Uh, the clown payment one almost feels like it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit too dumb. Uh, the laughing stock one I, I really like, though. So, I'm gonna, let's, let's go with that one. Let's go with the laughing stock one. Hey, yeah. Equipped and throw pies at fellow clowns. <gasps> I actually get to fucking throw pies. Throwing pies. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, please, please don't say it like that. Eh. Stop, stop saying it like that. It scares me. Oh, I have to... Oh, yeah, I got him. Stop, stop. <laughs> Damn it. Fucking freaks. Shit. Give me that. Where'd you go? There, there you are. Hold, now hold still. I'm God damn it. I'm, I, I'm working on it. Okay. Son of a bitch. Mm, fucking God. <laughs> Why is this the hardest fucking thing in existence? There. Where's the whipped cream? Oh, come on. Bullshit. That fucking counts. Where'd he go? Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Diet pie? Ah, pie tide. Ah, very good. You would think that vats would be useful in this situation, but I guess you can't use vats with grenade throws. Get clowned! What? Uh, okay. Equipped and juggle grenades through the hoops. All right. Yeet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just uh. Yeet. No, I don't think so. Maybe they are. They might be. They very, very well could be. They probably are. They're definitely real. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 thank you, thank you. It's fucking, fucking dying out here. Yeah. We're just all minds in this soulless world. Is that what that one clown said? 
Yeah, all right, yeah, fuck you. Oh, fuck, god damn it. <laughs> Worst performance of my entire life. <gasps> Ooh, pinball. Oh, <gasps> I can actually play a pin. Oh. Uh, it's just the animation. Man, that would have been funny if I could have played the, uh, play the actual game itself. All right, so, uh, can I unequip these? I should, I should feel like I should probably hold on to those for a second. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, you know. You followed me, didn't you? <laughs> Better explain yourself. So I'm a clown, and I'm a hilarious clown. So you can shut up. <laughs> I'm carrying out a job for the mafia, like we planned. Of course, that would bring you here. I'm a clown. You weren't supposed to know about all this. There's no avoiding it now. I used to be the star around here. Yeah, I'm pretty sorry. sure we know that. That stage is mine. I'm taking it from this up and coming nobody to remind this city exactly what they lost. Or at least that was my plan. You being here really puts a damper on things. Sorry. I was being hilarious out there. You know, throwing pies, juggling grenades, such and such. So this is the real reason you came here. Not for Abby, you fucking witch. You and Vincenzo have that situation handled. This family has never needed me. Antonio was always busy, and Abigail followed him like a dog. Vincenzo handled everything around the house. But the crowd... <sighs> They always loved me. I gave them something. I still have more to give. Okay. You should probably be giving that to your family instead of whoring yourself out on stage. I tell her while dressed as a clown. What exactly was your plan? I get rid of Zaid before the final act. Indispose him, mind you. I'm not a murderer. Aw. I go on in his place. That's not quite as funny. I know he was meant to. No safety protocols. I prove to the city that if it's truly what they want, I too can evolve. That I'm still worth something. This seems very desperate and attention demanding. What happened to your career? I was the best singer in Atlantic City. Everyone wanted me. Weird. Then the world ended. And everyone changed. That Charlotte... <laughs> Oh, jeez. Adrenaline in place of talent. I can't compete with a chemical reaction. My only chance to stay relevant was to join them. I became a showman. Hell yeah. I put my act on a dangerous high rise. Let people get off thinking they might see me topple to my death. But I have uh. too much to live for. I was on wires the whole time. I fell one day and the jig was up. After that, the showman wanted my head. Whoops. I need a chance to redeem myself. These people, they used to love me. They just need to be reminded of that. Sorry my internet hates me today. Nah, don't worry about it. Internet's fucking... <laughs> I, like, every, I, I try not to talk about politics too much during... Uh, like streams or like in comment sections and threads and stuff like that. But I'm a very politically uh, active person, and I still it still fucking baffles me that that the fucking United States of America doesn't have just fucking broadband, like not even just broad, not even broadband, but just like internet in general, like everywhere in the U.S. Like you can go anywhere and. Uh, have uh, have like stable and reliable internet connection. Um, granted, we're a, we're a pretty sizable country, um, but like fucking I don't know, it's just stupid. Uh, but my my point is, I apologize that your internet has been wonky today. Uh, don't don't worry about uh, uh, how that relates to me and my my stream situation. I am here, and you will come and go as you are fit to see do yes okay understand the situation then you understand why i have to do this i don't it's my only chance i'm nothing without it you kind of are 
Uh, your family needs you right now. Maybe way more than a crowd of strangers. Can't you see that? You're selling. You're selling out. You fucking sell out. Uh, you never even wanted to be a showman. If your career is that important to you, uh, I can't take that away from you. I don't really give a damn about all that. I just know I'm not letting you get in the way of my job. Uh, your family needs you right now. Way more than the crowd of strangers. Nonsense. They were always complaining about me, calling me a diva. You are. Vincenzo would tell me to get out of the way so he could do things properly. I'm nothing but a failure to them. They have no appreciation. <laughs> All right. Regardless, that's your family. They need you just like you need them. Uh, they said those things out of frustration. They need you to step up and be there for them. Appreciation goes both ways. Uh, maybe you all have some repairing to do. Yeah, that sounds pretty messed up. If they don't appreciate you, you shouldn't do anything for them. <laughs> uh, appreciation goes, uh, let's see, they said those things out of frustration. They need you to step up and be there for them. Isn't it too late? I've spent so much time locking them out, focusing on myself. No, that's a quitter's attitude. I never let anything stop me in showbiz. Well, home might be a different stage, but a show nonetheless. Yes. Is that Evelyn Russo? The disgrace? Oh, Mother has to hear about this. She's gonna send the whole city after you. I love her outfit. Come back here, you pathetic nobody! Shit. I didn't expect them to raise the alarm so soon. All right, time to start setting people on fire. Well, I don't have much time before every showman on the boardwalk is chasing after me with a machete. But... Machete. So... The least I can do is help you help Abigail. So tell me Abby. what needs to be done. We need to burn everybody alive. Uh, Zane stole Devil's blood from the Mafia. If I deliver punishment, they'll give me a dose in return. So, it's dirty business. Yes. Well, nothing new in this city. I should have picked the other option. I kind of, kind of interesting. Interested. You. Throwing knives at poor Zade against a decorated backboard. Hilarious. There's an obvious option there if bloodshed doesn't make you, uh, queasy. But Shoot you know the showmen take cheating very seriously. And it just so happens that Zade wears a protective vest underneath his costume. Uh -huh. I'm going to kill Zaid. <laughs> uh, does bloodshed not make you queasy? The blood would be on your hands, not mine. I've seen worse in these parts. Hard to make it very far with too many uh, morals in the way. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what to do yet. I'll figure it out when I get out there. More of an improviser, then. May inspiration strike before the eyes of the crowd. Hell yeah. I'll leave the job to you. The music kicked in at a perfect time. Before Charlotte's loyal human dogs sniff me out. Okay. Goodbye. I wonder what the other option for, uh, for the, uh, for dealing with Zane would be. Hollywood vanity. Get ready. I'm ready for my close-up. Never mind. I'm just going to sit in front of a mirror. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, I'm looking at... Looking at that. I completely forgot I had that ring on. Gotta adjust my hair. Make sure my hat's good. Perfect. My charisma increased by two. Hell yeah. Now I have five charisma. Right in the middle. Not enough. Mother says the blood unlocks her true potential. Blah, blah, blah. Only then will I be magnificent. <laughs> Fucking drama. Imposter. Who knows? The watchful eyes, spiteful smiles. Why else would they looking at me like that? My charade has become my reality. My God. He's a man beyond himself. More than himself. And at the same time, nobody. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's one way to respond to it. How's it going, Zade? Classics. Where would we be without them? Okay. For hundreds of years, art has risked heart and soul. Life. Yeah. My clothes 
with one last visceral threat. The curve of blade to neck. <laughs> Tantalizing me. Close. Assistant! Master of laughs! Hello. That's me. And don't you dare gut me. Okay. Let's see here. This is a perform from the knife throwing act. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Now is the perfect opportunity to send Stan's message to Zade. Punishment for stealing devil's blood. But how should you do it? From the knife throwing act. Uh. Hmm. So. Aim for the head, kill him, aim for the torso, reveal his vest, or aim for the backboard. So, I mean, it, both of the, the bottom two options, revealing the vest and killing Zade will send a message. But I'm wondering if aim for the backboard just allows me to complete the uh, the stage performance uh, and then at least something else. Or if uh, if this is just like, you know, the default option like oh i want to do this one and then i don't know i'm kind of interested let's go for aim for the backboard so close you might have graced me did i actually show up now nah, fair enough all right let's try it again okay fair enough uh reveal the vest pink this it isn't at all what it looks like my, my costume the, the, the layers Oh. oh, oh, it's over, mother! It's over. Ah. Oh my God! They, they all see it. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Where, where can I hide? What a small, small, pathetic man. I shoes. You think just anyone can hawk and giggle? You made me a punchline. Hi, dimples. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Dibbles the clown didn't last very long, did he? I'll go ahead and take these. Hello. Hey guys, how's it going? There you go. There we go. Oh, we got a couple more. There's a trooper and you. Oh, sorry, hold on. Got it. Reload. There we go. Alright, I think we're just about done here. Let us flee the venue. <laughs> Gumball machine. Can't get a gumball. Reach for a nuke. A Nuka Cola snackable. Alright. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. That was silly. Things got real quiet here for a second. There we go. Alright. Meet up with Stanley Sonora. Sor Soriano, Soriano, that's it. Stanley Soda. <sighs> this is the wrong ass way. Um, no, I think it's the right way. Because I go this way, and then this way, unless... No, I think it's pointing me in a different direction. We gotta go back this way. Hit! There's a certain charm... Okay, so... Oh, I fucking ran right past you twice. My bad, Stanley. I heard the news. Showman, we're gonna have his head. Probably would've been nicer to cut off a limb. As promised. A taste of the devil himself. Now, don't you go blabbing about what you got. Stan's got a tight ship to steer. Okay. What can you tell me about the Russo family? The Russos are long gone. That is, if there ever was a Russo. 
I sure don't know any of these songs. Uh, okay. Did someone steal devil's blood recently? A dark-haired young woman, perhaps? Now, didn't I just say I got a tight ship to steer? You say a lot of things. Stupid around the family. We finally got too damn entitled for our own good. I wouldn't tell you nothing about that. Aw. I thought we were bros, Stanley. Ooh, I got a charisma of four. Uh, of course, of course. And I wouldn't tell... And you wouldn't tell me if the family sent retribution after her either, would you? Of course not. I wouldn't tell you how useless it would be to go after that little girl. We'd have to have a big damn reason to send guys that far away. And that girl ain't it. Hmm. I wouldn't tell you about any of that. And that's why they count on Stan. Mm -hmm. You want mm -hmm. to <laughs> Now that I've spelled it out for you. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> um, that concludes our business. I'll be seeing you around, Stanny boy. Now don't you forget what Stan did for you. I will never forget the things you have done for me, Stanley. I wish you and your kind a good gabagoo. I'm pretty sure he's an invincible character, so it's like, you know, it's just for the just for the bit, but <laughs> it's funny because gabagoo is a funny word. It's a fucking funny ass word. Alright, so that's pointing way over there. I don't think I've been that direction. Is this taking me somewhere, or this is off the side of the map? I think this might be telling me to... Oh, yeah. Return to the Rose Room in Appalachia. Yep. I'm getting rads for days! Ah! And it was just... Just enough to push back against my healing factor. <laughs> and my rad melting factor. Alright. Back to the Rose Room. <laughs> That's what it was called. I completely forgot about that. That is, is that up near the the mine where you do uh, where like when you you drop it with a nuke and then it uh, um, summons uh, summons Earl in the in the mine section. I can't remember the can't remember the name of the event right off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, I think it is. Let me double check here. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, yeah, the man on the mine. Yeah, this is. Interesting. I wonder what the view looks like from this casino, from this showroom, as a nuke fucking drops and explodes the mines nearby. Kablam! Hey, yo, what up, big gamers? Hello. Gonna come for me. Here you go. Tell me you have the dose. I have something. Uh, what do you want me to do again? Right here. Give it to Abby. You're a lifesaver. Yeah. She's gonna die still. Down the hatch. At least that's what the the other quest insinuated. You take it and then you're kind of fucked for life. <laughs> cool vial. Then, mom, and oh, okay. Uh, feels nice. Uh, everything's gonna be okay now. You collapsed, Abby. Withdrawals. Uh, we give you another dose to keep you alive. Good. You're coherent now. Tell us what got how you got into this mess. Uh, the middle one. We gave you another dose to keep you alive. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess I'm in trouble again, huh? <laughs> this yes. is just temporary. We need to find you a real solution, an antidote. You got into this abs. Do you know anything about getting off it? Well, maybe Dad would have told me if he hadn't cut me out. But that's all water under the bridge, though. Not really. You're gonna die. Now. We're in West Virginia. It's a new start. No more jobs. No more Dad. Everything's. Everything's. Not great. Everything's good. It has to be. Not inherently. Dad. Thing is, I've tried to get answers from him about all kinds of things. But if he knows something about devil's blood, 
It has to still be in there somewhere. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Look, I know it's awkward, but would you try talking to him? Oh, you're talking to me. Boy, I really wish I could move the camera so I'm not looking at your belt buckle while I'm talking to you. Uh, can we talk about what happened in Atlantic City? Now, there's no use Thank fucking God. all of that. We got you the blood, didn't we? That's what matters. You did a whole thing. Don't tell me you went with them. Well, what's with the accusatory tone? I helped, didn't I? You helped? Not really. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what actually happened? She went to go and play, look at me, I'm a performer, la 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 la. Your mom helped me come up with a plan. Uh, her knowledge was useful. I wasn't expecting her to come, but at least she didn't get in my way. Evelyn was there for selfish reasons, not for Abby. Uh, yeah, she was helpful. She she had knowledge. Really? Well, I'm glad to hear that then. Yes. Oh, I'll spill the beans. They're going to fall out eventually. When I heard you had a way to fly to Atlantic City, I saw an opportunity to redeem myself. Mm -hmm. To steal the stage. And show them Evelyn Russo, the fearless songstress, to remind the audience what they loved about me. At least she's being honest out here. Going on stage without a proper act prepared, it would have been a disaster. <laughs> yes, Evelyn, that was the issue. You're lucky you made it back alive. <coughs> when will you think about us for once? What you're leaving behind? Yes, there's that aspect of it as well. You have to understand, Vincenzo. My life has always been showbiz. I don't know who I am without it. But here's to me finding out. I realized I have another role to play here as your mother. Perhaps I haven't committed to that as fully as I should have. <laughs> Wow. Is this an apology? Probably the best you're going to get out of her. Yes, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I say we've gotten too sentimental already, but well, there you have it. <laughs> I just hope that you mean it. We really need you here. It does. That definitely seems like character growth. But let's not make it awkward, shall we? We have Abigail to worry about at the moment. Yes, she is way big fucked. Uh, what did Abby mean by Antonio, by saying Antonio cut her out? Well, that's a bit complicated. Him and Abs used to be really close back when she was younger. Mm -hmm. We never understood what changed. And now, maybe we never will. Yeah, because he's kind of off his rocker. It's been really tough for her. Uh, why would he tell me if he won't tell you? To put it simply, I'm a disappointment to him. Abby had a better chance of knowing than me. Mm. And you, uh, you're a third party, uninvolved. He might let something slip if he thinks it's of no consequence to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What connection is there between Antonio and Devil's Blood? I wasn't sure if you had already put it together, but Dad was a big player in the family. It makes sense that he might know something about blood. The question is, is if he knows anything that could help Abby. And if it's still possible to... coax it out of him somehow. Yeah, because he's got the dementias. Uh, I'll see if Antonio knows anything about an antidote. Hey. Thanks. You saved my sister's life. It's what I do. Oh, jeez. Are you, uh, hey. alright, dear? Who, me? <laughs> You're really asking? Of course, darling. We're going to get you out of this conundrum. Hooray! Ooh. Never mind that there's really another one waiting. Honor bound. We'll tackle that when we get to it. Yeah, we will. Won't we? Mm, thanks, Mom. What a happy family. Let me real quickly look at these plans. Because these definitely seem interestante. 
spectac uh, spectacular performer's outfit. Outfit headwear. Witch hat. I wonder what Pop knows. Civil engineer's armor. Let me check this. Is this a new one? I feel like this is a new one. Because I, I mentioned this the last time we played it. I'm pretty sure there's a new armor uh, with this update. Fallout 76 civil engineer armor. There has to be some way to help Abby. It is, yes. Okay, so this is the new one I was thinking of. Um, let's see. Is it better than the any songwriters around here? Than the armor I have now? Not the armor I have now, obviously not, but the armor uh the the secret service armor is it better than that is this the new meta let's see here ba, ba, ba. Do, 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 do. secret service armor okay so let me check here nope that's the solar armor i want the secret service armor sorry i'm doing, <laughs> doing a little bit of off-screen stuff here i should turn this on real quick uh let's see so Secret Service armor stats are right there, and do do do. Um, not really. It definitely has a higher energy resistance. Do you see the snow? There definitely. Has to be some yeah, it definitely has a higher energy resistance, but the. Natural damage resistance is way worse. <laughs> it's actually a whole hundred points worse. So it's decent, but not good enough. Um, let me double check that. Go here. And then where was the other one that I wanted to check here real quick? Oh, oh geez. Calm down. <laughs> I'm not uh, out for all this manual labor. That's that one right there. Eh, Secret Server Summer might still be the proper meta. I don't know. I'll follow up on that a little later. Um, let me go over here and let's here. Let me kinda hang out over here and I'm gonna run use the bathroom real quick and I will be right back. Does no one want to drink in these godforsaken hills? To dance? No shopping for miles. Not even a convenience store. And the way these Appalachians decorate their vending machines, uh, just a travesty. how much longer I can survive outside the city.
has to be some way to help Abby. Hey yo, I'm fucking skibbity back. We have never been more skibbity back gamers. All right, perfect timing too. What's his name just came back in the room. What up, Antone? Oh, it's you. Uh, who are you again? I'm the fucking guy. I'm the dude. I'm the man. You really don't remember me, Antonio? I've been helping your family out. Helping the family out? Oh no, no, that's dangerous work. <laughs> I hope you're being safe about it. I'm doing my best, man. I thank you so much. Abby needs an antidote of devil's blood. I know you'll remember something if you dig deep enough. You gotta give it a try. Abby, you in trouble? She... I... If only I could have... Uh -huh. If only I could have... Uh, uh, if only I could have... Uh, what time with her? Got it. I wish you could help Antonio. Abby does too. Uh, I guess you really know Yeah. Abby. Darling. Such a strong child. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to take your vase here. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, in the basement. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. What up, dude? Guess what? He ain't he ain't got nothing. So what did Pop have to say? Anything comprehensible? Nah, not really. Something's in there, but I couldn't get him through it. Pop, so he's not totally gone. Well, that's reassuring. Or upsetting. Haven't decided yet and don't have time to. Well, if he won't help us... We'll need more of a Hail Mary. Uh, any ideas? Are you sure we can't? No, we don't. You can't do that. That's what uh, uh, Quintino tried to do, and he dead as fuck. Any ideas? Well, I've been trying to remember anything Dad may have told me about his job back in the day, and something came to mind. I remember he would take business trips to the city center. That's government territory, so mm -hmm. it always struck me as out of character. He told us he had a warehouse there. Never said what it was for. I never found out either. If he really was involved with Devil's Blood, though, maybe that place has something to do with it. Maybe the family is keeping stock there. Even an antidote, if we're lucky. Hmm. All right. What kind of business trips are we talking about? I can't say for sure, but Pop... Well, he was in the family. You know... The mob? The same mob that sells devil's blood? Maybe he was just collecting vigorish, but... And I really hate saying this. Vigorish? I hope it was blood-related, because it could be our only lead. Hmm. Okay. Uh... It's a, a lead is a lead, I guess. That's right. It's a lead. It could come to nothing, but... It's worth a shot. Better than twiddling our thumbs while Abby wastes away. All it's right. true. We'll Might as well investigate first. anything and everything. I'm coming with you this time. We'll fly into downtown, and I'll get us in contact with an old friend of mine familiar with the rumors. She'll know where to go from there. Gotcha. All right. Go to the flooded city center. Dope. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what's... City and go from there. I'm over encumbered? With what? Does no one want to drink in these godforsaken hills? Go ahead and read these up real quick. Okay, so part of them is that. The other part's probably just other junk and such. Would you kiss this guy? The fucking Vincenzo? Hell no. Hell no. I'm not giving him kisses. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably, probably. No, 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 no. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, all right, let's put down the tent real quick, and then we can scrap some junk that we ain't gonna need. Yeah, yeah. All right, scrap box. Hey, we scrap pre-war money. Let's fucking go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's cook up some ham and bacon sandwiches, or boiled water. That's also an option. And let's put on 
our proper apparel. <laughs> I say as I mistakenly click on the clown outfit. Um, okay, so do we have any... Let's get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you. <coughs> oh, fuck, excuse me. Oh, gee whiz. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we had that. Uh, let's put that... put that in there. <laughs> Worry about that a little later. Okay. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, yes. Atlantic City. Uh, there, and then flooded city center. I got another sneeze coming on, I think. Oh, it's like tickling the back of my brain, like the very backish backer part of my brain. Oh, fuck. Okay. I think I'm good. We have ways of getting what we need at City Hall. Okay. You're wearing the. No, you're wearing a different outfit. All right. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Bam! Alright, what's up, Vin? Okay, now that we're here, it's time to find Sloan. Got it. She used to patrol this area. Said if I ever needed help, to head this way, and she'd find me. Uh -huh. Uh, how do you know this person? Can we trust her? Of course we can trust her. Do you think I'd put my sister's life in her hands if we couldn't? But before I moved to Appalachia with my family... I spent some time away. Uh -huh. I left the family business and joined the municipal government. Sloan was my colleague. I wanted to make something more of my life. The Munis helped the people of Atlantic City rather than exploiting them. Sloan is a good person. I'm sure she won't lead us astray. Let's hope not. That wasn't what I expected. Oh shit. It's the goobers. What up, Goober crew? Wait, 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 yeah. Oh, there's one. I'm just gonna. Uh, hey, how's it going? Still got it. Hell yeah. I have been this entire time without this. Bonus intelligent. Whoa, hello. That's a, that's a bunch of goobers right there. Hello. Hey, level up. But it sounds as good as ever. Thanks, Sloan. I bet you thought you were rid of my poor aim. <laughs> Dude, they got the fucking minion armor. Whoop! Oh, there she goes. They added the minion armor to to fucking fall out. <laughs> fucking look at this blue jumpsuit, yellow shirt. Hell yeah, fucking minion. Let's go. If only, if only the, 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 the standard damage resistant was better. This would be a pretty, 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 pretty slapping outfit. Always nice to see some friendly faces. Though I don't recognize yours. Let's see what Sloan has What brings you back to AC? Well, I'm over here. I've come to ask you a favor. Remember those reports we used to get about the family snooping around our turf? We're here to... <coughs> the family? Steer clear of them, then. They're trouble. Who has you looking for those gangsters anyway? Your new friend here drag you into this? Yes. Hey, this is Vin's problem. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> yep, you caught me. Totally my fault we're out here about helping Vin's sister. Helping Abby? What does Abby have to do with those low lives? Everything. Abby's on devil's blood. We're here trying to find an antidote. I know the mob moves in and out of the district. Don't ask me how. He was in the mob. It's the perfect place to hide cameras. Tucked in a dangerous part of town, away from the precious casino, out of the spotlight. If they do have a warehouse here... 
Maybe we can find a lead on a cure. Please, I need your help. Ben, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's a bummer. I want to help. But first, I've got my own problem to solve. I'm only out this way because my squad got scattered fighting Overgrown nearby. I'm still missing a lot of my people. Uh oh. I need to find them. But there's a lot of ground to cover. Listen, you're our best bet for finding that warehouse. Let us help you. Together we can find your squad faster, and then you can repay the favor. Really? Are you sure? Abby needs you. Like I said, to help Abby, we need you. Plus, I can't just leave my old comrades to die. If you insist, I won't turn you down. But I hope you aren't doing this out of some misguided sense of guilt. And what about you? You as good a Samaritan as Mr. Russo here? Well, only partially, mostly, a little bit. Vin isn't as squeaky clean as you make him out to be. Uh, you said you were fighting overgrown. What are those exactly? So I am a little bit interested to see what, because this, this is definitely just a lore dump uh, option. Uh, you bet I'm a regular pioneer scout. Uh, what are the overgrown exactly? You really must be new here. Think plants, but mutants. Not helpful. They creep over everything and everyone, devouring it all. Their spores infect things and turn them into mindless drones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They've always been out there in the Pine Barrens, ever since the war. It's our job to keep them out of the city proper so the people here can enjoy the lives they've made for themselves. Okay. So. You really must be new. They creep over. Nice they mutants. Okay, not. not uh, she said it's always. Been, uh, anyway, it, nothing, nothing a whole lot there. Um. You bet. I'm a regular pioneer scout. <laughs> I like that attitude. Thank you. All right. I saw some of my cadets head down the road past your makeshift landing pad. <laughs> head over there and help out anyone you can find. Vin and I will take our own path and help out the rest. Meet us up the road closer to City Hall when you're done. I have a hunch about where we can find that warehouse of yours. Good luck. Oh, God. All right. Cool. So, we're going that way? Alright. Let's head that direction. Yeah. Shit. Went the wrong way. And now there's a Gabagoo over here. Too bad he's now a dead burn to hell Gabagoo. Ah, fuck. I missed him. Okay. Uh, help find the lost muties. Munies, not muties. Alright. Hello, I found one of them. He's okay. I could have taken if I had more ammo. Fair enough. Alright. So that's you. Let's get you. And then we'll pick up the other two, and then we're good to go. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Little kill 100 overgrown with fire. Well, oh, fan goddamn tastic. I have accomplished something in this life. Life in this life. I meant to say game. Game is also applicable. Ow! Fucking piece of sh shit bear trap. Shut up, you goober. My bad day just got a whole lot better. Yeah. Holy fuck, it's me, but it's not because their hair is different. They just had a similar outfit to one that I used to wear. Thanks. I thought I was dead meat. That's okay. You're not now. And that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay, so... Now, whoops, 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 whoops. 
Oops, there we go. <laughs> Alright, uh, can't go that way, so we gotta go down here, and then most likely go this way. Yeah, okay. We made it. Thanks, Ben. You held up pretty well after your hiatus. Hello. Nice to know I haven't lost my touch. Oh, that brought back some memories. Missing the good old days? Oh, I don't miss the danger. But it does feel good to be a muni again, even as a fill-in. Cass. Uh, we did our part. That's the time for stuff. Uh, if you like it so much, why don't you stay? Stay? I, I couldn't do that. Are you sure? Right. Maybe. My family needs me. Mm -hmm. Latcha. Abby needs me. Kind of. Abby. Yeah. Kind of. Actually, a little bit. I hope for her sake, whatever hunch you have pays off. You should check down this alley. We've seen family members hanging around a building down there. I don't want to fight. So we've never pressed them on why. Could be what you're looking for. If they're guarding a building off their usual turf, there has to be something important. But how do we get in? Mm. <laughs> Guns! <laughs> uh, let me go chit-chat with them. You sure? The family doesn't always respond well to reason. Neither do I. It's the perfect middle ground. Trust me, I've got this one. If you say so, but if things start going south, bail and find another way in. Fighting is a last resort. I'm gonna set them all on fire if this doesn't work out. Uh, oh, we're going back this way. Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going, you bunch of fucking bastards? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Gonna come over here and settle an argument for us. Oh, okay. Just about to take our lunch break, but I ain't leaving until we figure this out. Uh huh. Tell us, guy, it's real. Tell him what's real. The two dollar bill. Oh, two dollar bill. What the hell is that? Uh, you mean in pre-war money? That's what you're arguing about? That's right. This moron doesn't think it exists. Moron. This moron thinks it does. I don't care about a $2 bill. I just want to get inside the warehouse. What a breathtakingly pointless debate. <laughs> oh my god. That's a fucking perfect way to sum this up. To sum up this whole conversation here. $2 bill is real. No, it's fake. Man, this entire conversation is just a waste of air. <laughs> uh, it's real. Proof. I need physical proof. Oh God, uh, luck twelve. Isn't that one on the ground? Isn't that one on the ground right? Oh wait, isn't that one on the ground right? Th oh, okay. <laughs> He's saying like, isn't that one on the ground right there? What in the? Let me see that. Well, I'll be damned. Is this some kind of trick? No, it is real. Okay. I told you so. Now let's get some grub. I'm stopped. <laughs> hey, you didn't forget to bring the spare key with you, right? Yoink! <laughs> Isn't that a two dollar bill right there? What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fucking great. Um, how is this? What did my What did my roommate send me? He sent me fucking the worst fucking video footage on planet Earth. But I think it's of him at his job. He's recording some fucking tweaker on the side of the road. He's fucking... From the quality of the video, it looks like he's, like, shambling around like a zombo. Hilarious. Unless we got zombies, in which case, oh no. Uh, alright. What do we got in here? What's in this some bitch? Uh, lab duty. Bitch all you want. Uh, we're taking Bim and Bam for guard duty over the chem lab poignantly. Oh, speak to Bim. Uh, the cook's been getting jumpy about the plants in the area, and we can't let that affect our work. Gabish. The job she does for us trumps anything 
uh, you thimble brains think is important. Without her, there's no blood. Without blood, we're donezo. You remember which building the lab is, right? Second floor, all sealed up like. Other side of the city, uh, other side of city hall near the mess of pipes the munis used, used to use. Have those two report tomorrow at 0800 sharp. That's 8 o'clock in the morning, in case you're too dumb to remember. And I know you are. Oh, wow. Ooh, there was thing about the $2 bill. What's the $2 bill? Shtick. $2 bills. Found the strangest thing the other day. A slip of old world money called a $2 bill. I'd never heard of one before. It's the damnedest thing. Looks just like a $1 bill, or a 5 or a 10 but the thing is worth $2? At least that's what it says. Uh, there's some kind of story here. I just know it. I can't let this discovery go uninvestigated. I'm putting out a call to the whole family. Find me more $2 bills, or more information on them at least. Anyone who does uh, but will be rewarded generously. I'm talking a bucket full of caps. This thing must be priceless, so I'll pay a fat stack of change in return. <laughs> oh my god. Dude got all fucking hyped and fucking set for <laughs> for a fucking $2 bill. Oh, hell yeah. That's fantastic. Um, give me a second here. I need to check something. Uh Okay, that's that. Okay. And Okay, so that's that. Interesting. All right. Uh let me see right there. There it is. Okay. All right. Warehouse time. Vin, my man, my guy, my dude, my buddy, my gal Friday, as they say. I'm telling myself, but there's a part of me that still thinks I, I did wrong by you. You know I'd love to have you back, Vin, but Abby comes first. Cash. All right. You're back. That was incredible. What did you find? Well, these idiots are really obsessed with a two-dollar bill. Uh, I heard you talking. Word you made the right choice coming to Appalachia? I... Look, that was a private conversation. <sighs> but... You're doing us a huge favor here, so... I guess I'll spill my guts to you, too. Yes. I... Had second thoughts about leaving Atlantic City. I loved my job with the Munis. Wading into the scummy pond water taking the torch to endless nests of overgrown. It was the furthest thing from my past and current life. It had meaning. I wasn't slinging cocktails for killers or working all night just to keep my mom's insane project in business. I really felt like I was living, you know? Not shutting my eyes to the world outside, wishing it would all just go away. So you can imagine, I have a few regrets. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. yeah. Damn. Sounds like you really screwed up. <laughs> uh, Salone's right. You can't blame yourself for being there for your family. Yeah, like, what the fuck? You, like, it's your family, man. You gotta fucking take care of them. You gotta be there for them. Help them out and shit. I... I know. That's what I tell myself every day. Yeah. Enough about me. What did you find in the warehouse back there? I found a $2 bill. Another lead. There's a chem lab in a building surrounded by pipeworks on the other side of the city hall. Really? Then we were right. I can hardly believe it. I think I know the building you're talking about. We received reports of people slinking around that area. But it's so full of overgrown that I dismissed the idea out of hand. That was dumb of me. Let's head that way. See what's there. Maybe we can sneak inside. Okay. Oh, come on, mouse. We got, there we go. All right. Um. Oh, it's just way over there. Let's go. Running through the swamp. Running through the swamp. Running around and jumping in the air. Yeah. There we go. Uh, is this the right way? I think it is. Cause this way goes this way. 
that, there's that, and you. Epic. Ow. Damn it. Come here. You scraggly bitch. Anybody else? There you are. Ah, that's good. Let's take you. Ah, all right. <coughs> These. The the things I just blew up. Whoops. We used to use pipes like these to pump the water out of buildings and go hunting for salvage. Uh -huh. Couldn't we reverse the flow and use the pressure to flush the family out? Or with the right adjustments, we can blast enough water inside to take out any guards and create some kind of opening. Now that you mention it, we did have an incident once where a newbie mixed keep getting up the moved around a lot. Blasted a bunch of overgrown to Kingdom Come. Wouldn't that destroy the potential cure we're after? That's a risk. But if we control the pressure correctly, we should be all right. You'll mm. just have to trust me on execution. Mm. I guess. That's a very, very dumb idea. Really? I thought it was kind of brilliant myself. I mean... It sounds kind of ridiculous, but I've seen it happen before. If it does work, it would also catch any guards by surprise. Alright. <laughs> I doubt this will work, but I'll try anything once. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, we're so close. I just know this will pay off. It better. Why everybody burns to death. The end of the line for me. If a municipal officer got caught assaulting a gangster hideout, it could jeopardize the peace we have in Atlantic City. Before I go, though, I want to make you an offer. You can't refuse. I want you to come back to us when this is all through. <gasps> Curing Abby takes precedence. I would never say otherwise. But it's clear you missed the job. We'll take you back. I'll pull whatever strings are necessary. Do it! Do Fucking kiss! Do it, you little bitch! I knew this was coming. But I'm still not sure what to say. In my heart, I'm a... A muni. But I left for a reason. My family needs me, desperately. If I'm not there for them, they'll probably devolve into raiders or ghouls or worse. Hell yeah. And I'm only half joking. I need to think about it. I will take it seriously. I promise. I know you will. I'm sorry to make you choose again, but I really do feel it would be right for you to return. Think it through. I'll be here for you either way. Good luck, Finn. Okay, concentrate. Back to business. Spicy. Wait, you don't think... It's not like that. Sure is. You bitch. Need to take a breather? I've needed a breather for years. But we're too close to our goal. Let's keep going. Just tell me what I need to do. These pumps are finicky. We'll need to turn the valves in the right order to reverse the flow. The valves are marked with their numbers. I think the order should be three, two, four, one. Can you remember that? <laughs> Fucking hell no, I can't. What are you, insane? Three... Man, I can't remember my own birthday. You're going to have to try. If you mess up, I'll be here to remind you. Three, two, four, one, right? I don't think. Pretty sure. I think that was it. Three, four, two, one. Hit. Yeah. All right. All right. Three, two, four, one. So I gotta turn these in order. Uh, three. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Three, and then two's over here. Two. And then I'm gonna say that this one's four over here. Four. Four. And one. Yeah. Yeah. One. I did it. 
just blow a fucking hole in the wall like that? Fucking hell yeah. I don't know how it blew a hole in the wall, but this works. Just uh, do that and get you. Alright. Just pick up the trash. And. Oh, speak to Vin. You going somewhere specific, or are you coming in here? You're coming in here. Dope. We did it. The plan worked. Huzzah! Okay, now we just need to look around and see if there's a cure stashed here somewhere. Yes. Before we do, though, tell me something. Once we're all past this, do you think I should come back here? Absolutely. Goddamn lootly. Try and return to my old life? Maybe. You just won't shut up with this crap, will you? Uh, why are you being so indecisive about this? Uh, that will leave your family in a very bad position. Uh, that's true. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, it sounds like you really want to. You keep bringing it up. I guess it is. It's just hard to come to terms with that. I chose a different path, after all. I never saw myself as someone who would drop everything to follow his dream. It just never seemed realistic. When my family came begging, I went back to them. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I always want to do what's right. I'm just not sure what that is right now. Hmm. What would you do in my position? Hmm. I'm not really comfortable answering that question. Family needs you now, and they need you again. I would stick with them, uh, to the end. Your family is a mess, and you deserve to be happy. I would go back to it being a muni. Mm. Damn, I, I really don't know, because it's like, on the one hand, uh, his family's an absolute fucking mess, but none of them really seem like bad people. The mom is kind of, you know, fucking out there a little bit. Uh, dad's just fucking gone, and, I don't know, the sister definitely has a drug problem, but, you know, that's kind of what we're trying to situate here, um, but none of them seem like inherently bad people, like, oh, you should definitely get away from your family, they're fucking horrible, um, but at the same time, he want, like, they, they're, they're not a very, uh, cohesive group, um, and it seems like Vin is definitely, like, keeping them in line. But at the same time, like, it's so very apparent that he wants to, uh, go and, you know, return to being a part of the municipal government. <sighs> Me, personally, I'd probably say, like, you know, like, you deserve to be happy, go back to the, go back to being a muni, because, like, you know, like, your family needs you and everything, but it's like, if they can't, if they can't survive on their own, it's like you're literally just the glue holding them together. You're giving up your own personal happiness in order to keep your family together as a as a cohesive unit. And, like, all that weight and all that pressure is on you. So it's not going to be something that is, in the long term, uh, sustainable, specifically because you're not... You know, you're you're just you're just you're 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 the rock that everything else is built on, and you don't get to be anything else besides that rock. And to me, anyway, that's kind of fucked up. Uh, so yeah, I would go back to being a muni. That's a very blunt assessment, but I appreciate your honesty. Maybe I need to give my own happiness priority. You've given me some food for thought. Thank you. No I'll problem, G. Now, it looks like there's another floor to this place. Let's get up there and take a look. What up here? Is it drugs? I could sure go for some drugs. Ooh. Take that capacitor. We going in here? What, what are we doing here, Vin? 
You, you got, there you go, you got it. Hello, how's it going? Wait a minute. You that crazy lady? Oh no, you're the one from the notes. Take what you want, but don't hurt me. Yeah, you're the one from the email communications with uh, with Quintino or with the uh, the uh, Concerta. You're the you're the one who was actually supplying Devil's uh, Devil's blood. Uh, aren't you the loyal one? Hey, I ain't paid for my loyalty. We all know that much. Oh, I see. <laughs> Well, who are you? What do you do here? Me? I'm Jean. I cook blood for the family. <gasps> Not my first choice, but it has its perks. Wait, why am I answering your questions? Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh... <laughs> we're your worst nightmare. Uh... They're forcing you to cook devil's blood? Don't mind us, we're just looking around. Oh, well, <laughs> look away. Just don't hurt me. Well, we haven't decided on that yet, Jean. They're forcing you to cook devil's blood? Yes. Well, yes. But it is much better than the cinder block shoes they offered to give me as a competing chemist. And I get all the blood Fair. I bought in exchange. Which is a lot. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we need a cure for devil's blood addiction. Can you make us one? A uh, cure for devil's blood addiction? Yes, ma'am. That info is what we call classified. Mm -hmm. Make me an offer better than the kneecaps I'll lose for telling you. Well, setting you on fire definitely sounds like a uh, less than uh, desirable alternative. Uh, a woman's life is a damn it! A woman's life is on the line. She will die if she doesn't get a cure soon. Uh, you're going to lose a lot more than your kneecaps if you don't tell us about the cure. I'm going to set you on fire. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, okay. Point taken. Point taken. You're damn straight point taken. If I could, okay? But I can't cook an antidote for devil's blood. Not with what I got here. Mm -hmm. I only use synthetic materials. <laughs> Hate to talk down my own product, but uh yeah, yeah. it's almost like knockoff stuff. Mm -hmm. Always that way. In the good old days, where I was caged up like a lab rat. We used a pure organic compound. But times have changed. But if you had that organic compound, you could create an antidote? Can't we get it for you? Well, maybe if you could get it. <laughs> Good luck with that. Even I don't know where it comes from. Only the original creator does. And he's long gone. Conchetta's body drove him into exile when she took power. Conchetta. whacked him by now. So unless you happen to know where Tony Russo is hiding out, you aren't getting your cure. Sorry, pal. Uh, okay. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes. So. Uh. Sorry. I was looking up something. Uh. The his voice actor is so familiar to me, and I think it's the person I'm thinking of, but I don't know off the top of my head. And no, no. Okay, I'll worry about that later. Um, I just can't find his voice actor right now. Um, Tony Russo. You don't mean? Oh, Tony. Oh, it is Tony Russo. Oh, that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You mean Tony? Yeah, Tony. Ru his dad. Yeah. I knew you had something <coughs> to do with this. Just not what. Wait. <laughs> Tony is your dad? The mafia boss Antonio Russo? Oh my god. Oh my god. You're Vinny? I really am losing my kneecaps. No, fire. Dear, like keep up. My father another visit. Senile or not. We have to get him to cough up some info if we want to save Abby. <laughs> Senile? Oh, kid! Did you really fall for that act? That man's sharp as a carving knife. Ooh. He was barking orders right up until he fled. Never a hint of forgetfulness. Oh, I won! What a twist! On the wall of your eyes, Finn. Yeah, 
I'm just sad to see you fell for it. He... What? There's no way. That's quite an interesting twist. I was pretty busy. And I'd been away from home working for the Munis for a while. <laughs> Did I just take it for granted? Yeah, he's been running a con on you, Vinny boy. Holy shit. Wow, that, that's actually pretty creative. I like that. Um, Antonio's Antonio, Antonio created Devil's Blood? Can we uh, talk about that for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. That's a... Uh... A lot to take in. Isn't yeah, wow, damn, you're you're fucking dad. It's Kevin's <laughs> daughter. Wow, shit. The power the why, only he knows. The profit and power must play into it. Wow, yeah, now I don't feel so bad about telling you to say fuck you to your family. Damn. Uh, why did Antonio feign sen senility? A defense mechanism, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe he thought if he acted harmless, then the family would have no reason to pursue him to Appalachia. Those hitmen from the Rose Room proved that wrong. That's definitely true. Uh, he really fooled you good. How embarrassing. You should feel bad about yourself. You're an idiot. <laughs> uh, if he's not actually senile, then he can tell us about a, uh, how to cure Abigail's addiction after all. Abby. Ab Abigail? Is it Ab I think it might, uh, Either way, he's going to tell us how to cure her addiction. You're right. We need to head home and confront my father. Yeah, with a fucking nine iron. He's been playing us, or dig up something that could lead to a cure. I know this was a lot to go through, but thank you again for doing this. No problem. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Let's break his kneecaps. Fuck purified water, hell yeah. Don't forget, finish batch, eat, find glasses. Wait for this to finish up here. Just, uh... Eh, uh, eh, come on, come on. Oh, I suppose I could do. Sins of the Father. Oh, man, I wanted to watch the anime. Shit. Oh, well. Uh, Dad's birthday on the 21st. Remember, rest of list. <laughs> Sick. What up, Gene? <coughs> Not entirely, but I get your point. Um, I'm just going to read these notes here real quick. Plans. Now I can build civil engineer armor left and right legs. What a fucking gamer move. Alright. Can I just go straight there? Yes, I can. And my survival tent's there, too. Look at that. Bada bing. Bada boom. <laughs> just, uh... Waiting for the waiting for the thing to load. Loading. That's the loading screen. Alrighty then. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Do 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 Hey yo. Get 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 going, Vin. Vincenzo. Vinny. Atomic fun, cocktails, music. What up, Vin? Oh, he's getting up. Hold on. I've lost count of how many cigs I've smoked waiting for you to arrive. Not a <laughs> single one has caught my nerves. I was hoping they would. I managed to get everyone in one room. It was a lot harder than it sounds. Hmm. I need to confront my father. He can't hide anymore. Not when Abby's life is at stake. <sighs> uh, excuse me, sorry. Um, what are we even going to say to him? We're going to tell him that we know. We know everything that he's done. Oops, sorry. He's going to try the mic. and keep pretending that he's senile. And every time he does, we push back. Break his legs. Are you okay? You want my honest opinion? No, I'm not okay. But this isn't about me. My sister is dying. Her condition takes precedence over my whining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm ready to confront Antonio. Good, because I'm not. But we don't have much of a choice, do we? Nope. This way. Okay. Confront Antonio. Did you just scrape that cigarette out on your own carpet? That's kind of fucked up. 
you fucked up your own carpet, dumb bitch. Ugh, fuck, excuse me. Alright, what up, gamers? Don't you relax. This isn't helpful. He's... He's sick. We don't... We don't even know if what Ben said is true. Abigail, please. I've handled more than one bad performance in my day. I just didn't think it would be my husband. I'm booing off the stage. Oh. Ladies, I, 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 I do wish that I could help you. But this devil's blood sounds very dangerous. Just cut the crap. Your acting's not even good. Frankly, it's embarrassing that we fell for it for so long. What? 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 What's going on? What is this? This is all very overwhelming. Then, where did you hear that Dad is faking? I met one of his old business partners, Jean. She told me everything. Pop's been faking senility to get out of AC so that Concerta Lombardi can't have him killed. That's why those hitmen showed up at the Rose Room. Our friend here can back me up. Yeah. Y yeah. True? Y yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, your dad's a criminal and deadbeat. Does that really surprise you that he's a liar too? I really like the voice acting. The voice acting is fucking top notch. Like they're they're this, especially like earlier in the game's uh you know history, like way back in the day, like when it first launched. Definitely a whole lot of problems with this game and. The kind of still are. Uh, the voice acting, though, is something that they've always, always gotten right. And the voice acting works out really good uh, in this expansion as well. Story expansion. Uh, yeah, not my monkey, not my circus. I'm part. I'm not part of this batshit family. Um, your dad's a criminal and a deadbeat. Does it really surprise you that he's a liar, too? You know, <laughs> fucking Vin earlier was like, should I leave my family to go become a Muni again? Or should I stick with them to, you know, try to keep everything together? Now that I remember it, his dad was always kind of depicted as a deadbeat. Uh, his mom was, uh, was, was absentee and his sister's a drug addict. So, you know, looking back on it. Yeah. Maybe they, <laughs> maybe it, uh, maybe it was good that I was telling like, Hey, fucking get out of Dodge. Even though with the uh, the mission that we did before this, his mom is kind of you know trying to make amends and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is uh, not the not the best family structure. He's a damn liar. Call me naive, but I was just hoping my own father wouldn't stoop that low. But the bar is subterranean at this point. Yeah. God, Dad, really? This was the first thing your brain went to. To fake dementia? Dun dun dun. Nightclub. All that nonsense you gave me about an Appalachian nightlife. Ah, oh, just another falsehood. No one makes a fool out of me, Antonio Russo. She gonna pull a gun? The only one making a fool out of you is yourself, Evelyn. All of you. There he is. Yeah, I was playing hockey. You think it's because? I like walking around like a dry prune asking what day of the week it is, huh? Oh, I got a talk and painted on my back by the damn mob! Would you rather have a senile father or a dead one, huh? Yeah. Thought so. That's a... That's a... I just wanted a dad. Period. Ooh. You can write a novel on why you're innocent later. How about we talk about what we're going to do for Abby? Hey. Let's not overreact now. It's just a little indulgence, right? Who doesn't have a vice these days, huh? She looks fine. Vin's ready over here to throw hands. Married a Shakespearean villain, haven't I? Fuck yeah. Classic. Dying, Antonio. Why? Oh, would you quit the melodrama for just a few seconds, Evelyn, for the sake of... For once, she's not being dramatic. According to Jean, Abby needs a pure sample of devil's blood to make an antidote for her withdrawal symptoms. And you're the only one who knows how to get it. For God's sake. You had to go for the one chem you couldn't come off of. What's the matter with you? <sighs> All right, peanut gallery. 
There's something you all need to see. Come with me. You got somebody chained in the basement? That'd be hilarious. What the fuck was that? That was a secret door opening. You son of a bitch, you really do have somebody chained in the basement. What the fuck? Whoa. Antonio. Whoa. What is this this beast doing in my home? Oh, disgusting. Oh, this is a lesser devil. I've seen these. I've seen one of these before stalking around the city center. Not something I'd want to piss off, I'll say that much. Yeah. We started seeing these fellas show up around ten years ago. Devils, we call them. They're still pretty rare. Elusive. Then why do you have this? You tell me, honey. Would the showman pay top dollar for a freak show devil corpse? Everybody's still kind of figuring out where they're standing here, I suppose. Individual's busy. Come on. Figure, figure, figure it out. So you killed it. There you go. Profit. Hey, Abby, look at this thing. What do you think it is? A bunny rabbit? It's as ugly as sin. Look, yeah. I needed an edge over Concerta. Quentino had yours truly to be next in line to be Godfather, but that little viper wasn't having it. She tried to sabotage me at every turn. I needed to make more caps, prove that I was useful. Hmm. And embalming this thing? was the answer. Oh, what a ridiculous idea from a ridiculous man. I'm ridiculous, Miss Primadonna? What wasn't ridiculous was this fella's blood. I originally took it to Jean to get it embalmed, you know, promised her a small cut. But any dreams of a sideshow attraction disappeared when we realized the tantalizing properties of his blood. Does this mean you still have a sample of its blood? We need to get it to Jean as soon as possible. It just so happens I do. If what you're saying is true, then we need to act now on an antidote. I'll take antidote. Abby and your um, friend here to Jean. No what a tag alongs. Damn, mom's gonna be swarming our tails the whole way. Concerto will know I'm back the second we touch ground on Jersey soil. Damn it. If it weren't for the mob. Stay safe, all right, Abby? Yeah, he's definitely becoming a muni after all this. Get us into this mess. The last thing I want to do is to drag you further into it. I hope you know what you're doing, Tony. You, me, Atlantic City. What a life, eh? Uh, I've seen these devils in Atlantic City. Why did we have to come all the way here for the sample? Many reasons, kid. For one, they're a pain in the ass to kill. Not for me. Turn you into a paper ranger before you know it. This fella here is already dead. That makes things a hell of a lot simpler. That's true. So, probably because Vin was too busy fantasizing about unicorns and rainbows or whatever munis do to just suggest that in the first place. <laughs> uh, I still don't understand why you faked being senile. I could get a skywriter to spell it out for you if I wasn't clear the first time. That would be helpful. Wanted to ice me out. I thought if I faked having dementia, she would write me off and leave me alone. <gasps> that a lot of good that did. You saw those assassins? You can guess whether she bought it or not. My god. Yeah. Uh, why did you keep up the act after the hitman showed up? Pride. One of the seven deadly sins people love to preach about. In order to sell the lie, I, I had to make everyone fall for it. Even your family. You know how headstrong Abby and Vin are, and how Evelyn Evelyn is. Evelyn I is, in so fact, Evelyn. That, uh, I didn't really see a way out. I just kept thinking, someday I'll tell them. But uh, I always put it off. Some may say it was cowardice, but... Uh, I just think it was a lack of punctuality. Mm -hmm. Not ready to do this yet. Yeah, and we just go straight there. Uh, I don't want to waste my time. Let's get going. Couldn't agree more. Abby and I will meet you in the city center. Try to get to everyone, peace. 
Concerta's goons take no prisoners. Uh, you know, give me an abbey some time to uh, catch up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Powerless. Travel to the Flood City Center. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and pop on over there real quick. Sorry, I bounced over to Twitter real quick and saw that a fucking Dextros article had posted that somebody had, uh, or the account, whoops, hello there. Uh, somebody had, uh, uh, somebody was playing Fallout VR and also watching the, uh, the Amazon series at the same time, so they lined up the, the nukes going off in the show to the nuke going off in Fallout 4, which was quite silly. Alright, so, we're heading over this way. Let's go ahead and grab all these guys. Put you away. Do 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 Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We got any gabagoos over here? Nah, they're all still dead. I will. There we go. Just to make everything nice and even, because it's... I blew them up over here as well. All right, Gene. You better get those fingers cooking. Or else I'm going to start cooking you. Where where are you at? You're up here. Gene. If I help with this... When <laughs> oh, fuck. Right, uh, when... Will there be a reward involved? Possibly some blood? Sure there will. You'll get the gift of continuing to live. The greatest gift of all. Right. Oh, I forgot how generous you are, Antonio. Yeah, he's a real saint. Good. I mean, hello again. Hello. Oh, Antonio. So, you managed to get here in one piece. Yeah, I'm pretty dope that way. To get off that birdie bird. Time is of the essence here. I mean, you're the one that fucking played stupid this whole time. Of course, yep. Idiot. You're Abby, right? <laughs> you sure you want to get clean? <laughs> Focus here, genie. Focusing. Right. Do you have the sample? Yeah, but this here is liquid gold. Don't break it. Give it here. Watch, she like does it, just just snorts it and just like boom. Chance is gone. Let her cook. Oop. Can we maybe speed up the process here? Let her cook. Dad, just wait. Let her cook! Uh oh. This isn't good. This is the opposite of good. What is that? Bad? Right. Bad. <laughs> Problem here. I, I, I wasn't expecting this. This has profound implications, and and, and, and I don't know where. <laughs> Just spit it out already. My daughter is dying, and we don't have the time for you to have your little eureka moment. The sample you brought me isn't pure enough to make an antidote with. Uh oh. That's that's a very funny joke, Gene. That came from the Jersey Devil himself. How can you get any fucking purer? You're not gonna believe me, but, uh, that wasn't the real Jersey Devil. If such a thing even exists, that is. 
This is juvenile blood. The one you killed was just a child. Whoopsies. What? So you mean the ones we see coming out of the Barrens is just... It's... Children? Then, uh... How big's the father? Huh? Or... Or the mother? It's hard to tell with these things. <laughs> I don't know. No one's ever seen it before. Well, live to tell about it, that is. The, the, the quantity of neural proteins present in the blood sample isn't fast enough to qualify this as, a, as an adult. But if there's a juvenile, that means there's a parent. An adult would have blood potent enough to craft an antidote. So, you're saying you want us to go into the Pine Barrens and kill an adult devil? Just trying to see if I'm the one who's going nuts, or if it's still you. But if it's our only option, we've got to. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm saying. Right. Looks like you and I have some business to take care of with a gentleman from the Barrens. Yes, sir, in deedly do. How do you know for sure we'll even be able to find an adult devil? I don't. But it's our only shot, all right? And I don't leave without results. That's true. It is our only shot. Why can't we just use the juveniles? But he ju she just said there's not enough proteins or whatever. The um, properties in the devil's blood are too weak. Or whatever the egghead said. Proteins. The uh, ingredients we need from its blood are not present in big enough quantities for it to work. Like, um... Baking a blood cake, right? It's a, it make okay, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, so we need to kill a literal folk legend. I'm still trying to process that it's real at all, frankly. <sighs> Let's just hope that it is. Indeed, quite so, quite so. Let's do it. How are we gonna find this thing? Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. Hey, egghead. How do we draw an adult devil out? That I can help with. We've got enough here that I can make fake devil pheromones. Ooh. If we can bring the pheromones to high points in the city center, maybe the scent will draw the devil out of the barrens. I could probably think of a few places to bring him. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. We? Ah, oh, no, Abby. You're not coming. What's your excuse this time? I'm an adult. I can handle myself. I've been handling myself for years now, thanks to you and Mom. <laughs> hey, don't bring your mother into this. Yeah, you've been handling yourself, right? Look how well that's going. You're so strung out, you're on death's door. Strung out on a chem you so... You little... My word is fine. You are not coming. Wait for us here. She had you there, Tony. We'll be back with the blood. You'll never change, will you? Go ahead. Walk away. It's not like I'm trying to save your life or anything. It's not. <laughs> ah. Oh, jeez. Fucking Tony. Fucking don't pull a gun on me. That's rude. It's very rude. All right. I guess I don't need this quite yet. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. All right. Hit. Hit. Are you a bad guy? Yeah, I can. Well, I don't need to though. So, guess you didn't factor in factor that into your dumb calculations. You dingus. Cool. Okay. Whoop. Hey, how's it going? Grab you and run on over here. Come on, pick it on up. Whoop, backflip. Whoop, jeez, hit a pipe. Go ahead and take those off your hands. Place this one. My legs ain't what they used to be, kid. Got three more, you fucking geriatric. Come on. We got jabs to do. Grab you. 
And... Eh. Eh. Let's get these guys out of here. Ow. Excuse me. Stop it. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and reload that. There ya go. And, whoa, the fuck was that? What's blowing up down there? Oh, cars, fair enough. Um, okay, that's something a little bit different than cars. What's happening here? Who's, who's shooting grenades? You are, you fucking dweeb. Whoops, drinking pond water. Pond water. That's the munis. You got him, Tony. Keep up the good work. Oh, they're wearing a doctor's outfit. Scrubs, maybe? What up, comrade Waya? What up? How's it going? Hard base intensifies. Fucking real. <laughs> How's it going, man? What up? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Follower Toshi stream. Well, we got... Chill vibes to the sound of burning people alive. Brown. Hard base. Hard base. Oh, jeez. Fucking. God. Stop it. Listen. I can only handle so much fire at one time. And it's all mine. It's all for me. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, we're doing the, um, the Sins of the Father quest in, uh, Fallout 76. It's the second to last main one that got introduced with the uh, Atlantic City update. And uh, we were, before that, we were just talking a lot about like all the new stuff that's been going on in, uh, in, app, in Fallout in general. You know, Fallout London, the Fallout 4 update, and uh, the, the show and such. I really liked the show. Wayne, where are you? Wayne, you. Wayne, you. I'm sorry, I'm fucking mispronouncing your name like a some bitch uh what did, what did you think of the show i guess what did everybody think of the show i really liked it where's who's shooting you there you are fucking mob assassin now you're drowned i liked it much too uh i only seen you only seen two episodes so far you haven't finished the you haven't finished the first season oh dude you gotta finish the first season. It's fucking slapping. It's probably one of the best things. I mean, <laughs> depending on who you ask, uh, it's either uh, one of the best things that uh, that one of the best Fallout stories that's been put out yet, or literally the worst thing that's ever happened to Fallout. Of course, that's <laughs> uh, fucking like that just seems to be every single Fallout game that gets put out uh, since Fallout Three. <laughs> But I really like the show from both a storytelling standpoint as well as a, uh, what is it? Um, from a storytelling standpoint as well as just like a fallout standpoint, uh, it's fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I kind of thought that there was a roof there. Pretty sure I jumped onto a roof tile. So, cool. I haven't finished it, but it's so good. It is. It's so fucking good. Spoilers. Oh, Marnar, come on. Come on. Ca come on. Um. Whoa, hello. If you can clone me so I can also ca uh, work to catch up with things. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking real. Like, I, I, I'd be... I, I probably wouldn't be having the same problem. Uh, but I specifically, like, when the, when the show came out, or when the show was originally set to come out on the 11th, um, the, uh, when the show was originally slated to come out on the 11th, uh, I had specifically told my work, like, hey, I'm not coming in, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I took the day off. Um, I got lucky that the, the day it actually came out, uh, which was Wednesday, um, Wednesday the 10th, uh, I got super lucky that I had that day off regardless, so I pretty much spent, 
uh, between 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, my time, uh, to, like, you know, midnight, the, the, when I had to go back to work on Friday, uh, I spent, just, like, watching the show over and over again. It was awesome. The show is incredibly well written, uh, and, ah, oh, fucking goddamn it, uh, and super fate, well, Again, depending on who you ask, super faithful to the uh, to the established lore of the game. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about spoilers or anything, but there's one. Well, there's probably maybe like two actually uh, parts that got kind of people a little riled up. But there is one part specifically that really got people's jimmies all rustled up. But that more so uh, was because people weren't quite understanding what it was that they were uh that they were seeing in in my opinion anyway um but overall the show was fantastic uh where is it there it is um well there's these oh okay i i i see you were also asking a question but also noting that there was a spoiler um it's possible but I'm not 100% sure if they thought that deeply about it. It very well could be, though. Um, boop. This is it. All my daughter's great folks. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking getting in the way. Um, the episodes I've seen thus far have been megs. Uh, megas. They've been... Uh, which which epi How far have you actually gotten into the show so far? Uh, I want to uh, make sure I'm not going to talk about anything uh that's going to be spoiler related um what is this oh that's that i'll go ahead get rid of that sorry i need to check something uh there we go okay um sorry my housemate was texting me um Episode 3 is up next, uh, but I haven't had the time yet. Okay, so you've seen the first two episodes at least. Okay, so then, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that ends with, um, yeah, it ends with, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because episode 2 was the one with the shootout. Yeah, I was trying to, trying to remember there. I couldn't remember if, which, which one that was. Yeah, yeah, that, that shootout was fucking super awesome. Uh, it was really cool to see uh, Vats implemented in such a way. Because, um, like, it, it's so weird because, like, Vats is literally just, like, uh, what is it? Um, it's just bullet time, but for, uh, but for Fallout. And so the way they presented it in Episode 2 was really slick because it was literally just, like, you know... Oh shit! That's the fu it's fucking like you know when the when the like cameras you know flying around the bullet and then it blasts through somebody's head. It was so fucking cool. <laughs> and like you know we saw it in the um I I believe no it wasn't in the um it wasn't in the uh, the first episode clip that they showed. Um, it was in a uh, I think it was like one of those like blink and miss it uh, blinking you'll miss it moments uh, in like one of the one of the other, like, trailers or something. Um, but it was so cool. I was actually super surprised at how bloody and how visceral the show actually was. Um, that, that, that blew me away. That was, <laughs> like, I, I, I went into the show expecting it to be a lot darker, quote-unquote, um, and more, like, serious, because that's just the general tone that I got from the show. But or from the trailer specifically, but when we act when I actually got in and was watching the 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 the, the episodes, uh, I was surprised at one uh, how not blue but how unafraid of kind of insinuating a lot of kind of not the greatest thing like they touched on uh, they touched on the the uh, not really societally acceptable relationships that can happen in the vaults uh they had the it, it happens in uh, cannibalism is touched on several times in the uh in the series um they they were 
uh, very visceral with uh, with a lot of the uh, the combat and the the blood and gore and stuff. Um, like I said, it was stuff that we saw in the trailers that kind of hinted at that, but like they really go whole hog on it, and I was like, I I loved it. I didn't expect it, but it was fucking amazing. <laughs> Um, uh, same, but it makes sense considering how Fallout in general is brutal on a comedic way. Oh, no, yeah, like, there's definitely, uh, uh, moments where, like, there, I mean, it, we, we saw that in episode two, the fucking, you know, the ghoul shoots a whole bunch of people, and there's that one guy who's got a bullet hole through his neck, and he's, you know, drowning on his own blood and stuff, and the ghoul just, like, casually walks on over, flops down next to him, is munching on fucking cherry tomatoes, and he's all like, I'd offer you one of these cherry tomatoes, but you got a hole in your neck. <laughs> and then we just fucking sit there and watch this dude drown in his own blood while the ghoul eats cherry tomatoes next to him. <laughs> oh my fucking god. It was fantastic. There are so many moments in the there there's so many moments in the show that are like dark. Like there's one that happens in, I believe, episode six, um, that to me personally is really really dark um but like it it's so beautifully mixed in the 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 comedy and the violence and when those two intersect it's it's so funny um it's it's great i fucking love the fallout franchise um for for i i can see that we got a whole lot of uh whole lot of people here by way of uh comrade uh, I so I get like I, I'm awful at at uh, I'm not a strong reader sometimes, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, Wanya. But if 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 it's all the same, uh, if I'm correct, I'll just do that. But I'll call you comrade for now. Uh, I can see that we got a lot of new people here by way of comrade. Thank you all so much for showing up. Uh, like I said, we're working on finishing up the. Uh, uh, the new quest that was added in Fallout 76's, um, oh geez, uh, Atlantic City update, the, the second part, uh, shit, I forgot the name of the, I forgot the name of the update, um, cause it's not Sin City, um, gosh, I can't remember, um, but, uh, yeah, we're finishing that up, um, anybody who, I, I try to stream, uh, as, as quote unquote often as I can, um, but, uh, you know, uh, definitely, uh, definitely, uh, like to get some more, uh, follows up. My, my Twitch channel has actually been kind of dead for a little bit since I got it hacked and, uh, kind of, uh, feels like I lost, uh, momentum there for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, if, uh, you know, I play Fallout, I play other games, uh, spooky games, uh, are definitely always awesome. Uh, if you, you know, for the rest of the stream, if you enjoy the vibe, uh, you know, drop me a follow. Um, I'm also going to be going into, or I'm also working on an actual video that is going to be out hopefully sometime, uh, either by the end of the week or the start of next week, going into, uh, a recap of the, uh, the fallout Amazon TV series and talking about the show and a lot of the, uh, the like bigger questions around what we see in the show and like theorizing what's going to happen for, uh, for season two. So I got that, uh, cooking up, follow me on YouTube. Links are all down in the, down in the description there. If you, again, enjoy the vibe and want to check me out on other platforms, check me out there. Um, let's see. No worries. Technically Vanya from how other Americans have explained uh, me how they write in it how I pronounce it apparently huh Vaya weird oh I see yeah because the the W would be uh, yeah because the W would be more like a V okay that makes sense that makes sense well either way comrade it is <laughs> but yes uh, thank you thank you all so much for showing up it means a whole bunch and I hope that you enjoy whatever it is I ramble on about <laughs> mostly most of its fallout um okay uh with everything you did you're lucky you're not the one getting whacked yeah fucking you crazy old some bitch yeah and I'm sure you're just as much <laughs> but we're about to um get in and fight uh uh the jersey devil here we're like right at the pretty close to the end here for this quest line 
I know you're not supposed to have a favorite kid, but I did. And it wasn't Vin. Oh, shit. He was real little. I took her under my wing. She was a total daddy's girl. Shadowed her with affection, gifts. I used to let her sit in on all of our meetings. We showed her the ropes. I hate to admit it, but she would have been a top tier maid woman. But there's a reason they call the Cosa Nostra the family. It's cause it replaces your real one. And you've gotta fuck over your real one to keep the family happy. Oh, damn. Your, your eyes disappeared for a second there. Yeah, this dude was fucking uh, a big deal in the uh, in the Atlantic City Mafia. And then he went and uh, pretended to be senile in order to get them off his back. And that kind of ended up... Uh, <laughs> fucking over his whole family because his daughter got addicted to this thing called devil's blood and it's got like no cure except for the one that he knows about and he was keeping up the ruse the entire time so yeah not uh not exactly father of the year boy i really wish i could move somewhere so this lady would stop walking in front of me um starting them early on crime i see of course you're gonna i see like a cynic that was a cynic it was you know Father daughter bonding. Uh -huh. He'd watch me make a fella go cold and then get to hold the gun afterwards. Maybe <laughs> she was, uh, you know. She just wants to be on camera. You know what? That's fair. Nice of a little girl. She needs a name. We gotta give her a name next time she shows up. <laughs> she gets to hold the gun after. <laughs> uh, kids do, do grow up, you know. Uh, how did it suddenly become an issue for her to be in the, to, to be a mobster? Dora. Dora it is. That makes sense. She's exploring. Dora the Explorer. Once you're an adult, you're locked into that life for, well, life. Yeah. She was going to end up just like me. Just... You know, with less respect. Yeah, that definitely seems like it's gonna be an issue for her, or would have been. Hey, Dora. How's it going? She's figuring it out. Don't worry. It's tradition. It's always been men who have done the killing. If we name her Laura, she can simply be the explorer. You know what? That's a strong ass argument. Laura, it is. Laura, explorer. <laughs> Well, she could have been Don Quintino would have chosen her. She's his flesh and blood after all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's very old fashioned. Uh, so the mafia has accepted Concerti as their leader. You would have stepped down? Of course not. Let's not compare apples to oranges here. Abby and Concerta are two entirely different stories. I owe her nothing. That woman is ruthless. She'd make a great tyrant, not a leader. I can almost admire it if, it, if she stops trying to murder me for two seconds. <laughs> Isn't that just about how it goes, though? You admire the people who are actively trying to kill you. I wasn't about to set Abby up for disappointment. Actively betting on your downfall. I, uh, I just distanced myself from her. Didn't let her sit in on my work no more. I never told her why. Over time, she just got the hit. That's when she started acting out. Yeah, because you just fucking cut her out of your life. She knew I discovered but that don't really matter now, does it? No, not at this point. She got hooked on one thing that she knew would get my attention. Trouble is... Hello, Laura. Blood. Find anything good? She got in to win my love with some such bullshit, but... She'll find it. She'll figure it out. She's got it. I believe in her. All right. Uh, you have to defend for herself and no expectations. Of course, you're responsible for her addiction. Uh, I'm not going to be the judge, jury, and executioner, but you have a lot of issues to work out with your daughter. You're both at fault here. You for being a terrible father and Abby for reacting the worst way possible. 
Uh, it was her choice to try Devil's Blood in the first place. Can't see why it's your fault. No, <laughs> no one here is at fault. She was a child, and you were unable to thumb, and you were under the thumb of the family. It didn't have a choice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, she did just kind of like he did just kind of like fucking just cut her out of his uh, out of his life, and then be all like, "Yeah, you're on your own." And then she fucking made dumb decisions. And I guess I don't know. I think I, I think I might be thinking too much about this. I think I think about I think a lot about the uh, the implications of uh, of plot in uh, in situation like situations like these. Fucking. RPGs are not good games to, to stream in general. There's too much additional thought and uh, and character uh, behind the, the the actions and the decisions you're making. But, like, they're just so fun, you know? <laughs> um, I would say you're, you're both kind of stupid. You're an awful dad, and she fucked up royally. Yeah, maybe that's fair. Well, I don't think I'm totally to blame. I never put the camera in her hands, but... But I didn't exactly create the best circumstances for her, now did I? No, you fucked up, man. Oh, jeez. Hello? Dad? What up, Laura? You stay right here. My dad's out there somewhere. I think. It could also be a giant lizard monster. What the fuck is going on with the lighting? Around here. Lighting's goofing up. The fucking... <laughs> fucking, uh... What is it? The, um... Uh, the fucking gabagoo. You know? The, the gabagoo. Fucking loading screens aren't working properly. I think the game is fucking straining a little bit under all the new, uh... The new people there. Maybe not new people, but all the people who are playing it right now. Fucking, I saw, I think it was either yesterday or earlier today, uh, Fallout 76 is currently, currently has, like, the highest player count that it's ever had, uh, and a lot of people are attributing that to the, uh, to the, to the TV show, um, rightly so, as a, uh, as, as a matter of fact, um, because the show was amazing. They also did a couple of, uh, a couple of stuff specifically uh, like, they added a couple things into the game. Um, oh, hello there. Oh, you are a big boy. Look at you. You got frills and everything, and you hit hard. Wow. Damn. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's stop it. We'll admire you once you're dead. I like this design here. I mean, you know, he's on fire and stuff. Let's get a little bit more light on you. There you are. Now you're good and stuck. Yeah, the back frills, that's pretty dope. The constantly glowing eyes seems a little, uh, seems a little wacky, but overall, I like the design. Very cool. You're on fire, though, so, yeah. You can just kind of suck on that. Hold on, gotta reload. Keep on him, Antonio. You got it. Keep laying down that suppressive fire. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Slow now. That don't matter. Get nice and toasty. Grill. Flame broil justice. Hey, stop it. Listen. I know I'm burning your mom and or dad, but I don't care about what your wants and feelings are. I need your parental figure's blood. Oh, it's not dead. All right, fair enough. I can get a good look at it now. Look at them teeth. Look at them eyes. Look at them frills. Look at them claws. I told somebody before, and this also my g general opinion, the Jersey Devils seem like they're very reminiscent of, like, Fallout 3 and New Vegas uh, death claws, you know? Big, sharp fingers. Fucking gnarled. Bared teeth. Thin spines bony frame very cool at least that's my two cents anyway it seems like that's where their inf inf inspiration hello what the fuck I could talk to you a second ago 
Oh, you had to move, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at all that blood. Pure devil blood. You know how much this shit is worth? Five bucks. Why After markup. Take a little more than you need. It'll take longer, sure, but Abby's will just ready. Sure I don't know if that's how we should play that. And I can take the rest back to Gene. And make an exclusive line of elite blood. Mm. You're 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 <laughs> you're missing the forest for the trees on this one, bud. Look at yourself. Regressing into your old ways, going down this path only to drive you further away. F uh, going down this path will only drive you further away from your daughter. But there's, well, you, I. You might be right there. Hey, damn straight, I'm right. Just a little bit, you think? I don't know how much time I got left. Mob aside. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Right, just, just leave the sucker to his own devices. Yeah. I'm gonna cook the rest of them up. Alright there, buddy. Let's see here. Let's get a poke at you. The Jersey Devil lies before you, defeated and helpless. You can safely harvest his blood without fear of injury in order to manufacture a cure to Abby's addiction. The question is, how much will you take? Just enough for Abby to uh just enough the take just enough to cure Abby takes take extra blood for Antonio's scheme. I'm just taking the regular one. This just seems like it's going to lead to just, you know, extra money and stuff, just more money in my pocket, but I don't, I don't even have a little bit of a little tiny bit of an issue, um, uh, getting money. I am, however, curious, uh, as to the alternate path here. So let me look this up real quick. Uh, let's turn that on for a second. Um, da, 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 Fallout 76, take devil blood. Let's see here. Uh, the devil's blood. That looks like it's going to be the chem. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. America's Playground. That was the name of the, um, that was the name of the update. I couldn't remember it. Uh, so let's do Sins of the Father. What does the chat think? Should we take enough uh, to cure Abby, or should we take some extra blood? I suppose I should uh, <laughs> run through the uh, uh, democracy option. Uh, evil. What is this? Oh. Oh, there's good and bad endings. Ooh, okay. Encourage greed and self-interest. Harvest the devil's blood. Ooh, okay. Okay, so there is there is good and bad uh, uh endings here. Uh, let's see. Confront Antonio and encourage him to become a father for once. Uh, persuade him not to harvest the blood. Okay. So, that's persuading him not to harvest the blood. Choose non-committal options. That's the neutral one. Uh, and then the evil one. Encourage greed and self-interest. Harvest the devil's blood. Okay, so I want to go for the good ending here. So we're going to not harvest the blood. Oh. And they gave you a little bit of a stab there. You're good. All right, get out of here, you fucking giant bitch. Ow. Okay, bye. We did it, Antonio. We saved America. We should get back to Abby as soon as possible. And, uh, thanks, kid. No. Whoa, shit. And you have all your limbs. <laughs> Exceeding expectations again, I see. What can I say? It's what I do. Abby. Yeah, yeah, uh, about that. What did you do, Jeannie? Where is my daughter? She took off. It wasn't my fault. I swear, Antonio, she just left. Why on earth would she do that? Her life's in jeopardy, for God's sake. <sighs> she, she, said, she said she needed to be alone. That, that, this is a mistake. What? No, no, that 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 doesn't make any sense. Did did she say where she went? 
lurk, lurking, creeping, peeking. Place where she met her real father. Uh, in the dramatics. We need to go find an inn. Yes. Yes. Where where what is she talking about? Quick. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh what's the plan here? I'll tell you what the plan is. It's real simple. Uh -huh. Go to this overly dramatized place and we find Abby. Then we bring her back here whether she likes it or not. My God, what is this place where she met her real father? Yes, genius, I am, and I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> she saw me whack a poor fool on a job. Hard to keep a calendar in times like this, but she was still a kid at the time. Fellow owed the Fair. family caps for some blood he never paid for. He never came up with a cap, so we wasted. Broke his face. I wasted it. Uh -huh. I guess you could say it was Abby's first lesson in what happens to an addict at the end of the line. He gets whacked. He gets his face ripped off. I don't understand why she just take off like that. You and me both, kid. It's completely irrational, I know. She's probably just being a drama queen. You know how teenagers are. Well, she's 20, but that's just a teenager with an extra year. Yeah. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> let's go. That's just a teenager with an extra year. Teenager with a little bit of tread on the tires. Something like that. Experience. Life experience. Am I following him? Oh yeah, I'm following Antonio. Well, hurry up, man. I don't got all fucking day. Get the gabagoo out, huh? You fucking bastard. You uncontrollable psychopath. Boy, I love... <laughs> I love NPC follow missions. They are literally... Oh! There you are. That didn't take too long. I was hoping you wouldn't find me. Hello. Stop crying. Cool new animation, though. Hello. Abby, what the hell's gotten into you? Look at your kid. Stop staring at the hole in the wall. Nothing's coming out, the, out of there. Leave me alone. It's best for everyone involved if you just leave me alone. Why well, you gonna turn into a werewolf? That'd be crazy. That'd be fucking a wild, wild twist here. You need to come back to the lab. Why even bother with it? Is there even a point to this antidote? Yeah. What are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened here, Dad? You wasted a guy on blood because he didn't pay up. What even sets me apart from him? Why does he get a bullet to the head and I get an antidote? Because you're his daughter? Abby, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna just let you die over something that happened 14 years ago. We can't just let her walk away. Uh, for the love of all that is holy and unholy, please stop whining and take your stupid antidote. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck, I almost... Fuck, I almost want to do that. Uh, let's see. This is your shot at a normal life. You can't throw that away. Uh, how did you even... What do you mean, how did she leave the lab? She went out through the fucking hole in the wall. <laughs> uh, fuck, that's so funny. Uh, fuck it, I'm going for it. Uh, for the love of all that is holy and unholy, please stop whining and take your stupid antidote. After everything we've been through... I don't think you have it in you to change, Dad. I just ignore what I said. Not ever. I don't want my life to be defined by it anymore. I'll take the antidote, I'll get clean, but after all's said and done, I'm staying here in AC. Ooh. I don't want to see any of you ever again. Ooh. I carved out my own path without being weighed down by all of your wrongs. Okay, interesting. I've shown you that I can change. I I've shown you that I can do better. Look here, I got the antidote for you, sweetheart. Isn't that enough? Dad, trust is something you've got to build up to and maintain. You've spent two decades showing me I can't trust you. It's not like one good experience can undo all the broken promises. I'm sorry, but it's too late to salvage this. Nice. Okay. Hell yeah. Then... 
Then we'll do things your way. We'll go back to the lab and talk to Jean. She'll fix you up. It'll give you time to think things through and, and maybe change your mind. It's not happening, Tony. I don't think I will, Dad. I've already made up my mind. Oh, hell yeah. I like that as an, uh, as an outcome a lot better because it, it shows that, you know, sometimes, like, there's just, there's just no fixing a situation. Unless I, <laughs> unless I could have, uh, pushed more towards a, uh, uh, get back together with the family kind of, kind of ending and just fucked myself out of the good ending. Well, I hope I didn't screw myself out of the good ending. That would be quite sad. I would be very disappointed. Yeah. All right, get in there. You got medicine to take. Get, get, get going. Get in, Gene. You're back. Did you get the sample? Sure as hell did. We got it. No, shut up, Gene. You freak. Whoa, hello. Give Jersey blood sample. Pure Jersey blood, straight from the source. To engineer the antidote. Are you sure you want this, Abby? No more blood. Forever. 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 <laughs> Gene's just out here trying to get people hooked on drugs. What a fucking gamer. What a straight up fucking scumbag. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. A woman of enterprise. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Do you feel any different? I... I don't know. Not really. Wait. I feel... The craving is dying down. It's not as intense. You should feel some uh, immediate relief. Uh, but it'll take weeks for the symptoms to fade completely. It, it'll only get better from here on out. <laughs> not worse. Thank you, Jean. I should be thinking you the most. Uh -huh. Without you, I'd still be... I don't want to think about what might have happened to me. Okay. Uh... You better stop using. Uh, actually, I was hoping there'd be some sort of compensation in mind. Um, let me take a look at here. Uh... Okay, cool. Um... It's worth it to me to see you healthy again. That means a lot to hear. Yeah. I never considered that anyone cared about whether I lived or died. But I guess some people do, even if it's not Dad's first priority. Yeah. You got this all mixed up, Abby. Of course I want you to live. What do you think I came all the way back here for, huh? Okay, I think I did get the good en the good ending in this uh, in this quest. I don't know what else I could possibly do to get through to you. Now, ready to let go of all this and head home? I already told you, Dad. I'm staying here. I think, I guess, maybe. Too much to let go of. I need to get away from all of this and start fresh. I'm sorry. This is goodbye. Got to grab, Abby. You had your tantrum, and it's time to move past this. Abby! Oh, no, I got the neutral ending. Well, that's that, then. She's made up her mind. My wife and son ain't gonna be too happy about it. You, you're coming with me to break the nose. You should hurry. Think of all that. Let me check something here. Okay, then that leads to... No, fucking stupid ad. No way. So that leads to this one. And is there a... Bup, bup, bup. Mm, doesn't look like there's a divergent ending here. Oh my god, Gene. I swear to god, if you don't shut your mouth... I'm going to annihilate you in a biblical way. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, we got the neutral ending there, but I think it's still a uh, uh, an ending uh, that has a positive outcome because while 
the family's breaking up a little bit. Uh, it definitely feels like, um, uh, like, uh, like, uh, fuck, what was her name? Lucy? No, that's not it. Abby, that's it. (laughs) Fucking jeez. Uh, it definitely feels like Abby is, is separating herself from a toxic situation, a toxic family. Um, what's one more stop in this wild ride anyway? I'll see you at the Rose Room. Prepare yourself for hysterics. Yeah. All right. Cool. So. You should hurry. Think of all that pure blood. Oh, shut up. You goob. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, chat, unfortunately, I was not able to get the most beneficial, friendly, uh, good ending. But we got an ending. And it, it, the very least, is a somewhat positive one in my book, anyway, because it definitely sound or definitely feels like uh, the fucking um, wow, geez, brain. Uh, it definitely, definitely not the you know, oh, getting back with the, getting back with the family, all hunky dory kind of thing. Um, but you know, sometimes. Sometimes the best ending is the ending where you start over. Hello, it's me. Your kid's not here anymore. Hello. Where is Abigail? Where is my daughter? Antonio? She's not coming back, Evelyn. Well, is she okay? What the hell happened? Physically, Abby's fine. She got a cure. Mentally, the jury's out. She decided she wasn't interested in coming home. This, this can't be. We, we were going to rebuild. Have a happy family again. It's unexpected, but I guess I'm just glad to hear she's all right. Maybe she can find something better out there. Hey. Yo, final word? Yeah, what's up, gamer? Man, I really should have gone with the the, the other one. Evelyn from now on. Well, it's not a full party, but I still owe you my gratitude for prying my daughter from the devil's grasp. Mm -hmm. As much Mm -hmm. as I like spoiling her, Abby will make it on her own. I always know she was. Too Too stubborn not to. It's true. It's true. She's strong. Uh, I walked into quite a mess. Are you going to be able to keep it together after I'm gone? Oh, Oz? You mean to tell me we haven't been a glittering example? I, um... Oh. I actually have something I want to talk to you all about. This has been on my mind for a while. Ever since we came to Appalachia, I've... missed working with the Munis. I don't know if I've ever actually had the chance to express it before. But that work, it meant a lot to me. Helping people, making a difference that doesn't just get washed away by the next problem. I'm not ready to leave it behind. I'm also going back to Atlantic City. I hope you can understand. Every bird flies the nest, son. If this is your time, then so be it. Oh, Vincenzo. You really are all grown up. I only hope we've spent enough time together that you won't forget me. <laughs> Who could forget you? But both my children gone. A mother left to languish in a cabin in the woods. This, this is a this is a showroom on a hilltop. Hey, haven't you seen the fountain? <laughs> In the realm of post-apocalyptic mountain living, apocalyptic, much swankier than post-apocalyptic. Whew, it uh feels really weird to talk about myself. Oh, yeah. you'll get better with practice. I, I certainly did. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little too good, don't you think, honey? You know you love it. Oh. Uh. Family meeting's over. As for you, our doors are open. 
Least we can do in return for your assistance with family matters. Yeah. One of these days, we'll even have a happy hour worth inviting you to. Hooray! We did it! Well, kind of. Vin's leaving and then... Can I talk to you, actually? I can fit you in. Uh, I'll discuss your family. Let me do this, actually. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Sure thing. Okay, so I don't know if he's going to leave All right. straight away, because I mean, like, he's still here and everything. But he is. Uh, it, it definitely seems like he's on his way out. Abby's gone. Uh, probably for the best, because I don't know. We still got the neutral ending to that, but it seems like it was still a fitting ending. Right. You know, Abby's more so just moving on from a fucking very chaotic family um probably i don't know it maybe would have been better for her not to be in atlantic city because she did get addicted to chems the one time she got addicted to devil's blood um but it didn't i don't know it it feels like she's i guess i guess more so because like we know where vin is going we know that he's going to be going to a um uh, he's going to be going in and working with the munis again, but we don't know what Abby is going to be doing. Uh, like, you know, maybe she's going to get in with the mob, right? Because that's just kind of been her, uh, you know, her, her life, what she was exposed to as a child and kind of what she was brought up by Antonio to do. So maybe she's going to lean into that. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell which was, like, the best ending. Because, like, this one feels like, you know, she's definitely moving on. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like there's proper closure. Um, that's the that's the one thing I don't really like too much about Fallout 76. Uh, because it's a live service game. There's no really, like, going back and redoing it. Um, if you end up not liking the, uh, the outcome you get. Uh, specifically... Because, you know, you, there's no, like, no safe function that you can just reload. And it's like, oh, you could always just, you know, look it up on the wiki. And it's like, yeah, but then you kind of spoil the story for yourself. And it's like, I don't know. Just one of those situations where sometimes you just got to roll with what life gives you. And in this case, the Russo family, a little broken. But I think they're in a good place. Kind of. I, st I still don't feel like I made the best decision with Abby. But, you know. That's, that's kind of how it is. Um, for now, though, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Comrade, comrade, fuck, Vanya, <laughs> Vanya, yes. Because you, like, I, admittedly, I, I know only cursory details, but you are, I want to say, uh, Eastern European. So the W-A is pronounced more like, more like Vaughn with a V. So <laughs> I apologize if I get your name incorrectly at any point. Uh comrade and all the people that uh, that followed him over to the stream for the raid uh thank you so much for the raid it's awesome having uh having people in general uh to hang out with <laughs> um more especially just beyond my my own community um so thank you all for showing up i hope you enjoyed i know that the latter we like this th we've been streaming for oh my god we've been streaming for almost six hours at this point um, we did most of uh, the the streaming stuff. Uh, well, no, we, it's all it's all streaming stuff. But we've done uh, we did a large portion of the beginning of the stream was uh, like I said before, talking about uh, the Fallout Four update, talking about Fallout London. We talked a lot about uh, the uh, the Fallout Amazon series and just a lot of stuff in between uh, then and now. So kind of came in at the part where it's mostly just like gameplay stuff um but i hope it was entertaining i hope you all enjoyed yourself if you want to see more from me check down in the uh the description below uh we got links to all my socials twitch twitter uh it's pretty sure instagram where's let me see here uh yeah twitter youtube tiktok instagram i have a blue sky account as well but i don't think that uh uh twitch has the uh, connectability uh, for that yet uh, but it is linked on my Twitter uh, most of all though uh, definitely join the uh, the discord 
Uh, it's just where my community uh, primarily hangs out, and we always love having more people in there. Uh, we talk about, you know, pretty much <laughs> Fallout stuff, um, but we also, you know, go into other stuff like Starfield, uh, Pokemon, just like like other games. We we uh, I, I was encouraging as many people as possible to pick up uh, Content Warning when that dropped. Uh, because it's such a fun game. It's such a fun game. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, currently, I'm trying to stream uh, as often as I can, uh, given my my current work schedule and content creation uh, workload. As I said, I got a, uh, a Fallout uh, Prime video that I'm working on. Uh, hope, hope to get that out sooner rather than later. Um, but, again... For the for the meantime, just trying to trying to show up and be live and present whenever I can, and besides that, just being present in uh, my typical socials uh, again as much as I can because there, there's it's a lot it's a lot sometimes, but you know that's life. <laughs> you gotta you gotta play the cards you're dealt and roll with the punches. Um, but for now, though, we're gonna be uh, finishing up the stream here. Like I said, we've been going for like six hours at this point that's a little bit longer than i usually stream for but i wanted to finish up uh the story of the russos and uh yeah just finish up the main quest that we've been doing for uh <coughs> for uh the atlantic city update um late to finishing them finishing them up but you know we had the we had the amazon prime show drop last week so there's kind of kind of a lot going on <laughs> um but once again uh, I want to return my deck of cards, please. No, all card deck sales are final. <laughs> I don't have any cards. Not 100% sure what you're talking about, but I hope you get that return. Um, in the meantime, though, once again, I thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, definitely check out the other socials below. Follow me on YouTube, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and most of all, join the Discord server. That's where you can interact with me specifically. Oh, life's deck of cards. Okay, that makes a whole lot more sense. Yeah, <laughs> you got to play the cards you're dealt. Like, I want to return on my deck. They're like, all right, you, yeah, my deck is just full of Joker cards. That's all I get. <laughs> that was good. That was a good joke. And you know it's a good joke because it goes over people's heads. Because they're not smart enough to get onto your level as far as comedy intelligence. You crushed it. Crushing it. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Once again, though, I thank you all so much for watching. I gotta, I gotta bounce. Unfortunately, gotta wrap up the, uh, gotta wrap up the stream, and I got some other stuff to do. So I thank you all so much for showing up. I hope you, I once again thank you, comrade, so much for the raid. Uh, <coughs> my jokes retire, require too much braining. That just means you got the big brain jokes. You got the big brain jokes. Big brain. 200 IQ joke joke master out here. <laughs> all right. I got to head out. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Join the Discord. Check out my other socials. Follow me on YouTube. I got a Fallout uh, Prime deep dive video that's going to be coming out here in that most before the end of the month, hopefully within the next like next three to seven days. Uh, until th until next time, which I'm uh, again, I'm trying to stream as much as I can. I might be able to stream next Monday. I might need to focus more so on uh, uh, on on my content creation stuff. But again, try to fo I, I uh, try to do it as much as I can. I post uh, notifications uh, usually twenty four to forty eight hours before I actually go live. And uh, yeah, so tune in next time. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Check out the socials and stuff like that. And until next time, I will see you all out there in the wasteland. Have a great week, everybody, and have a great weekend. Bye.